all you want because we've got podcasts that go back for a long time. You can listen to all those you want. Also, we're live on the uh, iHeartRadio app. And then there's an interactive thing where you can leave a message. You click on the microphone, leave a message. We talk about that a lot because we like it when you do it. And it's uh, kind of the last part of the show. You get to hear stuff on the radio. And if you've got a smart speaker, any smart speaker... In America, if you say, play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio, it'll pop us on. That's pretty cool, right? And then we're live on our YouTube channel that's very successful, uh, close to 27,000 subscribers, getting bigger every day, and you can uh, be a part of that. Just go to Real Radio Monsters on YouTube. What is up? I'm Russ Rollins, host of the program, and with the fellas, we're doing this until around 11 o'clock. Here's the producer, the angel of boom, Angel of Air. Good luck. And to the right, Mr. Motivation, Carlos Navarro. Every time, never stop, baby. Uh, handling it things from home is the healthiest man at Real Radio who says, um, so I have acute bronchi- cri- uh, bronchitis. I said bronchitis. That's how you say it, right? Bronchitis. He's got acute bronchitis? Uh, acute bronchitis. And, how do we know it's cute? And uh, he's on an inhaler. And I, I, as I read that this morning, I just giggle and laugh at him sitting there. I mean, Carlos wasn't here for it, but yelling at me and Angel uh, about how he's the healthiest man at Real Radio. Bronchitis is not fun, though. No, it's not. A lot of uh, coughing. A lot, a lot of coughing. So he's, uh, he's, t- but anyway, he's taking care of the YouTube channel for us. So I'm sure you, you, you chat with him in there. Uh, bron- okay, bron- bronchitis. Bronchitis. That's when you That's when you just can't stop coughing. You're not. Your air passages are clogged. Yeah, you're not. Uh, uh, Asthmatic. Yeah, 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 yeah. But I, you can't give it to anybody else, right? Can you give somebody? Is it a virus? I don't think so. No, it just he'd be coughing. It's an entire infection. Day. Yeah, it's a viral infection. So, so what if that's what I, okay, so what, mine was in my my vocal cords. So I wonder if that was she didn't call it bronchitis, but uh, anyway, I wonder if it's just similar. But anyway, he's on a he's on an inhaler and and uh, and doing all that, Mister Healthy. What's that other thing they call the uh, what uh, emulator emulator the kind of vaporizes? I wonder if he's having to use that as well. Yeah, you know, I saw stories. Uh, it was yesterday, uh, and we we had already talked about it, but then I saw a story yesterday about respirator people, the, people on uh, the inhalers yep. and how the, yeah, and then that's, I know Carlos has to deal with that. And then once again, the pollen. It's like you know that was another major story, and we'd already discussed it, but I, there was a news story after we discussed it about how the pollen is just really. Uh, uh, kicking up and uh, really driving uh, driving people crazy. Do you ever check on your weather app? If you can check on your weather app and it'll tell you the air quality for the day. Yeah. Um, yeah. The last couple of days, it, our air quality in our general area has not been good at all. From uh, poor to like, uh, what's another term that they'd like to use? Like uh, heavy or something like that. It was uh, the other one. I was like, "Those are tampons." Yeah, <laughs> and you can just see that film, on, you know, on, oh, yeah. on top yeah, of yeah, stuff. Yeah, yeah. It's just, it's super nasty. Yeah. I didn't win the Mega Millions. You didn't? No. Nobody did. Damn. He, he, I guess you would have told me by now. Yeah, <laughs> I'd, have, yeah. I'd have said something, but but yeah, uh, he wouldn't be able to, uh, you know, play that off. Yeah. Oh yeah. I, if I ever won, I would be, t- I'd be telling everybody. But but yeah, you know, and, and then it kind of the, okay. I'm normally I don't care about spoilers, and I'm not I'm not complaining, but I'm just saying when I wake up in the morning. And the news and the first thing it says well nobody won i'm like oh man i wish i could have checked my ticket first <laughs> just, right, right just for the thrill of like oh look at you so we I'm can not, so one thing can't be spoiled for you it was a little spoiled oh but I'm not good bad. now you know how all yeah. of us feel every time you watch everything on the internet and then you come in here and just like i don't care <laughs> well, i not, don't believe in spoilers i'm not mad about it but i will you say literally just said you I, were i was reaching for my ticket and the lady uh, uh, was meredith mcdonough who i think good on her and she She's like, uh, Irish gal. nobody won. Yeah, I like her. <laughs> yeah. uh, and, and, oh, here's the news. Nobody I'm... won the lottery. I'm like, oh, man. Good. Of course, we're doing that right now to people who are just waking up, and they're like, oh, damn. Literally. I, I didn't win, so I can't. No, no sense in looking at it. And then I looked at my numbers, and I mean, I, once again, not even close. Like, I wasn't even sniffing around the. Uh, the Tues- they, Tuesday's jackpot numbers were 24, 46, 49, 62, and 66 yeah. with a mega ball of seven. Yeah. I didn't have any of them. <laughs> not, not even. Not so so there have been 29 drawings since December the 8th, and that's how we got to this number. So it was at $875 million. So next uh, time, uh, in a couple days from now, it'll be over a billion. So right now, they're re- estimating right now that it can get up to nine hundred and seventy-seven million, Russ. But you're right because of the uh, because of it being this high, yeah. And you know that it draws everybody in, and so that there's a potential that it could get close to a uh, billion dollar. I mean, I got to play it when it's a billion. 
I mean, now nah, why would you? I mean, you, you, you got to. No, no, you don't want to do that because just in case you lose, you don't wake up the next day and you're not going to yeah. win and you're going to be all bummed out. Get spoiled. Yeah. You know, I, I, you know, I should assume I'm going to not win. Like, I, that's the assumption, right? But that's not what I think. I'm like, I think I got a chance. I think, I think I, I could win this. You know, uh, with the, that's the fun of it. That's all. Yeah. I, do it. When I do the uh, play the lotto or any time I take or put a bet in or whatever, I, it's with the idea that yeah, I'm going to win this. Yeah. Yeah, you got to put that uh, that positive uh, energy out there. That's it. That's if you buy a lottery ticket, oh, I'm not going to win, then, the, of course, the lottery guys are going to be like, okay, this yeah. guy didn't really want to win anyway. Th- then why even try? Yeah. Yeah. You know? with it. How are things in D-Land? D-Land is fantastic. It's getting more beautiful by the day. Nebulizer, Carlos. Thank that's you. the word. I, I knew I Dude, messed that's that been up too. jumping in my head for a second. Thank you, yeah, Texters. Nebulizer. Yeah. I've done a million of them in my life. Yes. I probably couldn't use one right now, to be honest. But uh, yeah, it's doing I think good. Delaney, I think I think there's a lot of pollen there. Is oh there? Oh my God! Yeah, because yes. there's a lot of trees. My, it's the uh, oak trees. Yeah, like a, we've got about an acre with some trees, and it is pollen city. Yeah. Mm-hmm. I really am super lucky. I think that pollen, for whatever reason. Does not affect me. That's oh, it doesn't. Nice. No, but my whole life is allergies. Yeah. Okay, it's not like just a seasonal thing. It's and it's it's temperature and and it's a bunch of other things and it's asthma, so it's a little worse. Anyway, so I know how everybody is feeling right now. That's yeah. what you if were saying I, yesterday. I caught that light. I was like, yeah. this is how I feel all the time. All the time. <laughs> I actively have to take medicine every single day. That and sucks. if not, I shut down. I have a giant nose with giant sinuses, and they suck everything in. I'm loud, so I'm like a giant vacuum, and then I yeah. can't get it all out. And so if I don't take that medicine, man, I, I, I'm really Then you rough. have the flim ghosts. In, in, yeah. your, in your mind, <laughs> do you think of, because I had, listen, I'm not talking about it, about this person, uh, you know, she's sweet as she can be. But my my son's mom, okay, had horrible allergies. So, do you think about like what Megan has to go through living with someone who's got allergies? Yes, she hates it. It's the <laughs> yeah. grossest thing. Yeah. Yesterday was the grossest thing. I my when I got home, does she say anything to oh, you all the time? Oh, she, does. she should because I. Because I would it. never say anything to Leanne because I, I didn't want to hurt her feelings. But it was like, and I finally took her to an allergist. Yeah, yeah, and and, and it's and this is. Our archaic days, and they had like a 50 needles. It's still the same oh, thing. Oh, dude, same thing. It's not changed. No, yeah, they put we, it in your arm to see which ones you're. So you've done that. Yeah, you know, several times. I was going to say, you want to do a heartbreaker? We had to do that with uh, the 13 year old, and they did it on her back. Yeah. Yes. That's, I, 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 that's the day that I felt like the worst parent because it, she just didn't like, because she was the same as you. She's, everything was causing her yeah. the reaction and everything. Is, and she would walk around with the puffy eyes all the time. And we're trying to find out. And then it comes out to be it's oak. It's yep. pollen. Yep. It's all the, you know, the same thing. You know. So what, what does Megan say to you about it? Oh, gross. <laughs> Stop. <laughs> Because I did, though. So I didn't finish the like other sneezing, side. Like, you can't, and you can't no, no, help no, it. Actually, I don't sneeze a lot. Oh, okay. I don't sneeze a lot. It's not, those are all seasonal allergies. Like the sneezing, the runny eyes, the itchy yeah. nose. I luckily don't have those. Right, okay. Right. I have deep congestion where you're just not breathing. Yeah. It, uh. And zero mucus coming in and out. Yeah. It's just called sinusitis. It's yeah. just a disease of the. So it's just, you're always locked until you're just not. And there's no difference. And so. I'm just like, oh, blah, blah. and then and then if you produce a lot of phlegm. So yesterday when I told that gross ass story of being <laughs> William Defoe and poor yeah, things, yeah. gross phlegm monster. So, yes, I did that in front of Megan when I got home, <laughs> and she and I knew like that's as a husband, you know, you're not thinking of your partner because she's like one thing she gets grossed out by is when I blow when I do blow my nose and it sounds yeah. like. I'm ejecting, like, yeah. just, it's gross. Yeah. And I said, Megan, look what I can do. And I start going, Rrr. and then I flemmed up some things. She's like, what are you doing? Yeah. Yeah. I'm sure she was uh, like, oh, that's my smoking hot yeah. yeah. Look yeah. at yeah. that. Exactly. Yeah. 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 funny. Yeah. And, uh, and then my youngest split, you know, called me out and said, little Daddy, phlegm. come here. Oh! And, I said, what? and I, well, the night before, I was kicking up some stuff. Yeah. Going to the sink, yeah. spitting, going back to bed. I thought I was, fli- you know, spitting up little phlegm. Oh! My little one goes, and then Megan goes, yeah, show him. Show him. And Magnolia goes, gross, gross, come <laughs> here. Points to the sink, and there are these large phlegm spots that it was dark. I didn't turn the light on. Oh, I was like, oh you didn't oh, clean the sink. And I didn't clean the sink. Oh. And that's gross. And yeah. look, I'm admitting it. And I was like, oh, my gosh, I'm so sorry. And, I, you know, I cleaned it or whatever. So, uh, yeah, man. Well, that's worse than it. I mean, my thing was. Gross it, sometimes. It, it, and, <laughs> 
She couldn't help it. I, I understand. Know. It's allergies or whatever, but she would just sneeze all the time. Yes, yes, yes. Like yes, sneezing yeah, yeah. All, all the time. And I, I didn't get mad, but it, but as a husband, I got irritated. I'm like, oh, my God, always sneezing. So I finally talked her into going to an allergist. And um, How are you going to get mad if somebody sneezes? No, it is annoying if they don't three, do or so, three years or whatever, yeah. and they don't do anything. Yeah, you never, annoying. never go into the allergist, never try to solve it. And, it, and you, it, I, I did it. I got, I got irritated. Was it seasonal or was it all? No, it was like, pretty consistent. Oh, okay, that, it right. was consistent. Okay, I got you. I, got you. It's like, yeah. I get annoyed when people talk, talk oh, my allergy. And I go, do you take any medicine? And they're like, no. no. I'm like, and they complain about it all the time. I'm yeah. like, well, you got to do, you can do it a little bit, goes a long way sometimes. Yeah. yeah, yeah. That actually if, uh, goes into one of the topics I have today, but you can do something about it. It. But yeah. yeah, so anyway, so uh, yeah, th I think about you sometimes when I when I, you're out in delay and I'm yeah. like, my God, there's so much pollen out there. I'm sure, but you're not you're not really allergic to the. Luckily, yeah, yeah, that's yeah good luckily, there. yeah, yeah. I just kind of have to maintain it all year long. So I feel for everybody when it hits them hard and they're they're doing the sneezing and all and, those different things. Yeah, and I I did feel bad for uh, and I, you know she still has allergies. I'm uh, I, th I think she's actually cured them, but but uh, you know anyone who has bad allergies, I do feel bad for them. They can't help it. Right. You know it's not it's not their fault. But yeah, I. Uh, I had another uh, girlfriend actually who had uh, allergies, and I said, "You got to go to an allergist right away." And I went with her and took her, and they did that thing. And you're right; it was on the back. It's mm -hmm. like uh, for those who've never been, it's like this big board, and the big board has about 50 needles in it, and they put those needles on your back, and the stuff you're allergic to, what you react to, we, yeah, yeah. will we'll get red, and the stuff that you're not won't. And and and, uh, and I was it, it that, did this thing, and then like 17 things popped up. Like, oh my god, yeah. you're allergic to everything. I was so heartbroken that day. That was one of the toughest uh, doctors, and I've been, you know, really fortunate and blessed. And you know, uh, relatively speaking, you know, uh, with her, we had her tonsils out early and stuff like that, but nothing really major. And so that was the one of the first ones where sitting there with her in the office and the, and I never I had never been to an allergy right. test never knew uh, oh, right. never knew what it consisted of the guy that we went to was like this old man and, and I'm like and he brings out this device and I was like how are what are we doing this is so archaic and he's like this is what we did blah, 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 blah. and I, I was just oh it hurt my, to this day it still hurts my feelings when I think about yeah, it yeah yeah, yeah, yeah. It's like, wait a <laughs> Same I, thing. I know a lot of y'all out there dealing with the with the pollen and with the allergy and stuff and and uh, yeah, you know try to get it taken care of as much as you can we'll take a little break we'll come back uh, I'm not gonna give it away but there's a movie i saw yesterday super interesting the way that they did it and i'll do my best not to give anything away and then you got a story about the uh, oh my gosh i witnessed this just a, a, a harrowing uh picture or, or experience happening at an apartment complex right here in Altamont, and I got to sit there and watch it and i was like what's going on i will do Whoa, that too yeah. so I do, do not go anywhere you're listening to the monsters of the morning at Real Radio 1041, sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center. Shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Got a little heavy traffic now eastbound on I 4 from US 27 to State Road 429. There's construction in the left lane northbound on Florida's Turnpike south of the Canoe Creek Service Plaza. Watch for road work in both directions of Alafaya Trail at University Boulevard. Two left lanes are closed northbound and the southbound left lane is closed. And there's wreck in Kissimmee on Point Siena Boulevard at Old Tampa Highway. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency. HCA Florida Castleberry Emergency, located at the intersection of U.S. Highway 17 and 92 and Dog Track Road in Castleberry, is now open 24-7. Visit HCAFloridaHealthcare.com to learn more. This emergency department is part of HCA Florida Lake Monroe Hospital. This is not an urgent care center. Its services are billed at hospital rates. Went to go visit uh, the uh, people over at QC Kinetics a couple weeks ago. Really glad I got to go out there. This was the uh, location that's over in Lake Mary, and I got to see how much it, it really is important important to uh, the nurses and the doctors there to make sure that you are taken care of and they will they'll work with you any way they can uh, you know financially they'll they do financing available and they you know they'll help you get rid of all that pain a lot of people think that the only way they can get rid of uh, joint pain you know shoulder pain back pain knee pain stuff like that is to have surgery and they're they're, they're upset about that like well surgery then I have to be out of work for a month or so you don't have to do that with QC kinetics they can help you restore and repair that damaged tissue and you don't have to, get to take off work uh, and, uh, and and the you know, pro athletes have been doing this for decades now it's available for you to do it's called QC kinetics literally transforming lives their advanced treatments 
harness your body's own ability to restore and repair that damaged tissue, and it goes right into the joint, right into the pro- you know, where the problem is, and you can get walking and running and climbing stairs and, and playing golf all again, all right? It's, it's QC Kinetics. Financing is available. And you don't have to take off of work. It's QC Kinetics. Uh, it's a free consultation, and it's a great thing, you know, if you want to use your tax refund check, it's a great way to uh, use it to get rid of that pain so you can get moving again. Here's the phone number to contact them, 689-244-7980. That's 689-244-7980 with, uh, for QC Kinetics. They're in Orlando, Winter Park, the Villages, and I went to the store in Lake Mary. Awesome people. 689-244-7980 for QC Kinetics. I'm getting vaccinated with Prevnar 20, a Pfizer vaccine. So am I, because I'm at risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. If you're 19 or older with chronic conditions like asthma, diabetes, COPD, or heart disease, or are 65 or older, you are at increased risk for pneumococcal pneumonia. Ask your doctor or pharmacist about Prevnar 20, pneumococcal 20-valent conjugate vaccine. It can help protect you against pneumococcal pneumonia in just one dose. Even if you've already been vaccinated with other pneumonia vaccines, Prevnar 20 may help provide added protection. Prevnar 20 is approved for adults to help prevent infections from 20 strains of the bacteria that cause pneumococcal. you've had a severe allergic reaction to the vaccine or its ingredients. Adults with weakened immune systems may have a lower response to the vaccine. Side effects include pain and swelling at the injection site, fatigue, headache, muscle, and joint pain. For full prescribing information, please call 1-855-213-2138 or visit Prevnar20.com. I'm Charles. I got a bad back injury when a truck crashed into my car. You know those lawyer ads. All they talk about are themselves and money, money, money. I wanted the best doctors for my back. I called attorney Glenn Klausman. He got me to really good doctors, and I'm doing great. Glenn was always available to talk to. He got me a great settlement and quicker than I thought possible. Car crash? Call Klausman at 407-917-1718. K-L-A-U-S-M-A-N law.com. Office, Winter Park. I'm Chris Walls, and I'm a truck driver from Missouri. For 13 hours a night, I sit in my truck and I drive. Out of boredom, I'll stop and eat. If I'm not doing fast food, I guarantee there's a bag of chips open on my dashboard. Along with that, I'm good for about four liters of soda a night. That was all until Andro 400. I started out four months ago weighing 341 pounds, and since taking Andro 400, I have dropped 45 pounds. I'm sleeping better. There's no craving. My knee pain went away. I've had some lower back issues, and I've noticed that that went away, and I can only contribute that to Andro 400. One thing that Andro 400 said on the radio ad says it attacks belly fat. Well, let me tell you, it did. I've lost six inches. This product really does work. So, guys, if you'd like to experience similar results, then get Andro 400, the safe, natural, and inexpensive way to boost your testosterone. Go to andro400.com or call 888-400-0435. 888-400-0435. Frank Gay has something cool for you. Keep your AC running smoothly with a tune-up for only $89 for a limited time. Friendly, speedy, and expert service. That's the Frank Gay way. Visit frankgayservices.com or call for details. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 original stations waiting for you to explore right now. Like 24-7 comedy. Men don't settle down. We surrender. Women, we never express the emotions we're actually feeling, right? I'm fine means I'm about to stab you in the neck. Clips from today's top comedians and the greatest of all time. Donut hole. If you want a donut, have a donut. Why are you eating the hole? When you need a laugh, just open the free iHeartRadio app and search comedy. You can actually change the station. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Hey, uh, yesterday, Zero Res came to the house. And, man, they did such a great job. The guy that came over, 21-year-old man, a really cool dude. And uh, and they make sure when they come into the house, they put those guard uh, card rails around the, uh, the the house to make sure, you know, the walls to make sure they don't make any, you know, mess or whatever. And they bring their own ZR water. The ZR water is a patented ZR water that cleans everything so much better. I got to go out to the truck and check it all out. It's a big container, uh, special water that dries faster. It's safer for kids and for pets. And that's why we wanted them to come to the house and clean all the tile and then to clean all the uh, the grout and man cleaning that grout just makes everything look so much better they also we have a a, a, a big granite 
um, uh, like uh, island in the middle of the kitchen. They cleaned that granite as well and did a great job with that. ZR Water is 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 awesome, and uh, and uh, you know if you if you want to get this done at your house for spring cleaning, they do an incredible job. They came in, I, I think the guy was there for forty five minutes maybe, and uh, did an awesome job. It's called Zero Res. If you mention my name, you'll get twenty percent off the the tile and the grout cleaning. Awesome job. They also cleaned a carpet for me. It's $49 for the carpet, like a whole room of carpeting, and it, the carpet looks brand new. It looks brand new again. Uh, and, of course, we had that new puppy, so that, you know, uh, that we kind of needed to make sure they, you know, there, there were some accidents, and we want to get them all cleaned up. And uh, Orlando Zero Res did that for us. OrlandoZeroRes.com. That's OrlandoZeroRes.com. Zero Res, spelled forwards or backwards. It's the right way to clean. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Hey, by the way, uh, zero, I just did the zero res. If you're listening to the, at the podcast, you didn't hear the commercial I just did. I just did a, uh, a spot for uh, Zero Res, which is one of our great clients, and we would thank them for uh, sponsoring the show. And so yesterday, you know, I like to use the clients that we have. You know, I support sure. them. They support us. Uh, that's, that's how I roll. And so we had Zero Res come out. And, uh, you know, it's spring cleaning, and I like, you know me, I like things all super clean. We've had the puppy, and of course there's been, you know, when you're training, house training a puppy, there's been accidents, you know. Oh, yeah. We clean them up as best we can, but this uh, ZR water they have is really, really clean stuff. So we had them come to clean the uh, the tile and the grout, and uh, a, a guy comes, nice, you know, nice guy, 20, you know, 21-year-old man. I'll, I'll, I'll say man, you know. Uh, normally I'd say a kid, but he's not a kid. He's a grown man. And, um comes in the house because you're Russ Rollins, right? I'm like, yes, yes, I am, you know? And I'm like, oh, great. He listens. He goes, you don't know. My grandmother has been listening for so long. And, you know, when you've been doing this for a long time, it used to be, you know, like you know, my sister listens. And then, yeah. you know, and then you know, my mom listens. You know, now I'm at the point I've been doing it over 30 years. My grandma listens. Yep. And, I, and I'm like, hey, you know what? Let's you, you want to. He said, can we take a picture so I can send it to my grandma? She'll be so she'll be so jealous. And I'm like, let's let's give her a call, you know. Uh, so we, uh, so he picks up the phone we get, Patty is her name. We call Patty and, uh, and I was like, hi, how you doing, Patty? It's Russ from the monsters. Oh my, she was so excited. And I'm like, how long you been listening to the show? And she said in 93 or 94, I remember on, I think it was 192, uh, you guys had a billboard and I didn't know who you were. And I, and I, and I saw that billboard and I was talking to my friend and my friend said, oh yeah, you got to listen to this guys. You'll love it. And I'm like, you're telling me you're an actual person that started listening to the radio show because of the billboard. And she said, yes, I am. And you've been listening for 30 years. I said, well, I guess that billboard was worth every damn They always are. <laughs> every I, damn cent. There's a reason they're still around. There's a reason we still look at them. I think they're I still. I ignore them. Like, I don't I think don't. about billboards. And, and, uh, Everybody doesn't have to pay attention to them, but there's certain people that do, then then may say something. And know? that's the point. Uh, right. and, and this was, Patty, I, I mean, thank you. That was nice talking to you. I wanted to give her a promo shot, you know, and I went back in my back room, and I, was looking, I didn't have any. Uh, but I had a copy of Jolly Jane, I, I, you know, and I'm like, hey, man, I said, how is your, is your grandma, like, real conservative? Because this book is really, I mean, there's, there's a, lot of, a lot of TNA in this. Oh, hell no, she's drunk right now. He, he said, my grandma is not conservative at all. She would love it. Right? I'm like, I don't know. Let me show you some of these pages. Ah, she won't care. She'll absolutely love it. So I, uh, I, I signed it for her, gave her a copy of Jolly Jane, my, uh, my gra graphic novel, and then I went back into the back room, and I found one promo shot that I had left, so uh, I gave that to her. But, uh, yeah, it, it was just interesting because, uh, uh, Angel, what you don't know, I, Angel misses so much of our conversation. Is we were having a conversation in here the other day about about billboards. It's something we've kind of forgotten about that used to be a way to, you know, get people to listen to the radio and all that kind of stuff. Now everything is like, well, we, you know, we, Instagram, Facebook, you know, it's all social media, and we've forgotten about the billboard aspect of it. And I was telling Carlos, I don't know if people pay attention to billboards anymore, but there was a perfect story of someone who who uh, saw the billboard back in 94 and has listened to her entire life because of a damn billboard. I don't know. Yeah. Yeah. All traditional forms of advertising have like a lot of good things about them, and a lot of, some bad oh. things about them. But them billboards been around a long time. Very I'm a billboard guy. I love the universe. I, I'd say the greatest set of themed billboards ever, if there was a billboard hall of fame. 
Universal Studios would stand far above everybody oh, yeah. else. Oh, they killed it with them. For a series in the 90s, they created what was really, you felt like you were on a ride looking at this billboard. The Jaws. Yeah, that was they, deeper. They were, they were badass. Bring them back. The billboard she was talking about, and, I, and, and if you look, we've got this little uh, thing, thing that pops up all the time uh, uh, behind Carlos's head. You got a TV screen, all these pictures, and it, the billboard comes up. It's the billboard. It's Russ and Bo show with Dirty Jim, and it says, "Ouch, you got to like that on the top." Like that's the one that she was talking about that she saw back oh, yeah. in '93. Uh, and that cost me, I remember at the time, and had my party business, and I was running everything through my party business. So I was basically draining my party business to uh, to make the radio thing work. But it was like $2,500 a month for that particular that, billboard. That's crazy and, expensive, then. And at that time, that was a lot of money. Hell, yeah. That's and like it, 10 Gs, probably. It, 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 oh, oh I, had to, yeah, I, had to, I, had to, I had to do it for five months. Uh, what? No, 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 but I'm saying, like, essentially, that was $10,000 oh. now. Okay, but you know, at the time it was super expensive, and, what? I, and I rem- that's what I'm saying. I remember the other people on the station on Real Radio were all kind of like Jim Phillips and, and Ed Till. They were all pissed off because they didn't have a billboard, right? right. <laughs> but I went and bought, I went and bought my own billboard, uh, not thinking. You know, I don't know. I thought I just wanted to get attention. I wanted people just to assume yep. we, we were there, you know. Uh, but it, you know, here this lady Patty yesterday uh, because of that damn silly billboard uh, listened to her entire life. Kind of a cool story. So I know now you're looking at me listening to a billboard, but man, they're expensive. We got well, we, we, we got invest. We'd have you know? to sell sex. What are we gonna do? Uh, um, nice. uh, <laughs> <laughs> Wouldn't be that bad. <laughs> you think? No, not to advertise this massive radio show. No, I'm sure it'd be probably you know reasonable. I mean, that's that would be great to see us on a billboard because people have forgotten about certain traditional means of advertising. But no, it wouldn't where be. Where would you put it? Where would you put a new bill? But you got a new billboard now. Where would you put I four? Right? One hundred percent. You gotta go I four. Like where, in a nearly road? I don't know. No. I would I would hope they would have a better, you know, if you're going to get a billboard, they'd go, hey, guys, you, they have some demographics, they got some numbers, you talk to them, how much, and then you, and then your, the listeners are driving, hey, look at that, the monster on a billboard. What do you think about the digital billboards? Are those good? Because, uh, like, what if you're on the digital billboard, and as you're driving by, three other things flash up, and it, see, I'd be pissed off. If, if, like, I know we're on this billboard, ah. Oh, I'm going 45 miles per hour. I'm going to slow down so I can see us, and then it doesn't come up. I'm going to wreck my car. I think that's the idea, though, is that if you're putting it in through uh, high traffic uh, places that, uh, at, you know, especially in Orlando where there's high commute uh, areas that you would eventually see it. And, yeah. You know what I mean? That's the, uh, the the gist of it. So, And we have the lucky thing, and then I, I mean, it's just the nature of the, the business. So many people don't have the ability of whatever they're advertising that they can immediately get. For us, listen to Real Radio 104.1. They're right driving, like, now. Right now. Okay. Pookie. It's like, it's as close a point of sale as you can possibly get. And that here we are. Yeah. Not doing it. You know who does the, the billboard gimmick pretty damn well is Morgan and Morgan. Like John he's, Morgan. He's a pretty smart guy, John, wouldn't you say? He got the right change, though. Yeah. yeah. You know, you got to have the correct change. But regardless, you know, you got to invest in, in also the things that you're trying to do, too. But and you that's know, how you but, get the return. But, you know, here they won't give us money to get uh, uh, bumper that. stickers. I, don't, I wasn't thinking them. <laughs> yeah. I'm thinking you. Big, big, big you know, yeah, pocket I, pants. Yeah, I know. Yeah, yeah. I got you know, hey, to. Your show, puppy. Yeah, I know. But, damn, that's, uh, it gets expensive. Yeah, and that's the gist with this thing is that uh, just getting a singular billboard that that's like just you know peeing in the ocean. Yeah, you know if you're gonna really make you go a commitment, big, you got to go all over the town. Yeah, so uh, I, I I would say yes in certain regards, but we literally are in the business of ratings where we're looking to get just very few people, very few things in the in the kind of overall world of ratings. So it's very specific. Shout out to Brian Haddonfield who's playing Enhance Enhance Ryan with Digital Data right now. Yeah, per Google. Large bulletin billboards, $2,300. Large digital billboards, $3,100. Me- medium poster billboards, $1,000. That's not bad at all. That's that's pretty good, man, considering the, what the return would be on something like that. $1,000 a billboard a month. Yeah. 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 <laughs> yeah. And then somebody you get one listener that has that has that ability. Yeah, and then yeah. all of a sudden, you know, like, so that, and just overall, you need to market 
you know, um, you know, whatever you're doing in general. Well, I, I do believe in, in signs, right? All right. And the fact that I took, you know, I say, I, I, would, I always take the time to call somebody like that. But I'm just saying that the fact that this kid showed up, guy showed up, and it was his grandma. And the first thing she mentioned to me about the billboard, I was like, oh, man, that's some sort. We just had this conversation. You know what I'm saying? Happens like all the time. Like, like that's a red flag. Or yep. they'll call it a green flag. It's a sign. It's a, it's a sign. It's like, okay, I'm trying to tell you billboards work. Uh, so anyway, hey, and then going back to the conversation about about the pollen and about allergies and all this kind of stuff, I I've seen this on TV a lot, and I, I'm not, I don't know if you guys have ever if you've ever tried it since you've had the allergies, N- Navage I think it's called where where it, oh, we it, run it, advertising for that every okay, day. Okay, we run okay we run yeah. advertising. So you basically you you pump water through one side of your nose and then it comes out the other side of your nose, which looks disgusting. Uh, but does that work? I mean, they're like probably our biggest advertisers. So um, yeah. uh, I don't know. I've always heard it, but then I think there's people that swear by they it. They swear by yeah. it, but I don't know if that's. I mean, it's just cleansing your sinuses. I, yeah. uh, we we run that ad about uh, twenty times a day. And how I'm, is it? It doesn't drown you. Well, you're breathing well, through, you're your still mouth. through your mouth. And then the water goes, so the water doesn't go in your lung. I yeah. mean, it goes through one side. Of you never had a com- friend who had that, who knew how to do that trick to take a, like a piece of string and, and go from one nostril to the other? I think I've seen it. Yeah. Yeah, yeah that's, that's disgusting. why the ear, nose, and throat, right? Yeah. That's why yeah. the, that doctor was like, look, give me the three, because basically <laughs> it's Grand Central Station down there. They all connect, and I'll cover them all. all right. And so, uh, yeah, I have never asked my ear, nose, and throat, what do you think about Navage? Because that's how they say it. Yeah, in the, they go Savage. The so that's the same person who who created the Johnny Depp uh, <laughs> cologne, which is Savage. So, yeah, I got that. I don't, uh, but I don't have Navage. Now you need Navage with your Savage. I can have both. You can smell it better with your Savage because of your Navage. We should do it live on the air. Okay, let's, let's, let's do if, it. If they're sponsors, let's get us one. And let's uh, let's. Oh do yeah, it. that's gonna be real uh, cleanly. Uh, the, all of us use the same one. <laughs> sure, yeah. let's ram this up each well, other's nostrils. That's worse than hitting the same crack vines. <laughs> <You know? laughs> Damn. Because, but I have wanted to do it because I don't want. Well, it would be nice to have it, but then like, like imagine my whole life I've been listening to this damn Navaj commercial and I didn't do it. But like, if I did it once and I'm like, you're hooked. Oh, oh my god. god! And I could breathe like. Oh, my life has changed like that lady who screams about it in the commercial. Right. I did Navaj one time. I used to not breathe for 27 years in Brooklyn, New York. I did one version of Navaj, and now I work for the FBI sniffing drugs. <laughs> that's literally one of the Navaj commercials. Well, there's, uh, maybe that's a solution. I just remember the, watching the commercial and seeing it. I Actually, I don't listen to our commercials. Like, I'm busy doing stuff during our commercials, so I hadn't really heard it. I didn't know they were sponsored. Yeah. But, uh, but um. <laughs> It's good to know. Yeah, we play <laughs> that one a lot. It's good to know. Uh, 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 what else? Are so, so, to- uh, so we have listeners that obviously have picked it up. This person says that I have it. It drowns me. I can't use it at all. Oh, that's on you. How does it <laughs> drown you? Maybe they can't breathe through their mouth. I guess. Is that uh, what a neti pot? What's a neti pot? I think it's very similar to a massage. Yeah. Just it's a different same, same principles. Okay. Well, I'm sure a lot of people, if they're having problems with their allergies right now, I want. But listen, I'll tell you right now, if it works. It's good. Yeah, I will buy the like the offshoot Chinese version. Yeah, and I'll call it the Navarro Navaj. There we go. Because the, the onomatopoeia with that, the fact that I have a history with clogged sinuses, and I get on here and I'm like, "You try that Navarro Navaj," and people will buy left and right, and I'll put a billboard up. Different. No, uh, are you are you related to Peter Navarro that uh, just went to? It's, to, one, it's, to my, j- it's one of my uncles. Is that Uncle Peter <laughs> Navarro yo, that yo, just went man. to jail for, yo, uh, Petey, for Donald Trump? Oh, Petey, what? Why? I told you, <laughs> stop messing with Trump. He's like, Carlos, like, yeah, pero mira, Carlo, mira. A Navarro in the White House? Every and time. I was like, I know, man, I know, but it's Trump. And he's like, he's like, no, but he tells me he really likes me. I was like, I know, but eventually the bus is coming, man. The bus is coming, and Larry is going to go to jail for another man. To lie was, it, was, for it Pete, another... was it Peter or Larry? Oh, Peter yeah, Navarro. Peter, Peter, Peter Navarro. Yeah. Every yeah. time oh, I, I'm, I'm like, there's Uncle Peter Navarro yeah, uh, going to man. jail for Donald Trump. Uh, but uh, Carlos is mad as hell about I, He that. used to be, like, the most, like, Successful Navarro, Pete Navarro. But not now. Not anymore, baby. It's me, baby. Me. <laughs> He's got to do four months. Uh, you know, you probably could do four months, you know. Yeah. 
four months. Oh, damn, and I got, he's not really going to jail, jail either. I'm lying. My co- my cousin's a chiropractor. <laughs> Shout out to JP. Uh, JP. <laughs> he's more successful. And he owns a bunch of Greek places. So the dude is loaded. So, so there you go, JP. So Navarro JP is his name. Because this guy doesn't look like a Navarro. Like he, 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 what does that mean, sir? He looks, I don't know what you're trying to say by that. Yeah, yeah, he, yeah. He, he looks like he's maybe like a Viking man or something. Or, or uh, you know. A lot uh, of Navarro, deep Navarros look like Viking men as well. Do they? Yeah, they're just like. Like, you know, Peruvian versions of Viking men. Okay. Uh, but, uh, yeah, Petey, I told him, man. He called me up Uncle when he Pete. took the gig. Uncle Pete, I said, listen, just be careful. Because from what I hear, Donald Trump usually doesn't keep friends more for around than, you know, the next tax cycle. <laughs> right. <laughs> a month or so. A month or whatever he needs you at that time. Let's yeah. see how it goes. But, Petey, hey, say what's up to some other people in the clink clink. <laughs> yeah, it's one. Of, it's gonna be one of those really nice jails, you know, where where they got billiards. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. <man. laughs> where well, you, you, you can play, you can play, you play golf, you know. Yeah. It'll, it'll, be, it'll be one of them. All right, now take a little break. I'll tell you about that movie and uh, <laughs> that I wanted to tell you about when we come back. You're listening to the Monster of the Morning. Something on your mind? Text us at seven seven zero three one. Standard data and message rates apply. Real Mobile is powered by Orange Buick GMC and OrangeBuickGMC.com. We are professional grade. This is Katina Mobley. This is what's trending from iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Mercedes-Benz. The Magic opened up a 35-point halftime lead and cruised to a win over the Hornets. Cole Anthony, 21 points on 9 of 12 shooting. Magic have won four in a row now. Postseason college basketball tipped off in UCF. Saw its season end eliminated in the NIT falling to South Florida. The NCAA tournament tipped off with two first four games in Dayton. Wagner and Colorado State both won. I'm Matt McCoy. From the versatile EQB to the sublime EQS sedan, Mercedes-Benz makes electric extraordinary. The vehicles are all electric. The feeling is all Mercedes. The choice is all yours. Learn more at mbusa.com slash EQ. I love it when I can tell you about the International Diamond Center because simply they're the best. When you're buying jewelry, all right, uh, you're getting engaged, maybe celebrating something big, the International Diamond Center or IDC can hook you up. You're going to love their selection. The largest selection on hand is at the International Diamond Center. It's the largest pick when it comes to certified diamonds, hand-picked certified diamonds in the state of Florida. All designer jewelry, uh, all the stuff that women are asking for, they have it. The famous engagement ring bands, they've got them at at the International Diamond Center. And what you're really going to love is their laid-back approach. I don't know about you, but I don't like to go someplace and they're, like, pressuring me. They don't pressure you at the International Diamond Center. There, there are no commission salespeople. And what that means is there's never any pressure because they're not making commission. They're just there to help you pick out what you need, pick out what you want for the price that, you know, that fits your budget at the International Diamond Center. Great, great, uh, awesome people. You'll love their guarantees and their warranties at the International Diamond Center. And, uh, you know, you, you know, every purchase comes from a nationwide price guarantee, free service, for life at the International Diamond Center. Mostly, you're going to love the value at International Diamond Center. Best and lowest, most attractive prices all around at the International Diamond Center. It's the total package. Uh, IDC is locally owned, but internationally connected. It's the International Diamond Center. Four locations to choose from. You can shop online if you want to. Go to shopidc.com. It's the International Diamond Center. Hard Rock Bet presents Legal in Florida. You can bet the game on Hard Rock Bet. Get a no regret first bet up to $100 when you sign up now. Offered by the Seminole Tribe of Florida. Must be 21 and over and physically present in Florida to wager. Terms and conditions apply. Concerned about gambling? Please call 1 888 Admit It. Life is too short to let allergy and sinus issues hold you back. At Aspire Allergy and Sinus, we understand the impact these challenges can have on your life. Imagine a life free from constant sneezing, itchy eyes, and sinus headaches. Our expert team provides comprehensive allergy testing and personalized treatment plans, ensuring your specific needs are addressed. Simple relief, better life. At Aspire Allergy and Sinus, visit AspireAllergy.com to schedule an appointment. AspireAllergy.com and tackle your allergies head on. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. 
Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at Dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's Dell.com slash deals. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. You know you should clean your carpet and tile, but did you know there's a right way to clean? Russ Rollins here for Zero Res, and they have figured it out with their patented process that leaves zero sticky, soapy chemical residue behind. They bring their own special ZR water because it cleans better, and it dries faster, and it's safer for kids and pets. So, no hooking up to your water. Mention my name, and you get 20% off your tile and grout cleaning. And carpet cleaning is only $49 per room. Go online to OrlandoZeroRes.com. That's Zero Res, spelled forwards or backwards. It's the right way to clean. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. And we're Anajar and Levine. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference by calling us with any of your legal needs. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Have you ever considered a career opportunity in the skilled trades? Kalo Services will be hosting a job fair from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. on Saturday, March 23rd in Claremont. You'll be able to learn more about our open positions, our team, and the benefits we offer. No prior experience in the trades is required. To register, please visit kalosflorida.com slash jobs or text or call 352-243-7099. Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like, one day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. My wife and I both, we ended up mildly sick for a few months, and the nasal congestion was probably the worst part. I had like a post-nasal drip, just super congested all the time. We were taking everything we possibly could, but nothing really worked. Kyrie was miserable until a friend recommended Navage. Navage offers immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus, germs, and other airborne irritants. Don't live in misery this cold season. Use Navage so you can breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. The biggest thing Navage has done has completely cleaned out my nasal passages. It, it was from the first use. I was able to just clear out anything that was stopping me from breathing correctly. Navage helps me clear the way literally clear the way for me to operate better in the rest of my life. Experience the Navage difference yourself. Navage is available at Navage.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert, and I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free, explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit. 800-522-5700. 800-522-5700. Hey, listeners, do you want to win a scholarship while helping you save lives? Well, now you can. Go to ProjectYellowLight.com, a scholarship competition for high school and college students to help with the brakes on distracted driving. Submit your radio ad idea, and your submission could be turned into a national radio ad, just like the one you're listening to now. Make a statement. Win a scholarship. Save a life. Go to ProjectYellowLight.com in partnership with Project Yellow Light, NHTSA, the Ad Council, and iHeartRadio. No purchase necessary. Ends April 1st, 2024. For details and official rules, hit up ProjectYellowLight.com. Radio. 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 Man. Radio. Radio. Welcome back to the Monsters. Morning to Radio 104.1. Did you see the story? You know, we've been talking about this story a little bit, and that's the kid Riley who's been missing in uh, in, in, in Nashville. Did you see that last clip of... Uh, so that's what I was going to talk about. Uh, yeah, so so they found another clip. And, and if, if I'm this police officer, I'm just going, ah. Oh. 
So the kid, Riley, who there's been video of him, and you can see him walking from a, a bar. He was actually at Luke Bryan's bar, but he could have been at any – look, if you've ever been to Nashville, Tennessee, uh, that street, Broadway Street, just a bunch of bars there. You don't just go to one. You, 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 you go bar hopping. Anyway, last place he, they, they asked him to leave – was Luke Bryan's bar, right? So they show him, and and, and his buddies kind of stayed behind. He went off by himself. They've got video of him like stumbling around the street, but they found a new video. And the new video, he's walking by, and the police officer has, I guess, probably body the, cam. The body cam on. And the police officer says, hello, sir, how are you doing? Uh, you know, to, to ask the kid how he's doing. And the kid answers, and he answers clear, and, and he says, you know, I'm good, sir, how are you? And, and, and there were, there's no reason for the officer to, to think anything or to be concerned or i mean he didn't stand he, up he's not stumbling at the time he spoke back properly uh and it looks like that's the uh that's the last time they, they saw the kid they did find his driver's license i think it was or his bank card by the river uh the cumberland river which is very close to where uh broadway street is so it's not looking good but man that that last video it's like if you're the cop you're, you're like man he oh, was he right there, you yeah. know. Yeah, he can't do anything about he that. He can't though. do nothing about it. Because uh, he, I mean, he asked. He had a positive. There, there was nothing uh, remarkable about their exchange that drew uh, the officer's attention to inquire anything else. Yeah. You how, know? how old is it? Is this kid? The kid 21, is 21, 21, 21, 22 years old. Okay, yeah. so he's just like missing. Uh, he's this been kid? missing for a while. Oh, yeah, okay. I, yeah, I didn't bad. know anything. Oh, you didn't. Oh, no, what are you no, talking no, about? No, oh, no, oh, no. Uh, so yeah. Uh, oh yeah, yeah, he wasn't here. You were out. Yeah. So he's missing. Remember, he's been out for weeks. Sick. Yeah. yeah, his parents uh, were, uh, you know, uh, were, th- what I found was you know, the parents were like pleading to Luke Bryan, you know. Oh, and so now, okay. now, now all these, you know, uh, country music stars have their names on their bars, right? So now that you have your name on the bar, the the parents are like, Luke, please help us, please make sure we get the camera. And Luke Bryan, you know, it's kind of it's personalizing it to this, but but his bar, they asked him to leave because he had too much to drink, so they did the right thing. You know, um, uh, oh, wow. so it, what happens, Los, is a bunch of college kids. They go to Broadway, so it, it, that's the spot that you go to, yeah, uh, right? Yeah, so yeah, he was—I forget the university that he was coming down there from. Yeah, uh, they go there. They're bar hopping and everything. He's asked to leave, and then uh, you could tell from a bunch of different uh, security cameras and everything. He's stumbling down the road a he's little bit. Pretty and everything. Drunk. And right, he's sure. pretty drunk. But like, you, like that last exchange, that when last clip when he's talking to the police officer, he doesn't look that bad. He straightens know? right uh, up and, uh, he, and he answers nicely, and the officer was nice and For a moment and, in time just enough to get you know so like they found his bank card back. by the river and and um you know uh, it's uh, yeah man when you're a visually stumbling person there are predators in the night that see you as a little baby little baby <sighs> sea lion yeah i mean when you're and visually he's not a big stumbling, kid. and yeah i mean you are just a mark and and good Luck. Yeah. And, uh, Feel bad for the parents. They're yeah, obviously very upset. That's he, horrible. He, he's yeah. kind of a thin kid. And, and, um, and uh, anyway, so uh, uh, I, I hope they find something just for the parents. Okay, this, and I'm not going to give anything away. Oh, but, boy. But, Here this, we go. but this is an, int- now, maybe this has been done before. I'm just going to say it's the first time I've ever I've seen it been done. So, you know, the FBI, uh, let's say the FBI raids your house and they, uh, and they talk to you, right? They record that entire thing. So this movie is a new movie that's out, and, and and she must be the new the new uh, hit, you know hot girl new uh, new hit, hit maker. Megan Stallion? No, um, uh, Sydney Sweeney. It's starring Sydney Sweeney. Oh yeah, she is. I got a couple so, reasons why. So here's the whole premise of the movie, and it's really interesting. And I'm not going to give anything away, so no need for spoiler or whatever. I'm just going to tell you the premise. They've got this entire. I think it's about an hour and a half uh, uh, audio of the FBI agents going to her house and interrogating her. And when they're showing the, 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 the scenes or whatever, they're acting some of it out. And then they switch to the actual audio so you can see the act, you know, hear exactly the way it's said. And, and, they, and you can tell they're, they're talking the exact same way that they're ta- these, two, uh, these two FBI agents are talking to her. Uh, and then they'll switch back to us, you know, it, but it kind of goes all in the same timeline and with, with them in, interrogating her at her house. Uh, asking her, right, is it okay if we uh, is it okay if we ask you questions here? Do you want to go back to the because uh, the FBI uh, office is a couple miles away? We could take you there, and then they'll switch back. And then there's one uh, scene where they, he's like, "We'd like to take a picture of you here, if you don't mind. Can we take a picture of you?" So when they take the picture, they show the real picture of the real girl that 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 they're interrogating, sure. and um, it was super interesting. And I won't give anything away because it'll ruin it if I tell you what happens. But but it's called reality. 
Uh, and that's her name. That's her first name is Reality. Whoa. And um, Run from that chick. You meet Reality at a bar, you run. You don't ever want to meet Reality at a bar and try and date it. It's Yeah, it's the way the F- – and, and, and you can see how they interrogate this her. This is a real story. Yes, it is a real story. Yeah. That, that's no, what I'm no. trying to say. Yeah, it's a real story. It's real FBI yeah. agents. And you hear the real audio of the real people. You yeah, see, yeah, yeah, yeah. And, and they act it out the way that it happened – uh, in real life. So, yes, it is 100% a real story. And you see the real picture of the real girl. And um, and I'm not, I don't want to blow it and tell you what happens. But Does she look like Sydney Sweeney? Um, you know what? She looked a little like Sydney Sweeney, but not exactly. You know, you could tell it was a different person when they showed the photos of the real girl. This seems like a Dateline thing. It was sort of like that, but acted out by, you know, some really great actors. I mean, the, the two the, the two actors that are the FBI agents. Well, there's actually three. They're, well, there's a bunch that run around the house, but uh, but the three that actually are on camera uh, are really good actors. And of course, Sydney Sweeney's considered a great actress. And um, and uh, so I suggest you watch know, the way that it's done. It is you know it's called reality because that that is her really her first name. But the movie is reality. You know, you, you, right, you, so they intertwined, so it's a movie, and they intertwined it seamlessly. The real, the real life events. The real life events, yeah, with yeah. They, in a sense. They do that with those docuseries a little bit, like, you know, but this is an actual film that they incorporated. So this young lady, the lady in question, she was uh, to be, or is considered, or uh, is argued, that uh, she's like the uh, another version of like an uh, Edward Snowden kind of uh, person. Oh, okay. I, 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 didn't yeah. want, I didn't want to give anything away. But yeah, no, no, no. Was, I mean, again, it was national news. I, okay. like, I yeah. like that, though. Producer was like, does she look like Sidney Sweeney? And they're like, no, not really like... But well, we should get Sydney Sweeney for this, right? <laughs> it looked no, a little right, bit. She right. looked a little bit like her. But but when they read, you know, in in, uh, in uh, papers where they uh, what's it called redact things, where they, where they black out things, where it's redacted, the, uh, the the scene gets all fuzzy. It'll go because you know you, the, the, we can't tell you this part. You know, right, right. when she says particular names and particular things, they they uh, they uh, they fuzzy it out. But um, I just I was I was shocked and surprised of how it ended up. I didn't know I I, I didn't know. <laughs> You know how yeah, it, this was it, a big story. Yeah, but yeah. Did, did you? So you knew the the name reality? I didn't know her last yeah. name. Her last uh, name's bites. <laughs> uh, but I I remember it with it breaking, and I remember it being a question of national security, and yes. I remember you know all the uh, all the, you know all those things, and again coming off the heels of Edward Snowden and stuff like that. So I do remember that. I didn't realize it had been made into a movie. It was you know, interesting the way yeah. the FBI handles things like that, and the way the FBI. You know, uh, treated her and uh, let's say manipulated her. But you, you got to watch. I, I say watch it. I think you get a, a kick out of it. Uh, it's called Reality, and I believe it's on Amazon uh, uh, right now. Hey, what, uh, what prize do we have in the prize pinata today? Russ, today's prize pinata is brought to you by Cento Family Moving and Storage. They are Central Florida's trusted source for local and long distance moving services. From packing to delivery, Cento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience. This is it. All you got to do to get a, get yourself a quote today, to get an idea, go to CentoMoving.com. That is C-E-N-T-O Moving.com. Cento Family Moving and Stores. Forget the stress and move with the best. Russ, in today's prize pinata, up first, we have a pair of tickets to see the Australian Pink Floyd Show August the 28th at the Dr. Phillips Center. Uh, did you know that this is the biggest, most spectacular Pink Floyd show on the planet, Russ? They've sold over 5 million tics- tickets in concerts across 35 countries. So, And then they've also gotten the, the uh, co-sign by David Gilmore, and they performed at David Gilmore's 50th birthday party. Well, that's Big pretty cool. whoop, so did I. <laughs> I did a magic trick. Everybody was there, dude. And we also have a pair of tickets to see Santana at Emily Arena, and that's going to be June the 16th. Tickets are available right now through Ticketmaster. Those are the prizes in today's Prize Pinata, Russ. Very nice. Those are your prizes, so get on the line. The telephone number is 407-916-1041. Remember, when you win trivia, you get to plug and promote whatever you want, and we get to know you a little bit, so we look forward to that. Uh, we'll do it when we return. Uh, the t- telephone number is 407-916-1041. You're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. 30 seconds of airtime awaits. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. 
Eastbound I-4 is very slow from before US-27 to State Road 429. And eastbound's also heavy from Osceola Parkway to just before State Road 535 with a crash on the right shoulder. There's wreck on Robinson Street at Fern Creek Avenue. An accident in Kissimmee on Point Sienna Boulevard at Old Tampa Highway. And left lane road work northbound on the turnpike south of the Canoe Creek Service Plaza. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477 from the Traffic Center. I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency. HCA Florida Castleberry Emergency, located at the intersection of U.S. Highway 17 and 92 and Dog Track Road in Castleberry, is now open 24-7. Visit HCAFloridaHealthcare.com to learn more. This emergency department is part of HCA Florida Lake Monroe Hospital. This is not an urgent care center. Its services are billed at hospital rates. Introducing Tanside Stone Tile Flooring. A game changer in the tile industry. Say goodbye to the trade-off between durability and easy installation with Tanzite's revolutionary indoor-outdoor stone tile. Visit Tanzite.com to see how our tile is installed without concrete or mortar. Instead, our innovative rubber gasket system connects the tiles together. Each tile coming pre-assembled, you simply grab one and place it. No expertise needed. At Tanzite.com, you can see how our foam back tiles contour to cover any existing floor while insulating against sound and cold. Beautiful and versatile, Tanzite tile adapts to indoor or outdoor use, from kitchens to patios on concrete basements or wooden decks, all with the durability of stone that's guaranteed for life. Witness this innovative product yourself and order a sample today at Tanzite.com. That's T-A-N-Z-I-T-E dot com. A picture is worth a thousand words, but a video is priceless. I'm attorney Mo DeWitt, and we have access to every single traffic camera in the state of Florida. Injured on the go, just call Mo, Orlando's injury attorneys. Are you paying too much for term life insurance? There's a tremendous price war in term life. Industry rates have dropped dramatically in the past few years. For example, a man aged 45, non-smoker, can get a million dollars of coverage for $75 per month, level rate for 10 years. Or a man aged 50, non-smoker, can obtain $500,000 of coverage for a monthly premium of $110, level rate for 20 years. That's right, guaranteed level rate for 20 years. If you're a smoker, we have great rates available for you as well. At Term Busters, we specialize in policies of $500,000 and above. If you're looking for new or replacement term life insurance, call for a free quote today, 800-200-2250. That's 800-200-2250. Don't wait. Call 800-200-2250. 800-200-2250. Sample rate quotes based on preferred non-smoker rate class. Exam required to qualify. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking... To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Life insurance. Why are you putting it off? Can't afford it? Too much hassle? Think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses for putting off life insurance. But if you weren't there, who would pay the mortgage and other bills? With Ethos, you could be covered in 10 minutes and boom, family protected. Ethos, fast and easy online term life insurance. Up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at getethos.com. That's getethos.com. Looking to make the most money on the sale of your vehicle? Give me the VIN.com buys all makes, all models, trucks, Rolls Royce, Cadillacs, BMWs, lifted Jeeps, Escalades, Vets. They buy them all at give me the VIN. Dot com. They offer a 60-second bid process, pressure-free service, and free pickup. Just click on GiveMeTheVin.com, get your check on the spot. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVin.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. This weather report is brought to you by Mills Air. 
Good morning, Central Florida. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your Wednesday forecast. And today will be a beautiful day. Despite the fact that we're off to a bit of a chilly start, temperatures will warm up in a big way with highs approaching the mid 70s, a high of 75 degrees for Orlando this afternoon. Plenty of sunshine today and tomorrow. However, tomorrow we'll expect increasing clouds through the late afternoon. Warmer temperatures with increasing rain chances late tomorrow night and into our Friday. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency. HCA Florida Castleberry Emergency, located at the intersection of U.S. Highway 17 and 92 and Dog Track Road in Castleberry, is now open 24-7. Visit HCAFloridaHealthcare.com to learn more. This emergency department is part of HCA Florida Lake Monroe Hospital. This is not an urgent care center. Its services are billed at hospital rates. This hour of programming is brought to you by My Home Builders Network. Need new windows? Then you need Mike and his team at HBNUSA.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you matter. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Radio, 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 Making his way to the ring from Orlando, Florida, Triple R, Russ Ray Rollins. Triple R Second Set is brought to you by WeAreNotTheBanks.com. Brad Sieber can help you if you're buying a new house or you need a refinance. Brad Sieber can help you. It is a guy that does a great job. It's not a bank, but he's a, a licensed lender that can help you. If you've got great credit, he'll get you a great interest rate, best you can find. If you've got uh, poor credit, he can still get you that loan. You need a jumbo loan, no-income documentation loans. He does all types of loans. That's what he specializes in, and he can definitely help you. It's wearenotthebanks.com. He can handle it all. Wearenotthebanks.com. To get started, just go to wearenotthebanks.com. Ask for Brad Siebert. Tell him you heard it from the Monsters. He'll appreciate that. NMLS ID number 66247, equal housing opportunity. It's wearenotthebanks.com. So I see the lines are packed. By the way, people were saying well, that what platform was that movie on? The movie was named Reality. It's actual, the entire, all the audio is actual audio from the real thing that happened with the uh, with the FBI uh, called Reality, and it's on Amazon. And I, I enjoyed it. I thought it because I didn't, I didn't remember that story. I didn't know how it was going to end up. And then they show at the very end, this is what happens. And, and you know, you know, you get to hear the old, the whole thing. So it's, yeah, uh, it was the one with uh, Sydney Sweeney, right? Sydney Sweeney. Yeah, yeah, I saw it. She turns into Madam Web at the end. <laughs> she does. At the end, it's like <laughs> that would have helped that movie. Boop, there it was. Like, that oh, would have helped. The that reality movie. is, she's Madam Web. <laughs> who's uh, who's up first, Angel? Up first from just because I, uh, I like saying this town. We're gonna talk to Tom from O'Galley. Tom, <laughs> all the way from O'Galley. O'Galley. <laughs> How you doing, Tom? <laughs> Uh, I'm fine. I'm fine. How are y'all? I am uh, wonderful, yeah. Tom. I have a trivia so question for you. to a galley, it's Melbourne. It's how Wasi's meet. Yeah. That's the galley part of Melbourne. I've been there before. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, I, I have a trivia yeah. question for you. If you get it right, you're the king. You get to plug and promote whatever you want, Tom. But if you don't get it, don't worry. You got a couple of fellas here that can help you. Are you ready, Tom? Yes, yeah, sir. All right. We're good. <laughs> March 20th, which is today. Is this character's birthday? Uh, he first appeared in 1969. He's been a beloved character ever since. He has a teddy bear sidekick named Radar. Uh, and uh, it, it says here that uh, NASA approached him to join the Challenger crew. Obviously, we know what happened to the Challenger. Eee. But they wanted, uh, wanted this character to go on the Challenger crew so more kids would be interested in space exploration. What character are we talking about? Dang it, man. Is it Scooby-Doo? Scooby-Doo is incorrect. Who do you want to help? You've got Angel and you've got Carlos. Uh, Lover Lose. Oh, that's me. Uh, okay, Lover <laughs> Uh Today, March 20th, is this character's birthday. He first appeared in 1969 on this day. Uh, he's been a beloved character ever since. He and his teddy bear sidekick, Radar, are up for anything fun. Uh, NASA approached this character to join the Challenger crew so more kids would be interested in space exploration. What character are we talking about that it's his birthday? Damn, man. 
I'll be honest with you. I didn't know the radar thing either. I didn't know he had a okay. side. Oh, I didn't yeah. know he had a, a, a sidekick named Radar the, either. The, the the teddy bear is actually what I think hopefully will give it off that I think I know what it is. Okay. It has. At first, I was like, I was like, what's that? Te-? But I think either Elmo or somebody like that had a little teddy bear, like a Muppet or something like that. Okay. Yeah, what's the dude's name on the phone? This is uh, Tom. Tom! From you, Galley. From you, Galley! Hey, listen. <laughs> give me some help here, dude. It's it's some sort of... It's like I, a well, play I, on I know, it. I'm, try, I'm trying to think, Liz, but... Elmo, um, um, it's you, Big Bird, uh, Kermit. 69. Exactly, my favorite uh, year. I know. Um, Russ I, hit? I, uh, not uh, It has nothing to do with Justin's word around then, were they? Or... That, who, Justin? It, Jetsons. Oh, I no, thought Jetsons, I thought that kid Jetsons. Justin's world. I was like, hell no. Uh, Jetsons, uh, no. Oh, maybe. Maybe Jetsons. Uh, you're gonna, you're gonna it would have been. A challenger totally would have been around that time. What? No first uh, round him, Sean Russ. Oh. Yeah, he's a gentleman. Um, he's from Ugali. He loves your bowling shirt. I've given a lot of uh, hints here. I mean, uh, they, they, well, there's always room they, for more. They were going to take this character on, and we've talked about this before. This character was invited. NASA's, hey, well, won't you go up on the on the I challenger? Know, remember, Last I minute. I y'all talking about it. The person that uh, played it couldn't do it uh, and uh, okay, did, didn't I got go it. up. All right, I'm going to go for it. Kermit the Frog. Now, just because 69, but he, uh, Russ said also it was supposed to go up with Challenger and all that stuff. But I remember, oh, uh, 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 Big Bird. He's been Googling. Big Bird. You going to go Big Bird? No, I, I did not Google it. No, sir. Big I Bird. I would, if I did, I'd tell you. Are you yeah, gonna... I remember Big Bird was supposed to go up there, and I was like, how the hell are they going to put him it's up? Boom, Howard. I love him. It yes. is Big Bird. That is correct. Yes, Damn Big it. Bird. Yes, Big Bird approached. Actually, the woman that played, uh, her name was uh, Spiny. Yeah. Uh, the, the woman that played Big Bird, they asked her to go no, up on the man. Challenger. It's a man who plays it. He. I saw the documentary on Big Bird, and it was a guy. Carol, no, Carol Spiney. Yeah, and he's a guy. Oh, uh, my yeah, bad. Okay. Yeah, yeah, and he's a guy, and he played uh, the character forever, and that's actually where I remember it. Now, you got to see this documentary on the Big Bird guy. The way that he holds Big Bird is the most uncomfortable comfortable position in the world that you would be like this guy has been doing this position for a hundred years and then we almost lost him in the challenger how great how sad would that have been yeah it says here that uh, uh, carol spiny was asked to go up spiny says that he agreed agreed to go up uh on the flight uh about a year and a half before the scheduled launch uh, but he was told a month later that they couldn't get the entire suit up there. The suit was too big, so they couldn't get the suit into the space shuttle. So instead, they took Christy, uh, uh, Krista McAuliffe uh, instead. Man, can yeah. you imagine if Big Bird would have exploded up there? With, uh, the kids would have been, I mean, he, uh, obviously they were devastated as it was, but that would have even been... 5,000 times worse. It really would have been. They talk about that in that documentary quite a bit and uh, how... How sad that whole thing was, but then, yeah, to have lost like this super iconic, you know, beloved child's character would have been ripped. And then kids would be like, "F space, right, right, F space." Now, Moon took Big Bird. Now, who knew anything about? I didn't know Big Bird had a teddy bear sidekick that was willing to do yep. anything. Yeah, 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 yeah. She was. That was part of his, her, you know, Big Bird's adventures. The irony of a little teddy bear. I know, and a big, gigantic bird that was just always <laughs> felt out of place. That's the beauty of Sesame Street, folks. That's why we need it in our life. Yeah, so Carol Spiney, and you're right, it, w- it was a man, uh, uh, I guess, uh, decided 1996, couldn't do it anymore. So they have another guy. Was named- a man or is a man? Did you just kill this guy? Uh, 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 I don't know if he's. I think uh, Carol's still around. I don't know. I hope he's still around. He's a spirit. Should be around. That energy, no, he, that love. Passed, passed away in uh, 2019. Oh, okay. Damn. Yeah, he passed away in 2019. Yeah. And then, and then uh, another, uh, another guy named Matt. Vogel is doing it now. Yep. Yeah. I, it's probably on Prime as well, but yeah, Big Bird, man. How sweet. What a sweetheart. I think uh, Carol also did a bunch of other, uh, had a lot of influence in the Henson workshop uh, for sure. Him and Jim Henson were very, very close. Yeah. So you know, Big Bird been around since uh, 1969. and uh, uh, Makes sense. Big Bird's my favorite character on every <laughs> three dome. A new Big Bird got down. And everybody, everybody watched. <laughs> With that Big Bird. Sesame Street for a little while in your life, right? The, 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 everyone watched. Sunny the... days. 
My kids don't know it. But no, <laughs> hell no. They may go to like a SeaWorld and see it or something like that. And then they like, well, like, actually, you know, like. You know, you make a good point. Like back when I was younger, when you guys were younger, <laughs> if you want to watch cartoony stuff or whatever, uh, I mean, like you, you could go to VCR or whatever. But like, when I was young, you didn't have VCR. You didn't have a way to. So if you want to watch anything for kids, you had to go to PBS and you had to watch Sesame Street. But I guess kids today don't have to watch Sesame Street. There are a ton, I'm sure, that do. There's a bunch of PBS shows that are popular cartoon shows. They, and, and Sesame Street has done a good job of creating like good shows that are like offshoot animation shows and stuff like that that are in the world for sure. But uh, I don't think like straight up Elmo or Kermit, they would know. Even though I love doing my Kermit the Frog. Hey, yo, here. And if I, I think Kermit and I Elmo are that. bigger try- than... Uh, than uh, uh, so if you want to watch Sesame Street nowadays, you probably would have to go to uh, Max. Yeah, for sure. Oh, yeah. you can't go to just PBS? No. Uh, so they used to be on the NET network or PBS. So NET from 69 to 70, PBS. Or so, oh, I'm sorry. So they're simulcasted. So they're still on PBS uh, as well. But uh, if you don't have, because, you know, I don't know how many people still are familiar or support their public broadcasting uh, uh, TV stations or radio stations, right? Right, right. right. Um, So that you would go to uh, Max uh, to stream it there. So uh, I was just thinking that, like, I was like, man, I don't know if my kids have ever watched it like yours, Los. And then I was like, and if they had, where would they have seen it? Because I don't, like, you don't, I I don't I don't think I've ever seen them watch anything on public access. There was one Sesame Street show of, like, this kid, like, I think his name was, like, Simon, and he would rap and figure out science stuff. And he's like, hey, what's up? I'm ready to do science. And he'd do, like, a a roundhouse kick, and they'd be be like, yay. I don't remember that. That was a good one. How, How tall is Big Bird? He's uh, I think like Kawhi Leonard's height, six nine. <laughs> six nine. What do you think? How, how, definitely how, bigger than John Stark. How tall do you think Big Bird is, Angel? Uh, six ten. He's eight foot tall. I still uh, don't know. What? Him. Even though today's his birthday, perpetually, how old is Big Bird? <laughs> I like that Angel said. What, eight? Yeah, what? In sneakers, I'm dunking on you. I'm still dunking on Big Bird. I like, I like to see Big Bird go up to Angel like, what do you got? What do you got? Like, ha! And Angel's like, ha! <laughs> that poor Carol Shelby's hands just sticking out. How old is, uh, perpetually, how old is Big Bird? Even though it is his birthday today, he was says here he was born in 69, but his age on the show is always what? It is Shikana. No. <laughs> Ten. He's always six years old, it says. Oh. Okay, I can't dunk on a six year old. Big Bird is no, always six that. years old. He's eight <laughs> foot tall, and he has over 4,000 yellow feathers on him. Uh, so there you go. Happy six. birthday to Big Bird. When we come back, we'll talk to Tom. Tom gets to plug and promote whatever's important to him. We'll find out how long Tom's been listening and uh, get to know Tom a little bit. So uh, we'll give Tom a prize and get to know Tom when we return. You're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. You might not have many friends, but we definitely don't. So, hey, Alexa, play Real Radio 104.1 on iHeartRadio. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. Goldsmithjewelry.com. Eastbound I-4 is very slow from before US-27 past State Road 429. At a crash on the right shoulder, eastbound on I-4 approaching State Road 535. Westbound I-4 starting to build up approaching the St. John's River Bridge and getting past Lake Mary Boulevard. There was wreck on Robinson Street at Fern Creek Avenue and also a crash on Point Siena Boulevard at Old Tampa Highway. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change traffic tip line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency. HCA Florida Osceola East Emergency in St. Cloud at 4920 East Erlo Bronson Highway is now open 24-7. Visit HCAFloridaHealthcare.com to learn more. This emergency department is part of HCA Florida Osceola Hospital. This is not an urgent care center. Its services are billed at hospital rates. Uh, if you're looking for a car, my buddies over at Carl Black Chevrolet, Buick and GMC can help you with something brand spanking new or pre-owned. Uh, looking for a new Chevy truck, Chevy car, Chevy SUV? They're waiting for you at Carl Black Chevrolet, Buick and GMC. Hundreds of 2023 models and 2024 models are available. The affordable Malibu sedan uh, or the legendary Camaro in any color that you want. Beautiful Camaro. Uh, and then Carl Black also has any ride for you if you're, if you're thinking about an SUV for the 
the family. It's Carl Black Chevrolet Buick and GMC with dozens of SUVs, the Equinox, uh, the Trax models. I drive a Chevy Blazer, and I absolutely love it. Uh, and if you need something bigger, they've got the Chevy Tahoe. Yeah, it's the headquarters for trucks. If you're looking for a truck, go see my buddies over at Carl Black Chevrolet Buick and GMC. The Silverado 1500s and 2500 heavy duty models are at Carl Black and for a limited time they have some 2023 Chevy Colorado trucks. It's Carl Black Chevrolet Buick and GMC. Chevrolet, together let's drive to Carl Black Chevrolet Buick and GMC. Cento Family Moving and Storage is Central Florida's trusted source for local and long-distance moving. From packing to delivery, Cento Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience so you can enjoy your new home in no time. Get a quote today at CentoMoving.com. Forget the stress, move with the best. This year full of Rail Radio is sponsored by R.C. Hill Mitsubishi, Highway 1792 in DeLand. Hi, my name's Charles. On my way to work, I was struck by a tractor trailer. I called attorney Glenn Klausman for help. He got me to really good doctors. I don't think it's right to be bragging on a billboard or TV about getting millions of dollars for getting hurt. However, I will say Glenn Klausman got me a great settlement quicker than I thought possible. I'm very happy with the results, and that's why I'm doing this. Call Glenn Klausman at 407-917-1718. His website is K-L-A-U-S-M-A-N-Law.com. Car crash, call Klausman. Office, Winter Park. You know what happens when a smart group of medical professionals get together and commit to a technology designed to relieve your aching joints without surgery? It's called QC Kinetics. And this guy knows the power of a solid team. Emmett Smith, football legend and dancing with the stars champ. This elite medical group, some of them orthopedic doctors, got together and said, why are we prescribing so many medications? Why are we sending so many people to surgery in droves? Let's change this. The answer, natural biologics, our own healing properties. And the outcome is the country's largest provider of non-surgical regenerative treatments. QC Kinetics. Actually, the real outcome are the tens of thousands of patients who finally got their quality of life back without surgery. Thanks to QC Kinetics. Call QC Kinetics, 689-244-7980. That's 689-244-7980. In Orlando, Winter Park, The Villages, and Lake Mary, 689-244-7980. Regulated activities performed by a licensed affiliate. I had no idea I could sell my life insurance policy. Norman and Nancy Duggan for Coventry Direct. We were about to let Norman's policy lapse because premiums have become expensive. Our kids are doing well on their own, so we just don't need it anymore. Then Nancy called Coventry. They were so helpful, answering all of our questions. If you're over 65 and have $100,000 or more of life insurance, you may qualify. After this past year, we're celebrating life. We've booked some long overdue travel and we're able to pay for our grandkids' college. Coventry Direct has helped thousands live the life they want to live, pay for unplanned medical expenses, or supplement retirement income. When it comes to selling your life insurance, Coventry has you covered. Call 1-800-607-9400 or visit CoventryDirect.com to learn more about how you can get cash by selling your life insurance. Call 800-607-9400. Texting enrolls you in recurring automated marketing text messages. Consent are required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. The team's looking good this season. I think so. Man, I miss playing football. Being young with unlimited energy to burn ever since I turned 40. I just can't find that fire I used to have. Think it could be lower testosterone? What do you mean? All guys lose their edge when they turn 40. The body has less testosterone. That's why I take Nugenics Total T. I've heard about Nugenics. That really works? Since I started taking Nugenics, I'm lifting like when we played for Coach Carter. I feel more energized at work. It's even spiced up things between me and the missus. Are they still giving out complimentary bottles for people to try? Yep, send a text. It's that easy. Text KING to 42. 424 right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenics Total Tea. It's the number one selling testosterone boosting brand at GNC and Walmart. Do it now and they'll also send you a bottle of Nugenics Thermo X, their newest, most powerful fat burner ever, absolutely free. Text KING to 42424. That's KING to 42424. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. Hello, America. It's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. 
If you don't have consumer cellular yet, now is the perfect time to switch and save. For a limited time, new customers can get wireless service for as low as $15 a month for your first year. Yep, the same exact nationwide coverage as the leading carriers for $15 a month for an entire year. What are you waiting for? Call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com and use code RADIO15. See ConsumerCellular.com slash FIRSTYEAR15 for promotional details. NFL Total Access, the podcast, is getting you ready for the NFL Draft. I'm your host, Andrew Levy, and I'll be delivering two shows a week to make sure you're caught up on the latest NFL news, every free agency move, and how it changes the draft needs of your NFL team. Draft experts, talent scouts, mock drafts, and shock drafts, too. NFL Total Access, the podcast on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Presented by T-Mobile for Business. Now is the time for 5G business. GMC Sierra trucks in stock now at orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Damn it, Tom, where'd you go? Son of a gun. I almost feel like taking, taking his prize back. Should be a roll. Take your prize back if you don't stay on. You can never trust somebody from you, Galley. Tom hung up. I'll never understand that you jump on to play trivia and then you win. Yeah, the, the, uh, the then, bit is yeah. you, you stick with us, you tell us something important. And they, they, uh, we can pull their prize back and give it to somebody else who wants to talk to us. <laughs> I don't think we can. I mean, we, we make the rules. Yeah, we can do that. Tom hung up. Yeah. Damn, Tom. It's busy. He's guys an investment banker. <laughs> yeah, that, it's like Ugali's like the you, investment back, banking capital of Florida, maybe, dude. It, it might be. I didn't know like, that. How about it? Man. Maybe he's just scared to talk on the radio. Uh, no, I think he's probably got to make we, take a phone meeting here. Some, some probably some some about Chinese yen. Yeah. <laughs> Carlos won him the prize. He, he, at least he should talk to us. That's a, I'll take his spot right now. Uh, say hey, what's up? Shout out to my wife. <laughs> Okay, there. I took it. That's well, normally what they say anyway. Uh, hold on a second. Oh, is that? Oh, is that Tom calling back? Hold on. Oh, these are people wanting his prize. I think this is all everybody that wants his prize. Hold well, on. Let's see. I mean, I'm, I'm, I'm up for, uh, I'm up for giving it away. <coughs> let's see what the uh, uh, now, Carlos. Uh, he, <laughs> That's Angel. I know, I know, but I was saying, Carlos, he's, he, he's, he's grinning over there. That means people are probably begging for the prize. Uh, while he's uh, while he's handling that, uh, did you see uh, that? Uh, well, I, you know, I get you know, I've got this uh, uh, timeshare thing, so I got all this all this different information about the vacations and everything. And uh, one of the cruise ships that I could go on if I wanted to, it's a RCI. It's the Mariner of the Sea cruise. Uh, they put out a, a notice. Hey, just so you know. Uh, starting uh, this week, we're not going to Haiti anymore. Yeah, no reason. <laughs> Instead of going to Haiti, we're going to Puerto Plata. Uh, in Puerto Plata. Puerto Plata in the Domingo. Dominican Republic, which yeah. is very close to Haiti. It's the same island. It's it's like right there, right? Yeah. Are they well, connected? It's, it's the other side of the island. It's the other side of the island. Yeah. So my concern would still be that because from what I see about Haiti, barbecue is done going crazy, and it it is. I mean, the unrest is. Yeah, it's going to be. It's going to get worse. Um, there's still there's still 23 Americans uh, stuck on that on that side of the island. So uh, could those people that are there that are raising hell in Haiti end up going over to Puerto Plata? Uh, Dominican Republic. Well, that would be uh, that would be interpreted as an act of aggression, and that could turn into a war. Yeah, but I'm sure there's not. I'm like, we can't keep our borders uh, yeah, together. I'm sure they don't have borders that were the where there's people. Barbecue yeah. doesn't want that. Yeah. Huh? Barbecue has been very clear about his demands. He has united the gangs of Haiti. That's a pretty big thing. We made a movie called Gangs in New York with Daniel Day Lewis and Leonardo DiCaprio was in New York. Yeah. Barbecue has united. The vicious gangs of Haiti against the prime minister. So th- now think about this. And they all seem to have matching tank tops. <laughs> that, You're right. Matching tank tops and machine guns. I think barbecue knows the power of presence yes. and uniformity. Yeah, yeah. And so he has pushed out the prime minister. So barbecue's the man. So but barbecue knows, hey, I start messing with those tourists on the other side. Yeah. United States is going to be here, and they're going to turn me into barbecue. It's okay. interesting that dynamic there with uh, Haiti and the Dominican Republic because uh, for the most part, 
It's contentious, the relationship between the two countries. So that's oh, yeah. why I have a bad feeling that barbecue's going, oh, that, this was easy to take over uh, no. uh, Haiti. Uh, Let's just walk on over and take over uh, Pl- Puerto Plata. Barbecue no. is plotting just like a real barbecue cook. They are plotters. They are planners. They are methodical. They season the beefs. They marinate the, the things. Like They take their time. You don't want to, like a war strategist that also loves to cook like a prime rib yeah. and has both of those skill sets, good luck. So these, a lot of these ports depend on the for their for the economy, you know, having the, the vacationers, having the tourists come. I get, was Haiti... I mean, it was if, popping if, right before it, Russ. Everybody ha- was going to Haiti. Everybody's like, yo, is it is it Bermuda? Are we going to Cancun? Or are we going to Haiti? And all the influencers were at Haiti. No, it was a hellhole for a long time, Russ. So, but, I mean, they still had a stop there. No, I mean, this, uh, cru- this cruise ship, the Mariner of the Sea, is still stopped at Haiti. They must have had some, some well, sort yeah, of it was tourist like an area. All, yeah, it was an all-inclusive kind of place kind of thing. It was uh, high security. At that time, the acting president still had control of the military military and everything and so they kind of would uh quell or squash any kind of uh you know uprising there and everything but they would still but it's out of control now well yeah they've uh, basically run out of all the government so they assassinated the old president the old prime minister like a year and a half ago like it's this bit i don't know who would ever think to stop in haiti if you took a cruise you're like "Eh, it's a discount cruise they're stopping by haiti there's a chance one of the violent gangs might get you, but hey, they're they're uniting now. Yeah. So maybe you can hit up that, you know, get you a little jacket or something. So now you don't have thousands of tourists coming in and bringing money in. So now a, a depressed area is going to be even more depressed, <laughs> even more, uh, you know, uh, poor, uh, even more problems. So yep. Uh, <clears throat> uh, yeah. It's a that- sad situation, man. At all, uh, no no way to look at it right now. Because here's the deal: who's gonna go in there and risk their money, their men? Their, their situation, who wants to send, ready, their troops into a, a country like Haiti yeah. and start killing people they never met before. No, I mean, yeah. And there's not, it's not like, all right, we killed you thousands of former young Haiti people that just had nothing else. Okay, and they're like, well, luckily we have this great leader here in Haiti that's going to take, oh, what, no. What's his name? Barbecue, uh, yeah, barbecue. <laughs> Barbecue's like here, guys. I promise. So I know, yeah, I know you guys keep saying, "Oh, barbecue said he wasn't going to do that," but you know, people change their mind, right? So if if if, the, if it does end up being a shift, like, hey, this was easy to take over. Let's go to Porta Plata. Then will someone else get involved? Then will someone else say, "Okay, now we got to get involved because Haiti's trying to take over Porta Plata." I know what you're saying. It sounds like plausible to you, but there's a lot of things that would have to happen. And at that point, uh, it, it, like it. it it's not going to get to there. Carlos, you're talking about who was the last country to go into Haiti. The United States of America Damn was. Right. Yeah. right. And the uh, United States of America uh, uh, put a uh, uh, figurehead president in place. Yep. Uh, and it's, we're just the latest country to take advantage of Haiti. Uh, to fix Haiti, you also have to fix the, what the relationship that they have with uh, France. Uh, France still technically, quote unquote, owns Haiti, and that France has been benefiting off of the natural resources of, of Haiti. And so, so, who should fix this problem? Uh, France? The French? Uh, they're not going to. Uh, uh, they, oui, they, oui. they could have done this uh, decades ago. So just let barbecue rule. Uh, Bar- uh, that well, that's the thing. What well, do you do? Yeah, well, I mean, you've seen this example that happens in, happen in different parts of the world, right? It's the devil that you know. All right, we'll let this guy. Con- you know, if this guy can keep control there. Then we're going to keep him in control there. At, at the at the moment that he uh, starts getting out of control, you know, then we'll send the strike team in. Boom, boom, boom. This, that, whatever, and then we'll, you know. Uh, I mean, I mean, essentially, this is the Taliban, right? The Taliban did this in uh, in Afghanistan. They take over the government. There's nobody else to fill that vacuum. They take over the military capabilities. Then they are the reigning regime, which formerly is a terrorist group, but then they become the government. That is the government of Afghanistan right now, and that is the people who negotiate. So now the the former extreme terrorist group is now the running body of go- of government in Afghanistan, and Barbecue understands that. This dude, I think, has some former military yeah. uh, understanding. So he's going to do the same thing. Hey, we will be this new body that used to be this vicious, the quote unquote, these gangs. And that will be the new governing body if he holds and plays it right. But if he creates a terrorist act in a tourism section, 
that's not going to win him any favors. Uh, te- taxi service checking in. Some guy saying that uh, they went to Haiti on the Oasis of the Seas, which is a cruise ship that I, 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 I've been on as well. Uh, and it said where the ships go, it's a very tiny area, and it's just for the tourists, and they keep everything. But but when you see the you know you see the video on you see what's you know on the news, it looks like all of Haiti is it's a tiny it, island, Russ. Yeah. We're not talking about like here when you see hey, things are going down in downtown Orlando. There seems to be some hooligans but and they're rubbing things up. Fine, and yeah. we're like, well, I'm not, I can't see it from here. It ain't like that. And I mean, just you see the footage of the people just trying to get from one section to the other. You know, the kidnappings, the the the, the sadness. Yeah. It's just there are certain places of the world that are so bad that you couldn't even begin to imagine. You know, and yeah. here we are in this, like, we're essentially living it now. Huh? Can't, li- can't see it from here. I wonder how many cruise ships they had stopped. This, I only saw this one story from this one cruise, Mariner of the Seas. I don't know, you know, from, from all RCA. indications, like the, the uh, couple of different cruise ships, they had like their own ports and, and parts of little, uh, of like smaller islands off of the, there. You think they've all canceled now? Yeah. Oh, yeah. You have to. That's yeah. Uh, you, it would be prudent. It would be reckless of you uh, as a cruise company to take any, uh, Anybody there right now? Like right now, the American government's trying to figure out how to get our uh, the last twenty three Americans that are on that island. Yeah, you know what I mean. Trying to, get, on, trying, on, trying to get them off. Trying to get out. Get them off. The that barbecue way. said, yeah. "If you send a gigantic truck sized smoker uh, over there, yeah. okay, because he has a way to cook a a, a, a roast." That he wants to perfect, but he doesn't have the proper and about sixteen tons of charcoal. I wonder how he got his name. Did they ever say? Well. I thought uh, well, Ryan, Ryan he, said that that is a very common phrase, barbecue, no, he, uh, in France, he's, he's in a, Haiti. It's a French name. Uh, I don't think that's. I don't. I don't think that's. I true. know a lot of dudes named Barbecue. Never been to Haiti. They just no. love their barbecue. No, they're from Atlanta, actually. I, I bet if you were gonna go on this cruise, you're glad they switched. <laughs> you're, you're glad that because uh, that had to not be a, a selling point to the cruise. We're stopping in Haiti, you know. That, that'd be uh, uh, you know, the, the bad part of it. Uh, so I guess Royal Caribbean also has pulled out. That's millions of dollars uh, that was going into that little country that is now not going to be there. Yeah, but it's, it's, making things, it's making things worse. Is my point. Yeah, but again, yeah. Uh, the reason it, it is worse is because those millions of dollars that were coming in before this uh, uprising weren't going wasn't going out to the right. population. It was going into the pockets of uh, different uh, political leaders. Uh-huh. If if they if the wealth was being shared, if the infrastructure was being built, if the food was being taken care of, like of all these things, and you're keeping your population and you're taking care of your population, then you don't have this type of uprising. Is that what they're upset about? That's just one of the things. Yeah, there's a there's a it's a long list of things, and it's and it's a lot of it has to do with foreign government involvement, and our government is one of them. And and if this is true, maybe it's not. Maybe it is, Chris. And shout out to the monsters YouTubers every day. Everybody's in there. I'm looking at the chat right now. He said he got his name barbecue. Yeah, because and it makes sense. He burns people, and so he gets. He's a, he barbecues people. That's what I was thinking. Yeah, yeah, I think that's. I, uh, I didn't want to spit that out. Yeah. But that, that was just me. Well, well, you know, a guy who's a gang leader. Yeah. I don't think they gave him name barbecue because he makes really awesome pulled pork. <laughs> <laughs> you know, like he's a bad, the, the badass like, pulled pork guy, but he's also guy, a leader of a gang. Guy can't shoot straight. Can't, doesn't know how to sell drugs. Yeah, yeah. And can't handle a machete. But damn, damn. boy, barbecue can make a pulled pork like no other. He's the leader. I thought for me, assuming that would sound bad, but uh, yeah. Could you imagine what? What kind of dude you got to be when your nickname is barbecue? barbecue. He barbecues when, people. When you're amongst the, you know, the savages at this point, you know, that have gotten to this point, the leaders of a group that can take it to something, and then you're the dude that, like, no. Barbecue's the guy. He's so, Now several people are saying because he, he lights his enemies on fire. Yikes. That's why he's called barbecue. That's, that's what I thought. I had not had that confirmed other than now by a bunch of people okay, saying it. Okay, but, now ready? Yeah. Somebody? has already purchased the rights to this movie. Oh, this is yeah. how sad it works. Netflix may already have gotten on a call with Forrest Whitaker. Yeah. Um, oh, it is. Perfect, it, perfect okay, casting. Okay. okay yeah, it's like, gross. I like the casting, yeah. It's gross. Yeah, they yeah. haven't even figured out the tragedy yet, but somebody's being casted to play the general that may come in and save the day. Yes, you're right. Because I mean, because it's like it's, and it's it, too much work to Google it and find out the actual facts. <laughs> Watching a movie is so much easier. <laughs> that's what they bank on. <laughs> that's that's Americans, right? Yeah, <laughs> barbecues probably go look. I will work my first Netflix deal. <laughs> then we go to Paramount Plus. But first Netflix. So a guy like that, like uh, well, I don't know. I was gonna say a guy like that, he can't be in power forever. But then there's Castro. 
You, you know? got strong, yeah, you, man. You got strong arm men all, throughout the whole entire world that have done this. Ah, uh, yep. this one is super close. You got um, you had uh, Fidel or the you know the Communist Party in, in Cuba, yeah, uh, as well. But uh, this is not this is not uncommon. The strategy, uh, there, yeah. Uh, there's plenty of uh, uh, nations uh, on uh, well, African. Some would, con- say, some would say Putin. Uh, you know, no, no mm-hmm. totally different. He was a CIA. He was well a part of the of the uh, organization, part of the mold. He came up through the the. He was yeah, K, uh, he was, was created like he was KGB bred and taught and and educated like you know this. I, 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 know, I understand the, the the parallel that you're making that like strong arm man, but strong Putin, arm, uh, yeah. but Putin is also crazy intelligent. Like it's right. dismissive to say that he doesn't know he doesn't he know, know what, barbecue. Yeah, he he knows what he's doing. Barbecue may be super intelligent too. You know, like a lot of these crazy you know dictators and strategists, they very stupid in other ways, but the way that they they're able to manipulate people and minds and stuff like that is different. Because Castro took over the government, uh, super in smart, Cuba, guy. right? And then he was he was in. But st- again, still in power. Castro was educated by the West as well. Yeah, and it's. And I mean, it is it is a little bit different in the sense that it was a proper arm, like their own army, kind of took a coup on the. I don't know, there are kind of some similarities. <laughs> There's a lot of similarities. Yeah. 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 Again, the, uh, again, uh, again, in a situation where foreign government involvement in their nation, and uh, that's what they're uh, rebelling N- against. Now, where, 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 where did where did barbecue get all? Because um, when you watch the news, it's like you see, like I said, a bunch of dudes in tank tops with machine guns. Yeah. Where, where do you get all the machine guns? Uh, it's a little country, United States of America. Yeah. We sold them machine guns. There's uh, already a crazy document, uh, documented proof that a lot of the guns that have uh, yeah. ended up in Haiti have come from the state of Florida. Yeah, that, yeah, because they sit there and they have to we sell the Haiti weapons, and guess what? They take over the weapons. A gang breaks into the military place. They they take over a troop. Boom! Those it's like a video game, right? So it's how it all works. Uh, so does somebody like barbecue buy in bulk? <laughs> like he ain't buy nothing. He's taking over stuff, yeah. you know. And then he's and he's then, not putting it in on a card. Now the next way barbecue grows bigger, and there's a great documentary on Netflix called How to Become a Strongman, and is he makes a call to Putin, he makes a call to Kim, Kim Jong Un. He makes it. He gets in connection. Whoever who was enemy of the the United States. Because what is the greatest threat that we had ever have in our entire life was the Cuban Missile Crisis when when Russia posted up with Castro ninety miles away that big fat you know uh, bomb pointed over here and the whole world tripped and and I'm sure Barbecue is a fan of history and so he goes huh kind of in a really really good spot. Um, and you want to piss, piss off America? Hey, I'm leasing this land over here right now, real cheap, like a cell phone tower. <laughs> and that's what you have to be careful of, of, of a, a smart guy uniting. Because look. Or a ruthless person. Or a ruthless person, even worse, and making friends with others. So you're probably, they're probably looking for that. They're, 100%. Yeah, they're looking like, okay, let's see if barbecue starts talking to Putin. The, that's a problem. The reason it always worked with Putin in Ukraine was because in Ukraine, the guy, he was working. They were hand in hand. Right. Zelensky gets in there, and he has a totally different way. He ain't playing ball anymore. You see what I'm saying? Yeah. So, like, same thing that happened. Look, Pablo Escobar would be the leader of Colombia right now had not the United States and Colombia had a proper force that fought against his well-equipped, well-united, and well-funded and organized uh, Colombian cartel. So, they, when you, so when you're watching this on the news and you think to yourself, oh, Haiti, that's not our problem, could oh, end up being our problem. We created the problem. I mean, that's there's no denying there's that. There's no doubt about We are the United States of America mm. has a has blood on its hands again and uh, we were an instrumental part of the conditions that are in Haiti. Man, we uh, can't do nothing right. We do a lot right, but then our Can we our, just stay out of foreign government's uh, yeah. uh business, you know? Yeah. Yeah, the, the the complex, man. Military complex, man. The defense complex is just it's just such a beast. And it feeds all mouths out there, and then it comes back home to roost. So where do you think this ends up with uh, with barbecue in Haiti? Well, like if you're barbecue, right, and you go like, hey, I need to create some attention, just like Osama bin Laden did when he took over those the uh, Meshadin yeah. who fought against Russia in, in Afghanistan. He said, I'm going to make some attention. So what he did was he did a bomb. He bombed 
the you know the the World Trade Center is the first uh, one of the first times or one of the embassies, and then eventually he led to nine eleven because uh, Bill Clinton and that administration let that get grow and be so big. Well, at you some know? point, the the Haiti conflict has to level out, has to has to calm down because it, it's heightened right now. I mean, it, there you know, I would say it's calmer right now. There's no fighting. I don't think right now they got the prime minister out. I haven't seen uh, the most. Recent I was watching recent. the news last night. It looked good. It looked bad. Well, I'm not, I'm not saying they're all yeah. chilling. You know, having playing domino or something, yeah, yeah, yeah. but uh, it looked look bad. It'll be interesting to see where the next step is. Yeah. So anyway, so uh, yeah, uh, cruise ships now are not going into Haiti, uh, which uh, which makes you know, makes a lot of sense. <laughs> they're going to Porto, uh, Porto, uh, what is it? Uh, Puerto Puerto Plata. Puerto Plata. There's not an easy option. There's zero no. easy option. Just like in Gaza, it's just let's see how it, how it goes. All right, you're listening to the Monster of the Morning. Real Radio is on X at Real Radio 1041, sponsored by the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. This report is brought to you by Mills Air. I'm Fox 35, Storm Team Meteorologist Ian Cassette with your Central Florida forecast. It's going to be a chilly night as temperatures slip into the 40s overnight, a low 48 degrees. You'll need a jacket early Wednesday morning. It will warm up nicely Wednesday afternoon with abundant sunshine, a high of 75 degrees. We'll be comfortable through the rest of the week and dry through Thursday, but rain chances are rising as we get into Friday, especially into Friday night, chance of showers and storms, and a few could be strong. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Ian Cassette. This report is sponsored by Discover. Did you know Discover wants everyone to feel special? That's why with your Discover card, you have access to 24-7 customer service, as well as $0 fraud liability, which means you're never held responsible for unauthorized purchases. Learn more at discover.com slash credit card. Limitations apply. All right, time for spring cleaning. And if you don't want to do it yourself, call Zero Res. They came to my house yesterday. You know me, I like things super, super clean. They came to my house yesterday because with the new puppy, uh, we've had a bunch of, you know, there's been mistakes we clean them up but man zero res knows how to make everything absolutely beautiful perfect and they clean the tile they clean the grout to make sure it's super clean and when they clean they use a patented zr water and uh and the process is incredible because there's zero sticky soapy chemical residue no chemicals used so it's safer for the kids and for the for our new pet right uh it's it dries faster they bring their own zr water i was able to look in the truck when when the gentleman came yesterday and they've got a big tanker full of that ZR water that uh, so they don't use your water. They use this patented ZR water, which does clean so much better. It's uh, spring cleaning with zero res. They'll do a great job for you. You tell them Russ and the Monster sent you, you'll get 20% off the tile and grout cleaning. Get the grout cleaned because that is the fit and the finish, man. That makes it look really, really great. They did a great job for me yesterday and they also cleaned a carpet for us and it's uh, $49 to have a room clean a car, you know, with carpet. $49. That's it. Uh, OrlandoZeroRes.com. That's OrlandoZeroRes.com. They will do a great job for you. Big fans of the show, big fans of the station. If you support the monsters, support them as well, because uh, that's how it works. OrlandoZeroRes.com. Zero Res, spelled forwards or backwards, it's the right way to clean. Frank Gay has something cool for you. Keep your AC running smoothly with a tune-up for only $89 for a limited time. Friendly, speedy, and expert service. That's the Frank Gay way. Visit frankgayservices.com or call for details. Victim of a slip and fall? It takes one phone call to take back control of your life. Anajar and Levine will fight to get you the compensation you deserve. Call me, Mark Anajar, for a free consultation. 1-800-747-FREE. That's 1-800-747-3733. In Office Orlando. Spring has sprung and it's full tilt boogie time at GiveMeTheVin.com. America's best car buyer. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVin.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. Homeowners, are you ready to love your home again? Install Brick Paver can build eye-catching walkways, patios, or driveways. They can build custom fire pits for relaxing with your family. They even build outdoor kitchens and build retaining walls. Everything you need to create a perfect outdoor paradise. Install Brick Paver can do it with spectacular results. Go to installbrickpaver.com to see our amazing home makeovers. You can also get a free no-obligation quote for your outdoor project. Call for free information now. 407-337-4040. Call 407 407- 
877-337-4040. Install Brick Paver is a family-owned and operated company with over 20 years' experience and fantastic Google reviews. We are Orlando's finest family-owned paving experts. Fire pits, pool decks, paver driveways, patios, and hardscaping. Install Brick Paver does it all. Call for your free estimate now. Get in early before our spring schedule gets booked. Call 407-337-4040. That's 407-337-4040. I had a radio listener call me after an accident. The insurance company offered him $700. He hired me that day and we recovered $100,000. Injured on the go? Just call Mo. Potential clients may not obtain same or similar results. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorney. Join Jim Colbert on the Jim Colbert Show for his Cigar of the Week segment every Friday afternoon at 345. You can pick up these featured cigars at all three Corona Cigar Company locations, Dr. Phillips, Heathrow, and downtown. Learn more at coronacigar.com. Spring is in the air, but so are airborne allergens like tree pollen, grass, mold, and ragweed. If spring allergies keep you trapped inside, then you need Navage Nasal Care to keep you breathing clearly and enjoying all the beauties of spring. Navage helps clear nasal passages that are often clogged because of seasonal allergies. Navage gently flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your nasal passages to clear out congestion, sucking out that springtime pollen and other irritants trapped in your nose. Navage springs into action quickly, helping you breathe more clearly in just 30 seconds. And you don't need a never-ending cycle of decongestants that can leave you feeling drowsy. Navage is the fast and easy drug-free allergy solution that helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. Get Navage today so you can get outdoors and enjoy your favorite springtime activities. Navage is available online at navage.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navage, N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. To thank you for 40 unforgettable years, Dell Technologies is celebrating with anniversary savings on their most popular tech. For a limited time only, save on select next-gen PCs like the XPS 13 Plus, powered by Intel Core processors and more. Plus, curate your dream setup with great deals on select monitors, mice, and more must-have electronics and accessories. When you shop online at dell.com slash deals, you'll have access to leading-edge technology and free shipping on everything. Again, that's dell.com slash deals. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 original stations, like 24-7 Comedy. If they were really donut holes, the bag would be empty. When you need to laugh, just open the free iHeartRadio app and search comedy. Should we call someone? I'm like, no, that's his face. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. If you ask anyone who's experienced LASIK, they will tell you it's the best thing they've ever done. And more often than not, they'll add, I should have done it sooner. So what are you waiting for? The Filatowski Eye Institute is offering free LASIK consultations. Just text 1041 to 868686 and start your journey to better vision with the Filatowski Eye Institute. They performed over 65,000 LASIK procedures using the latest state-of-the-art technology. If finances aren't concerned, they offer 24-month interest-free financing. Text 1041 to 868686 to schedule your free LASIK consultation at the Filatowski Eye Institute. Divorce? Call Trendley and Kramer. TK Law. OneFirmForLife.com Real! Save the date. You want to join us for the Monster Brew Bus. It's going to be Saturday, April the 13th. I am going to be on the bus. Angel Rivera is going to be on the bus. Ryan Holmes is going to be on the bus. If you are an old school fan, Bo the Big Man Rhodes is going to be on the bus with us. Uh, And about 50 of our friends. And we're going to three locations, uh, three breweries. It's always a lot of fun. There are always stories to tell after a brew bus experience. Uh, We start at about 10. We go until probably 7 or so. I don't know, but it's... It's, a, it's an all yeah, we're back here by seven. By, by seven o'clock, it's an all day a party. Uh, it's almost like a, cru- a cruise friends, right? Yeah. You start off, you don't know anybody. By the end, everybody knows everyone. We have lunch together. Everybody gets a T-shirt. Uh, it's sort of a privilege to be on the bus because there's always a lot of folks that want to be on the bus, but we can only have one bus. People say, why, Russ? Why only one bus? Well, because when we go to these breweries, there's not enough room to pull two buses uh, full of Monster fans, right? We have enough for you know for 50 people. You know, uh, one bus fits. Uh, uh, two buses but wouldn't fit. the open invite to me, uh, meet up with us at any of the locations, you know, we're going to be at Brewlando. We're going to be at uh, 
Toll, Toll Road Brewing, and then we wrap up at Claremont Brewing. Yeah, everyone's invited. You're invited to come. We just don't have uh, room for uh, the buses to park. Yeah, you know? yeah, but, yeah. but if you want to bring your cars, park down the street, whatever, you can do that. But, yeah, so the three different locations, we would love to meet you. Love. So we're kind of getting out and seeing all of uh, Central Florida, and uh, it's, a, it's a lot of fun. And once again, uh, tickets are not on sale yet. They go on sale next week. But as soon as they do. Yeah. Yeah, you, you snap them up. It's going to be a great time, but just save the date. It's April the 13th. It's a Saturday, and uh, and looking forward to it. Uh, hey, so today is the uh, is the spring equinox. So, and you know the gimmick, and I know we've tried this before, and the gimmick on the spring equinox is that you can take a raw egg and balance it on the on the not the fat end, but the skinny end. You know, you, you got right. the fat end of the egg, and you got the other end. And because of the way the Earth is and uh, gravity or whatever, because it's spring equinox, because of where we're sitting, allegedly. And I was going to bring an egg in, and I pulled the egg out of the uh, the refrigerator today, and I set it, I set it on the countertop, and I went and I fed the dog or something. I came back, and I'm like, oh, I'm going to eat that egg, and I ate the egg, and I forgot, and I forgot, oh, I, was, yeah. I forgot I was bringing it in. <laughs> <laughs> That's funny. Uh, you can do it with a hard boiled egg. No, it's 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 a it's a raw egg. Right. Uh, oh. What I did, I cooked the egg. I've got this little uh, this, ooh, this new little plastic thing. Mary Ellen got me. Uh, it's like plastic, and it's got a little top on it. And you put the egg in there, and you put it in for fifty seconds. Cooks it perfect. I make I make the best egg McMuffins uh, in the world. <clears throat> anyway, I digress. I I I had pulled you that egg. The egg. I pulled the egg out to come in and try to do the spring equinox gimmick to see if we could do it. But uh, but I didn't bring the egg. I forgot. Damn it. Uh, yeah, yeah. But uh, yeah, yeah. So allegedly, though, and you can you try it right now if you want to. If you want to try it and text us and tell us whether you're able to do it or not, because of <laughs> the way the Earth is on the axis right now, because it's spring. I don't know. There's some sort of a, a scientific reason why allegedly it's supposed to work. Uh, I don't know if that could be Boulder Dash, but uh, you're supposed to be able to take an egg and and balance it on the you know on on the the, the smaller end. Have you, have, we tried it before on the show, <clears throat> and I don't think, I don't remember that we were able to do it. Do you remember? I, no. I think we did it a million times, to be honest, but uh, I think we did it sometimes. It's never been like, I don't know. I just yeah. always remember hearing, remember hearing it that. Oh, by the way, the guy that's texting in, Republican jerk. Uh, no, today's the spring equinox. Yesterday at 11 o'clock was when spring started. All day today is the spring equinox for that uh, moron that uh, texted in. Uh, but, uh, yeah, it's, it's, it, it, I'm reading a story about it here today, and they're saying uh, uh, throw out your earmuffs and your parkas. Today on March 20th is the spring equinox all day long. And uh, it says on this day, uh, on the spring equinox, a raw egg will be able to balance on the skinny end. So give it a try. All Damn. right. I wish I would have brought the egg. I mean, it, I mean, it was good. I'm glad yeah, I ate yeah. it. You needed the protein, obviously. Yeah. There's a party that over your, overtook your brain. It was like, forget this bit. I need protein. I need protein, yeah. I, mean, I like to eat in the morning. It puts me in a better mood. Yeah. You know, and then around 8 o'clock, which is in 10 minutes, uh, I get my other little snacky snack. There you go. Yeah. Is it another egg? Uh, it is not. Oh, that no, I was about I, to say, I, wouldn't I, that have been funny? You could I, be like, well, I'll try it with this one. <laughs> right. I mean, that's a little wobbly. I, got tur- I brought turkey today. Uh, Look tur- at you. I got, the, I, I got turkey, and then my uh, I'm, I've been having that uh, protein drink every what kind of, day. What kind of turkey you purchase at the store? I get, I, I, you know, I go, I go uh, what's it called? Um, I've really uh, bo- upgraded boar's my head, meats. Boar's head. I go boar's head turkey. I, you know, nothing against Publix, but I, I go boar's head because in my mind it's fancier. And it uh, is, and I don't want stuff that's got a lot of preservatives in it. I want, I want as you know, fresh turkey as I can get. I'm really, I've always enjoyed a nice cold cut, a nice different slice, a higher grade. But then I've like, I'm used to like, yeah, just give me, I'm, a, I'm an average Joe sandwich kind of guy. Give me an Oscar Mayer. Give me the pack straight from the, the, you know, the chiller. But then I'm like, you know what? I'm also getting older, yeah. and I need finer meats and cheeses. In my life, I can't walk around with fine boots and fine cars. Be eating crap cheeses and meats. I want to live like a like a like a noble man. I'm I'm a weirdo, uh, Carlos. I either like the high grade, high grade, or I'll go the lowest low grade. I'll eat Carl Budden. <laughs> you know what Carl Budding is? I mean, no. so much Carl Budding in my life, <laughs> Russ. And I think, honestly, this might be our nucleus connecting point that we it's have the eaten. the trash a- of no, the trash. I've never I'll heard of this. Carl Budding and eat a hell of it. Okay, if you couldn't afford yeah. a full four ninety nine pack of turkey. Yes. 
Carl Button was like, yo, it was like one cigarette out of pack. Mm. It was like five slices of turkey <laughs> yes. in a little sealed thing. And my friends and I would go to the store and, and buy Carl Button. And something was so good about it. It was a, it was because it was preserved. Oh, yeah. And so, I mean, the salt was. The, Are you the, saying Button? Or it's Carl, Carl Button. Carl Button. Button you, with the button. G. And, it's, and, you, and when you see the package, you'll know what I'm talking yeah, about. And you'll Carl see the package. And, and I would just get like 10 packets of it, of Carl yeah. Button. Yeah. And, uh, and he, oh, yeah. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. I've never eaten that. Oh, yeah. I no. eat a lot of Carl Budding in no, my day. Oh, man. But, oh, you, it, but just... you grow up, Russ. You, I'm not eating Carl Budding now. I mean, I might on a whim. One of the first questions that comes up, people ask. You know when you go Google? <laughs> is and it, people, is it people really ask, meat? Uh, the, what, the very on, first me, uh, question, is budding meat healthy? <laughs> <laughs> and the <laughs> answer, I can tell you the answer to that is no. <laughs> With seven grams of fat, three grams of saturated fat, 600 milligrams of sodium, the use of sodium nitrate. They are far healthier options out there for you. Oh, I yeah. told you it was it was it was last on the list, uh, but, but it tastes good. Little street rat Carlos Navarro with Jason Factor. Shout out to Jason and Lance. We would hit up the Win Dixie. We'd pick up. And actually, you could buy Carl Budding at like the Cumberland Farms. And yes, you stock they've up been that. in business for seventy five years. Well, right. They've been Since around a long 19, time. Nineteen forty three. Yeah. And that's exactly where I would go is the Cumberland Farms yeah. back when I worked for my dad, and I'd get five packets of Carl Budden and just eat it straight up. Yeah, uh, man. And there, there was something when you when you would bite into the turkey, every once in a while you'd get a little crunch because yeah. you're getting some bone. Oh yeah, there was definitely a little <laughs> turkey bone in there. Oh yeah, you There's get some like a, up turkey you, bone in you there. You get like a hind leg in there or something. Little, but, but little yeah. gristle, little little uh, little ligament. But then I would go home. Yeah, since we're talking deli cuts and of yesteryear i'd go home and then my mom would get the proper you know go to the the, the she like talking to her my my grandma's did it. they would talk to the butcher and then you get the medium cut the yeah you know i i like to now the just good go, stuff yeah yeah yeah, good yeah stuff but do you wait for that now or do you well, uh, well i always get the good stuff now but it's been a while since i get but every once in a while i'll see carl budden and i'm like I'm just going to grab me a pack of that just so yeah. I can remember what it's like. And it is good. It just ain't good for you, probably. Yeah. But, uh, not probably. There's just uh, unequivocally, it's not good for you. And by the way, listener after listener after listener are saying, Russ, I can't get the egg to balance. Uh, eggs falling over, Russ. Russ, I can't get the egg to balance. Nobody. No, no. You got the day wrong. That's why. No, it's I didn't. tomorrow. I'm telling you. I'm looking at it right here. Uh, you got wrong information. Uh, Wednesday is spring equinox. Yeah, March but 20th is spring equinox. You throw out your earmuffs. Blah, blah, blah. It's a whole story right you're here. You're doing it too early. You're supposed to do it at 11, 11 o'clock at night. I am telling you. I'm reading it right here. It I'm says just do doing, it today. just doing this to continue to mess with you. I'll yeah. continue to be the contrarian on this. You're, you're agreeing with the guy that is Republican jerk. Uh. <laughs> That's every now, every now and then, uh, he and I see eye to eye, and this one, and this one seems to be a good one to mess with you. All right, listen, we're gonna take a little break. When we come back, Carlos, you take us to the top. Let's go all the way to the top, baby. Can we get some Carl Budden? Let's bring it in. I actually brought a case of it. <laughs> all right, oh, you guys got a heart attack. <laughs> Carl Budden, when we come back, you're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. All the cool kids are doing it, and you want to be like the cool kids, don't you? Well, don't you? The Talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, shop the best quality jewelry and lowest price. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Westbound I-4 has an accident reported approaching the St. John's River Bridge. We have some slow traffic past County Road 468 to just past Lake Mary Boulevard. An accident blocks three middle lanes southbound on Florida's Turnpike just past the Colonial Entrance. There's a wreck blocking three right lanes eastbound on Central Florida Parkway at Westwood Boulevard. We still have a crash northbound on Point Siena Boulevard north of Old Tampa Highway. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Jackson Hewitt. It matters who does your taxes. Why are people saying Hugh yeah to Jackson Hewitt? When you switch to Jackson Hewitt, they will beat what you paid last year on tax prep. Even if you filed online. Proof of prior year payment required when filing. New clients only at participating locations through April 7th. Terms at JacksonHewitt.com. Check it out, guys. If you're in the market for a big green egg, man, let me tell you about my great friends over there at Wasi's Meat Market who are the title sponsor, the lead, one of our big sponsors for the Monster Brew Bus. So a huge shout-out to Wasi's Meat Market for helping us uh, make, uh, make that event happen for you guys. Got a couple weeks away till Easter. Go ahead in there and order. You want to order your hams, your Berkshire hams, your kielbasas, lamb racks, chops. They have all of that. Put your orders in early. You got plenty of time to get that in for your big Easter. 
Easter celebration at Wasi's Meat Market. And while you're there, please do me yourself a favor. Check out the big green eggs that they have there. They have all the different sizes. It's absolutely incredible. They have all the extra gear, all the accoutrements that you would want for your big green egg. And if you happen to go on over the weekend, you're I'm guaranteeing there's going to be somebody cooking out there and you can sample some food that they're uh, cooking on the big green egg. Up next, we'll see what we got. The next class that they got offering is going to be a wine tasting. That goes down Thursday, March the 21st. So if you want to get in on this action, it's uh, tomorrow. Oh, they got it's the game, the Fermented Few, a Feud. It's uh, They have a uh, wine tasting, the format of the game show, and it uh, goes uh, tomorrow from 6 p.m. to 8 p.m. Get your tickets through washingsmeatmarket.com. That's the website. They got all these really cool events that they uh, host there throughout the uh, month. Uh, go check those out. Follow them on Instagram as well, Washies Meat Market on IG. Visit the website, washingsmeatmarket.com, or get down there to the shop. Get, order yourself some pork chops. Get yourself a couple steaks. Check out the big green eggs. That's Wasi's Meat Market right there in Melbourne. Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking. To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even. For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com Slam Dunk Savings going on now at Deland Nissan. Drive away for less with huge savings on over 100 Nissan models in stock. Score big with pre-owned vehicles too with new trade-ins arriving daily. It's not just a Nissan. It's a Deland Nissan Nissan. We are connected internationally. We have relationships in the diamond industry that go back decades. Sources all over the world. International Diamond Center's owner, Keith LeClaire, explains how IDC always offers to beat anyone else's price on a diamond. We buy direct from the cutters, we pay cash, and we just don't believe in typical jewelry store markups. With his background as a wholesaler, Keith says IDC's business model is based on lower margins and higher volume. We're not here to sell you something for a quick buck. So it comes down to better sourcing and low markups. That's why we guarantee the best value price. If you're buying a diamond, engagement ring, or any fashion jewelry, come experience a refreshing alternative to the typical jewelry experience at IDC. We're here to offer the right price on every piece of jewelry that you buy from IDC. Real value from real people. We'd rather make a little bit and keep you as a customer than make a lot of it and lose you as a customer. International Diamond Center, all four Orlando locations, and online shopidc.com. Are you drowning in IRS tax debt? I owe the IRS $37,000. Get ready for a toll-free hotline. Take advantage of new IRS tax forgiveness programs that may protect you from IRS collection agencies. They have the power to garnish your wages, put liens on your property, and levy your bank account. Civic Tax Relief can help protect you from the IRS. Civic Tax Relief basically represented me against the IRS, and by the time everything was completed, I didn't owe the IRS anything. Find out about the Fresh Start program that is now available through Civic Tax Relief. Civic Tax Relief's special tax hotline can help you discover all the relief programs available for free. I would recommend anyone who has a tax problem to contact Civic Tax Relief. Just call 800-506-5803. 800-506-5803. Don't wait. Call now. 800-506-5803. 800-506-5803. Life insurance. Why are you putting it off? Can't afford it? Too much hassle? Think you don't need it? There's lots of excuses for putting off life insurance. But if you weren't there, who would pay the mortgage and other bills? With Ethos, you could be covered in 10 minutes and boom, family protected. Ethos, fast and easy online term life insurance. Up to $2 million in coverage with no medical exam. Some policies as low as a dollar a day. Answer a few health questions and get your free quote at getethos.com. That's getethos.com. Are allergies holding you back? Take control with Aspire Allergy and Sinus, your one-stop solution for a breath of fresh air. Our expert team offers comprehensive allergy testing and cutting-edge treatments so you can enjoy life without the hassles of sneezing and sniffles. Say goodbye to allergy and sinus struggles and hello to a healthier, happier you. Go to AspireAllergy.com today to ditch those temporary fixes and schedule your appointment. That's AspireAllergy.com. Sento Family Moving and 
Convenience Storage is Central Florida's trusted source for local and long distance moving. From packing to delivery, Central Moving is fully licensed and insured to provide you a seamless moving experience so you can enjoy your new home in no time. Get a quote today at CentoMoving.com. Forget the stress, move with the best. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Because you deserve better. Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Real Radio! 104.1 Hey, we're going to do t- to the top a little bit later on. We'll wait to, uh, for uh, Ray, Friendly Ray Trendley to get here. He sponsors to the top, so might as well do it then. And uh, we'll see Friendly Ray Trendley coming up in a little bit. So I got a bunch of other BS here that we can uh, cuss and discuss and talk about. What's up, everybody? I'm Russ Rollins, along with Angel and Carlos here today. Ryan Holmes is uh, the, the healthiest man on the show, but still sick again today. <laughs> and I hope he feels better. And I appreciate him running the YouTube channel. Uh, quickly, you mentioned that uh, Carl Budding... Had been around since when? When did you say, Angel? Uh, well, I think it was what, 1943, 47, uh, yeah, 1943. All right, so, and we were talking about Carl Bunning, and we were talking about how it's just, the, I mean, <laughs> I love it, but, man, it's it's on the bottom rung of uh, of your uh, of your meat. Uh, so I went and got my little snack that I have at 8 o'clock, and my little snack today was just some turkey from uh, from Boar's Head. So this is, you know, it's high grade. That's the high grade stuff. Yeah, man. When do you think, with that being said, about, you know, in the 40s is when the Carl Budden start. When do you think Boar's Head began? When was it established? I believe it was 1908 in Boar's Head, uh, Talamusa. God damn. 1905. Damn! I'm, I'm not, good. I'm, I'm, I'm so good at guessing numbers. I'm not good at math, but I'm good at guessing numbers. Established Out of Brooklyn. In 1905, Boar's Head uh, uh, brand uh, meets. Fresher deli meat and all that kind of stuff. You know, they, 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 that's my, my favorite. Family. When we were talking about favorite turkey uh, or different, uh, favorite meats, my favorite is the Boris Head Spicy Sausalito Roasted Turkey Breast. Ooh, that is the best. This is a jerk turkey breast. Is what that's I just a good, had. That's a good that's one a too. Good one too. It's yeah. a jerk, but you know what? You're gonna eat it. Got a little spice to it. Yeah, yeah. man. Got a little, you know. So uh, yeah. So anyway, but uh, uh, I was surprised it had been around so long. I'm into roast beef right now, guys. I'm into boar's head roast <laughs> okay. beef. Hey, we it's all always all happen. Hey, hey, or uh, the literal uh, form. Uh, uh, same here, literal form. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> Doesn't matter how old I'll get, I'll always be. <laughs> but I mean, I did want to have a little conversation about boar's head roast beef. Okay, go ahead. Uh, yes, yes. Uh, damn good. And, uh, yeah, I just kind of get so You don't strike me as a roast beef guy. Never really been, but I'm, when I get a full sub, like the ultimate, I always like to get the, the different meats, you know? And then <laughs> and then the other day I was like, you know what? I've really just been doing the turkey for right. so long. Why don't I mix it up? And then I and then out of the packet, kind of straight, you know, eating them, eating them. I was like, well, yeah. Have you had a ro- it's you good. Know, I, I mean, I'll be honest with you. I'm, I'm obviously MC Sandwich, right? Yeah. I don't obviously. think I've ever had a roast beef sub. What? Well, I've had that. roast beef sandwich on sandwich bread, right. not on sub bread. This is this is freaking crazy. Well, that's I actually made myself one yesterday. I went to the house. Yeah. Isn't that what it. Arby's? That's their thing, right? It's, it's the, the roast, beef. Yeah. It's the roast beef sandwich. Yeah, yeah, but that's a sandwich. That's on sandwich bread. Right. That's on like a hamburger bread. Right. Yeah, they got it on a roll. I've never seen it on a roll. I've never seen oh. it in a sub form. Uh, and I can imagine in my head, you're gonna put your you're gonna put your roast beef and yep. you put some cheese yep. in there. Yep. You put some white cheese, yep. probably like uh, mozzarella cheese or something like that, or, or, or provolone. I, I provolone. I think I did prov. Yeah, I did provolone. provolone. And I like pickles, so I put a little pickle, put a little salt, put a little, you know, what else did I put on there? You gotta go like, with roast beef. You just gotta go roasted peppers and mushrooms. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah, yeah. I like yeah. the onions. I didn't have any onions cut. Didn't want to get my hands stinky, so I was just like, and I ate it. And you know what? It was fine. You know, it was what, fine. You just said something that's one of the uh, one of the silly topics that is down here, uh, and that is uh, something that men worry about. Uh, stinky uh, hands. Stinky hands. Yeah. It says, Especially when, it, when you're messing around with it, roast beef. It, it says 90% of men are concerned about, insecure about, think about stinky hands. Well, if and, you're around roast beef and you get that on your 
hand, that's a hard, that's a hard one to w- wash off. <laughs> I never know that I think about. I mean, I know oh, I don't. Sure. You've never messed around with some roast beef, and then it's been oh. hours later, yes. and you're like, whoa. Yeah, well, I mean, but I don't think about <laughs> oh, yeah. having stinky hands. It says that uh, uh, you know, ninety percent of men are co- are concerned about having stinky hands. Yeah, yeah. I'm, not, I'm in the ten percent too. I don't, I don't, I don't think like, oh my god, stinky hands. I'm, I'm, I'm really into washing my hands now. I'm like back to COVID levels because I'm just like, I think it's cool. And I feel healthier when I do. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, every now and then. I'll, I'll change that. I'm sorry. 25% of men. I said 90%. I was about uh, to say, this is yeah. the most overwhelming yeah. pool. People are, <laughs> men are obsessed. Like, Holy man. smokes. 25% uh, percent of men are self-conscious about their hands being smelly. Yeah. It's a millennial men thing. I, I guess it's up. It used to be uh, only uh, 5%. It's up now for millennials for some reason. They're concerned about their armpits and their hands being smelly. And I mean, I don't. I mean, because they're indoors more. I'm not concerned about it. I mean, like I make sure I have good deodorant and all that kind of stuff. Uh, uh, But um, I don't. The deodorant game's getting crazy. What do your hands smell like right now? Oh, mine smell like turkey because I just had turkey. Mine smell like hand sanitizer. I literally just put some on. Oh, you did? Yeah, like my beard balm. Oh, your beard balls. Balm. Oh, I was like, eh, I never beard, heard you, of beard if you balls. got beard balls, you're you've got problems. Yeah, what if your balm went? If fifty two percent are worried about bo these days, and, and, and that's why the Rock came out with that uh, that, that uh, all those new products, right? No, he's just a uh, no. I think he's just a marketing war. genius, and he and he found a really cool product that uh, goes along with his uh, his brand. But I will uh, I will concede this, Russ. I don't think I've lived at a higher uh, uh, point where. I am being sold as a man. I am being sold all kinds of deodorants, all kinds of soaps. There's a brand new deodorant, uh, you know, brand coming out every other week. Yep. I got uh, smell good lotions. I got uh, smell good uh, beard oils. I've got like every like everything that is directed to me as a man. I like is, to smell good. Is to hey smell good. Yeah. I've, I have never experienced that at this level. Like, everywhere yeah. I turn around, it seems like, oh, there's this, oh, we got Mando now for men, and we got this for this and this, and it's uh, it's all over the place. Yeah, it's out I, of control. I know this is a ridiculous question, but I'm going to ask you, just, you know, for talking uh, sake, uh, you, you both use cologne, right? Your cologne is a thing. Yes. Yeah. And, and, and is that okay? Uh, and and I into two Latinos. I was gonna say I I'm a white dude and I use cologne, but I know Hispanics they definitely use some cologne. Like Thank if, you. If, if I get into an elevator with one of the guys from Roomba, you know that which one? Which, uh, one, which one in Roomba? I forget which uh, one, but boy, he's he uses it. I mean, and it ain't mad at him. It smells good. Uh, same thing with Car- Carlos in the early morning. You know, you can tell. Now, I haven't been able to. Yeah, I haven't. I haven't, I haven't put it on really as much well, lately. Well, you guys, because yeah. your pollen and then your uh, sinuses activated. Yeah. You guys so wait, smell so, great. So, if you can't smell it, you don't like to put it on. Is that what it is, Carlos? No, I just actually um, uh, just hadn't put on some lately, and I'm trying to get back into it. To be honest. Yeah, so I just hadn't really been. I'm, I'm like and I'm you, low on my Versace right now. I, I, I'm not like you. I go through uh, like these mood uh, kind of things where I, I'll you know consistently wear my cologne, but then I'll just because uh, sometimes I get some really cool smelling deodorant, and yeah. it's really enough that it, it like it almost smells like a cologne. You know yeah. what I mean? And then like with the beard oils and all that. So uh, yeah, I, I, I like all my colognes, and, and I have a little shelf that's made just for my colognes. No all set way. Up there. I, I switched up. I don't have that tray anymore. It's a shelf right there. <laughs> uh, and then I just recently. I ordered, oh, what's it called again? Um, oh, I can't think of the name, but anyway, it came in, and I'll think about it in a sec. Uh, gray, um, uh, something gray. Gray flannel? Gray flannel. I, I oh, had, my God. I, I That's had, like 100 years old. I know. I haven't had it in a long time. And I said, I, said, I remember gray flannel used to smell great, right? So I ordered some gray, gray flannel, flannel. And, and it came, and it doesn't have a spray top. You got to put yeah. it in your hands. Yeah, yeah, that's that's all, yeah, that's how old that's that cologne is. is. They didn't have the spray back then. It was made in 1912. That's running off of that same yeah. line from 1912. I know. So <laughs> That's I got, what Jesus used to wear at the club. I don't like using it. But because I'm like, oh, I don't. Then my hands smell like gray flannel, you know, for most of the morning. And I guess I'm paying attention to the way my hands smell. Right. But, uh, but I like the spray on. Have I don't you, like talking about the spray clones. Have you seen? I, I've seen this advertised all over social media, and I've always been curious, but I've never been curious enough to pull the trigger. There's a company called Scentbird. Yeah, yeah. And yeah, they my, do we their, got it from my uh, brother-in-law. They, and they do the little sprays of it and yeah. everything, uh, and it's like a monthly kind of subscription. Right. Uh, Hey, did he like it? He did, yeah. Yeah, I actually did. Um, and you get different styles and stuff like that. And, and I, ha- I probably have 30 different colognes yeah. uh, because people that's one thing that people give me, and I like it. And I do, So too. I will try. Like, I have it kind of, oh, let me try this one today. But then by the time I get home, it's Ooh, already that's a, like. That's a uh, dangerous game, buying cologne for somebody. 
Yeah, yeah, I kind of. Yeah, because yeah. I because like that's a personal thing. You if you buy me cologne, you better know me. Yeah, mm. you do feel different if you put yeah. on a cologne and it doesn't fit you. Yeah, like that because yeah. you you like, feel it instantly. Oh, you know this what? Ain't me. Yeah, you know what colognes work with you. Yeah. Your you know chemically and all that kind it, of. That, that, there are guys, and not none of us, right? There are guys that that despise cologne. They think it's for wussies. They think it's for pussies. They, 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 I have they, never they, met that dude. Those, oh, those people know. are called mids <laughs> in life, and <laughs> women look at them like, oh, so you don't like to just take a little care of yourself? Like this, just your mid, bro. And you want to get a woman, you want to get a partner. Partner, and you're not taking any well, any interest in your smell. Like it's been women my, like that. It's been my experience. They like to play like they're golfing all the time, <laughs> and um and and they're balding. You know, but those are the kind of guys that you know, don't. There are people that hate cologne. Even that dude. Yeah. Wears cologne. No, he does not. I bet you. I will bet you a dollar. Well, he might have finally started but there was time you, know, you want to know why he wears cologne why because it makes his lady happy i don't think he does want to bet mm. most people who wear cologne who are like weed smokers are, are trying to cover up their weed if you feel a lot right well, especially cigarette smokers <laughs> the cigarette smokers cigarette thinking, yeah, 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 yeah. how much money you got angel uh, right now I got twenty on it. You got you got twenty bucks that 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 dude does not wear a, a, that he does not own or does not wear cologne. Dirty Jim does not wear cologne. How much you want to bet? Twenty bucks. Twenty bucks. Can I bet you a dollar to oh, your twenty? But he might just to watch me lose. He might say he does. I, this is not a fair. Well, you haven't had a real conversation with him in thirty years. <laughs> <laughs> I know. So you're I, you're basing to, this off the. Off I'm of the... willing to bet you don't know him. Uh, yeah. uh, uh, okay, bets off. You're right. I don't know him anymore. Uh, and, but, uh, <laughs> and, and the thing that we do, I, I, will... I always say on the air he was always adamant about but he's adamant yeah, about but a lot we of stuff say he stupid changes stuff mind. on the air all the time that we don't believe that's a good point too all right forget it no all bet right. Say, bet, yeah. bet, bets off. There you go. But there was a time he hated cologne. I thought it was it was it was ridiculous. Well, it made a good argument going up against you who buys cologne every Thursday. You're telling me that somebody would actually just argue with me just to argue? I that's half of what I do, Bobby. <laughs> 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 All right, uh, don't go anywhere. You're listening to the March of the Morning. Real Radio is on Facebook at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anna Jar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Eastbound I-4 slows from before US-27 past State Road 429, from US-192 to State Road 535 and near the 408. Have a crash still northbound on Point Siena Boulevard north of Old Tampa Highway. Couple of accidents reported eastbound on Lake Underhill Road at Chickasaw Trail. A wreck on southbound Turkey Lake Road at Cane Hill Circle and an accident on Shader Road at Mercy Drive. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Audible. Come to Audible and discover the best selection of audiobooks without exception. Bestsellers, new releases, plus podcasts and exclusive Audible originals. You'll find everything you love all in one place. Sign up for a free 30-day trial at audible.com. Let me tell you about Mills Air. Been in business since 1992 right here in Central Florida. Family-owned business. Leon Mills, one of the coolest guys I know, and uh, he loves to make sure that Real Radio Monster listeners are taken care of, and he really thinks it's important, and he's right, to make sure that you do maintenance once a year on your air conditioning system. To sit around and wait for that expensive piece of equipment to break, and then that's when you call the air conditioning man. That's not a good plan. That's what I used to do. He had to break me of that, and I'm glad that I, I'm glad that he did. They can service all brands of air conditioner, and they can detect and prevent an upcoming break. 30-point inspection will save you time and money. And guess what? It's chilly today and it's chilly tomorrow. But when it starts getting hot here in Florida, it's miserable hot and you don't want to have a breakdown. You don't want to go a day and a half without having air conditioning in your house and, and you want to take care of that thing. So this is a good time to call Mills Air, have them come out and do that 30-point inspection before summertime to make sure you're good to go. MillsAir.com. That's MillsAir.com. I was talking about... um. 
the pollen count and people that have you know uh, really bad allergies well you know he talked me into getting a uv light and put in my air conditioning system and i thought it eh, sounds kind of silly but i'll do it anyway uh did it oh my gosh it's helped my wife so much with her allergies because the uv light kills the mold the mildew and the bacteria and uh, makes you know obviously all that circulating through your house millsair.com that's millsair.com i trust them i believe in them you will too millsair.com Want to win a free motorcycle? I'm Orlando attorney Mo DeWitt, and I'm giving away a free motorcycle valued up to $20,000. All you have to do is go to bikerswinorlando.com. That's bikerswinorlando.com. Enter today at bikerswinorlando.com. Hard Rock Bet presents Legal in Florida. You can bet the game on Hard Rock Bet. No more betting inside your head. Get a no-regret first bet up to $100 when you sign up now. Offered by the Seminole Tribe of Florida. Must be 21 and over and physically present in Florida to wager. Terms and conditions apply. Concerned about gambling? Please call 1-888-ADMITTED. A real crew capsule. A next-generation space plane. A rocket booster that landed itself. Where will they inspire you to go? Mars? The rings of Saturn? New worlds light years beyond. Choose your breathtaking journey into the future of space travel at Gateway, the Deep Space Launch Complex, featuring Spaceport KSC, where real space meets real thrills. Only at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Visit kennedyspacecenter.com for tickets. This is trial attorney Jeff Kaufman from the injury law firm McCoffin and Lind. Yes, another attorney commercial. When people ask me what they should look for when they're hiring an attorney, I make it pretty simple. One, Has your attorney been practicing for more than 10 years? Two, do they pick up the phone when you call? And three, do they actually care about you? If this works for you, contact us at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546. Office Orlando. If you ask anyone who's experienced LASIK, they will tell you it's the best thing they've ever done. And more often than not, they'll add, I should have done it sooner. So what are you waiting for? The Filatowski Eye Institute is offering free LASIK consultations. Just text 1041 to 868686 and start your journey to better vision with the Filatowski Eye Institute. They've performed over 65,000 LASIK procedures using the latest state of the art technology. If finances aren't concerned, they offer 24 month interest free financing. Text 1041 to 868686 to schedule your free LASIK consultation at the Filatowski. I Institute. Regulated activities performed by a licensed affiliate. I had no idea I could sell my life insurance policy. Norman and Nancy Duggan for Coventry Direct. We were about to let Norman's policy lapse because premiums have become expensive. Our kids are doing well on their own, so we just don't need it anymore. Then Nancy called Coventry. They were so helpful answering all of our questions. If you're over 65 and have $100,000 or more of life insurance, you may qualify. After this past year, we're celebrating life. We've booked some long overdue travel and we're able to pay for our grandkids' college. Coventry Direct has helped thousands live the life they want to live, pay for unplanned medical expenses, or supplement retirement income. When it comes to selling your life insurance, Coventry has you covered. Call 1-800-607-9400 or visit CoventryDirect.com to learn more about how you can get cash by selling your life insurance. Call 800-607-9400. Are you a business owner, CEO, or responsible for marketing? If you are, iHeartMedia can help you reach your goals and find new customers. We reach more consumers in your target area than anyone else, and we can give you access to those potential customers more cost-effectively. Across radio, digital, podcasting, and social. We'd love to show you how iHeartMedia can work for you. From your cell, dial pound 250 and say keyword, great results. That's pound 250 and say great results. Spring has sprung for the used car market, and that means full tilt boogie time, baby, at gimmethevin.com. Looking to sell your car, truck, or SUV? Gimmethevin.com makes selling your vehicle fast and easy. Gimmethevin.com is A-plus rated by the Better Business Bureau. They offer a 60-second bid process, pressure-free service, and a free pickup. Just click on gimmethevin.com and get your check on the spot. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVin.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. Hello, America. It's Ted from Consumer Cellular, the guy in the orange sweater, and this is your wake-up call. 
If you don't have consumer cellular yet, now is the perfect time to switch and save. For a limited time, new customers can get wireless service for as low as $15 a month for your first year. Yep, the same exact nationwide coverage as the leading carriers for $15 a month for an entire year. What are you waiting for? Call 1-888-FREEDOM or visit ConsumerCellular.com and use code RADIO15. See ConsumerCellular.com slash First Year 15 for promotional details. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 original stations waiting for you to explore right now, like 24-7 comedy. Men don't settle down. We surrender. Women, we never express the emotions we're actually feeling, right? I'm fine means I'm about to stab you in the neck. Clips from today's top comedians and the greatest of all time. Donut hole. If you want a donut, have a donut. Why are you eating the hole? When you need a laugh, just open the free iHeartRadio app and search comedy. You can actually change the station. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. For estate planning made easier, call TK Law at 407-834. 4847. Discover the new Buick SUVs in stock now at orangebuickgmc.com. We are professional grade. Radio. 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 So the uh, Monster Brew Bus is happening Saturday, April the 13th. Put the date aside. Tickets are not on sale yet. As soon as they are on sale, grab them while you can because we're only letting 50 people on the bus. And we're going to three different breweries. Uh, two of the breweries I've never seen before, but Angel tells me they are awesome. Uh, the last one is Claremont Brewing. I love that place. I'm yeah. excited about that. Uh, the first one is called Brew Orlando. Brew Lando. Brew Lando. Brew Lando. And Second it's a really cool complex, and uh, I'm excited about that place. Toll House, right? Toll Road. Road. Toll House is the cookie. Uh, that's what I was thinking. <laughs> and, then, and then Claremont Brewing. And, uh, it's going to be a lot of fun. I'll be on the bus. Angel will be on the bus. I know that uh, uh, Ryan's going to be on the bus. If you're an old school fan, you remember Bo the Big Man Rhodes, he's going to be on the bus. We'll find out about, uh, we're gonna, we'll invite Amber. We'll invite invite uh daisy we'll invite uh, uh angelique whoever else wants to come and carl see. budding carl budding uh, yeah he uh, might yeah. make an appearance he, he would be a superstar he'd be a superstar on that uh, bus around three yeah. o'clock in the afternoon yeah you're making fun of that those low quality meats right drunken you know uh, party bus you'll be out of the seven packets you bought at the cumberland farms by the time you hit the next stop yeah 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 yeah, yeah. Uh, so anyway, um, uh, where was I? Uh, uh, Ray Friendly, Ray Trendley here with us. I told him just come on in uh, and chat with us uh, for this uh, next segment because the, 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 you you identify with this. Sure. Hold, hold on. I hope. Talk amongst yourselves for a second because I, I got Jack. Hold on. Oh, don't tell him. Don't tell him who's betting what. Uh, no, no, no. Uh, 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 okay. Yes. That's all the answer. Okay. You know, I learned something new today. Uh, what did you learn? I, I learned that the crunch in that turkey <laughs> Was bones. Yeah, behind leg. What did you think it was? I, honestly, I thought it was like, you know, maybe they used like coarse salt and some of that <laughs> thing that broke it up. And, and, and maybe that was something like my grandmother told me and I just believed it because I was a dumb kid. And yeah, I'm like, oh, oh, you're okay. lucky. You're lucky you get one of those. That's an extra pack of protein. But I would eat it too, just straight out of the pack. Right? Yeah. With a little bit of yellow mustard. Yep. And I just fold it over and slide right down. Yeah, I went through a phase when I was trying to lose weight, right? And I'm like, I'm just going to eat, you know, uh, I'm just going to eat turkey. And I would get Carl Bunning and eat like 10 packages of that. What, Never wasn't, lost any weight. Yeah. And then you puffed up. Which weird. Wasn't there another version of this that they were sold in red packages? Could be. That was a cut rate. Sam Budding. <laughs> yeah, yeah. I, they're, they're definitely, Buddy, buddy. <laughs> yeah, it used to look different, and Carl used to be on the packaging. That was part of the joke, too. Yeah, yeah. Oh, man. So, okay, you know Girl how I, I, I like uh, I like listening to all these help, self-help things, books, and uh, self-help, uh, all kinds of uh, baloney. And, and I was listening to one yesterday, and they had a statement, and I'm like, I'm going to write that statement down and see if, if you guys agree or disagree, because I was thinking about it, and I don't think this is accurate, uh, but everybody can identify with it. They were talking about insecurities. Everybody has an insecurity, right? So if you think about your number one insecurity that you have in your life, okay, uh, according to this, uh, whoever wrote this book or whatever, uh, it said 90% of our insecurities or people that have insecurities, we can do something about we're just too lazy to. 
And I'm like, well, hold on. And, and I'm like, well, you know, because mine would be being overweight, right? Like, I have, And I'm like, well, okay, I guess that would fall into the, that's an insecurity I can do something about, you know. And so I was trying to think about some other insecurities. That, so, Carlos, what's, what's your, when, when I say your insecurity, what's the number one thing that comes to your head, your, your number one insecurity? My insecurity is that I have no insecurities. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, see, that's, not, uh, that's not a thing. Yeah, yeah. I, and that's what my dad, my, my, my dad would be, I'm a confident man, I have no insecurity. That's what I you know, old Tuffy would say, but everybody yeah, of has course. an insecurity. Yeah, the insecurities, uh, I'll think of like recent ones, like things are insecurities when you blatantly give out your limiting belief. When you blatantly go, I'm not good at math. I'm, and I used to say it all the time, I'm not good at finance stuff. Oh, I don't understand that stuff. And that was my insecurity that I didn't understand or want to. And then that insecurity would lead to me not saving money. And that insecurity was a ripple, a horrible ripple effect of an insecurity. And then slowly but surely, I stopped saying, I don't know that stuff. But isn't an insecurity something that's in it your was head? in my head. You, you don't even have to. I'm not, I didn't get taught that. I've never been to school for that. I've never raised like that. That was my insecurity. Oh, I'm going to be broke because I don't understand finances. I'll just be ignorant. I'll keep saying that. And then I said, oh, I keep saying that out loud. I know a lot of people that I think, hey, I'm probably a little smarter than them, and they figured it out. So slowly but surely, I stopped saying my insecurity out loud, which is a limiting belief. Right. And then I got a little bit better. I'm nowhere near where I want to be, but I'm, I don't ever think like that anymore. So that falls into it, and that's the 90%. Yeah. Like Most of our insecurities, we can do something about, but we're too lazy. Right, uh, I'm not Ryan. I just called you Ryan Holmes. That's okay. Ray, Ray Trendley, not that funny. What is when you think of your insecurity? <laughs> what 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 is your insecurity? The first thing you think of? Uh, my calves. I think I've oh. talked about it before. Physical, yeah. Yeah, it's one of those things that you you have a vision of yourself when you were 18 or 21 or whatever that time frame is. You're like, I want to go back to that, but I really don't want to run 12 miles a day and get on a bike for three hours and I just. I have other things to do. And so, so, so I think I think what this guy was saying is true. As I thought about it, uh, absolutely. A- Angel, what what is your insecurity? Uh, I would probably have to say, uh, kind of uh, piggybacking off of what Lowe said, uh, the financial security, like thinking of uh, being able to plan for my future. Yeah, that th- those kinds of things and understanding that just. Because we, I come from, a, you know, we come from a culture, we come from a place where that stuff is never talked about. That never. stuff is never taught to us. I, I've been taught to work hard. Yeah, I've right. been told to save my money, but I was never told to how to save my money. Yeah, or how what uh, instruments to use to save money, or what you do with these things, or the you know, the, or so, so the financial financial responsibility and the way to use finances. So that whole. Umbrella, and once again, that falls into the, what this guy is saying is that is it, it's a, that's an insecurity you definitely can do something about. You can learn about it. Yeah. Uh, I, now I was thinking about there's a guy that I know that has I don't and I don't I don't know the name of the of the I don't know if it's called a disease or not, but you know what when guys have like Michael Jackson had the blotchy skin thing, you know, yeah. you know, and, and so I know a guy who's insecure about the fact that he has that. And he can't do anything about that. that so that's an insecurity. That that's you, physical appearance, that, yeah. That you can't do anything he, about. He 100% can do something about his insecurity. When you, I think it's what, op, what, what what's the actual term? The piece is the one with the, the hair. But uh, there's another one. It's the one that but, Michael had. But yeah. th- think about it. There's a beautiful model that has that same thing. There's somebody that is commanding a room that has the same thing. To work on an insecurity, it, you're right. It's just a thing that bothers them. How many people... It are, are, are really going to hate somebody for that, but how many people are going to be inspired when somebody takes yeah. a room and they have an obvious uh, physical uh, disability in a sense that most people would have uh, or perceive, and they overcome it? Oh, man, that insecurity's gone then. What I had an insecurity growing up uh, about being tall. Oh, me too, bro. I, I, me I, too. I, 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 I wanted to be tall. About it. There, I was I, right. I, I, I wanted gonna, to be it. I was gonna be. I was gonna be tall. I grew uh, about four inches. Four, yeah, four inches in a summer. Yeah, and uh, I was gangly. I was awkward. I didn't move well. I didn't. You know, I was super skinny. Um, and I didn't. You know, I and it was one of those things where I, you know, I was a sight. People were like, look, look at that weird kid. You right. know, and at the when you're that age, you know, the, your other kids aren't afraid to tell you you look weird or whoa, my gosh, you're skinny and everything. So I think I think that that's a different conversation of like what Carlos said. It's like, no, no, no. Like, like should you be insecure about that? No, no, no. But not. to take to that limit, what Lois was saying, I take the next step. How do I? How, what am I going to do with this height? 
right? What am I going to do with this? Yeah. I luckily I got people around me. He's like, yeah, dude, you're going to be a basketball player. Yeah. He starts showing me how to t- teaching me how to play basketball. So by doing start, that, you made it not an insecurity. I started yeah. I started getting weight. I got good at something because of me being tall. Yeah. That helped my self confidence. And then I started walking. You know, because uh, up until that time, I walked slouched over. I was kind of hunching over, trying to be the same height as my friends. Right. Well, when once I started being better about this and 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 accepting it. It's like, hey, I'm not going to be able to change this. I'm going to be tall the rest of my life. You, you know? know, here's the thing. Words will etch in your insecurity. And the only thing that breaks it is action. What about right, guys like who that. are insecure That's about being because you actually choose to be bald, Carlos? Like, like you, 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 yeah. you shave your head. You're not actually bald, dude. If I wanted You're- to, I could grow like Fa- Fabio style long ass hair. Like, think of the coolest dude with the longest hair. If I wanted to, but there are guys. I could not. There are guys that are, <laughs> I could not. There, there are guys that are insecure about right. being bald. Right, right. So g- falling into what this guy is saying, ninety percent of us can do something about it, but we, but uh, we're too lazy to. So if you're bald, I mean, I guess you could do like the implants and all that yeah, kind of plus, stuff if you really yeah. wanted to. Mm-hmm. Or, so oh, I was insecure about my hair short. Like, yeah. well, that's why I cut it, right? You know, because I was like, oh, my God, okay. it was thinning. So, so I was, you can do something I was about like, it. Okay. oh, my gosh. I was very insecure about my hair. I felt that it had gotten to a point where I was like, I – it's not going to get any better. I'm not going to take the proper action yeah. to make it better. I'm not going to do the hair stuff. I'm not going to cons- – I just know me. So that's so, what this guy's saying. So then I – and then – I there, know me. I know me. <laughs> and then there's people that then they go bald and they're like, oh, now I hate myself bald. But I'm like, okay, look, hey, this is the card I got. It ain't too bad. I got a, I got at least I've got a couple dents in my head, you know, and uh, and I've learned to uh, to love it or whatever. But I'm in, as an actor, I'm insecure every time I see myself on camera. Sure. Every single time I see, oh, there's my nose. I, I'm insecure about it because it is an unnatural act. That's why I don't watch a lot of stuff over and over that I may do. But that's where my if my insecurity was so great, and it is for the majority of people who want to get into the arts. Oh, I can't stand looking at myself. You have to get over that insecurity for the art or for the passion and for the people that are going to totally never look at you other than like, wow, what a great performance, you know? This guy's trying to come at me and go, Rush, you have a ton of insecurities. Yes, I do. I'm not, I didn't say that I didn't. I, I certainly do. I just mentioned the one, which was being overweight. That's definitely insecurity. Something I, but, but you know, it's something I can do something about, you know, and, and that's what the, uh, the, uh, that's what this particular guy was talking about. Another insecurity is reading out loud. Super insecure about that's reading. A big one too. And, and which is crazy because I'm a talk show host and we read commercials and stuff. Super insecure about reading out loud. I always was bad at it in school. If you give me copy, I don't use, read it exactly the way it's 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 written because I get nervous and I get scared. Uh, I don't. I like doing my commercials by myself. I don't like doing them with Angel because uh, I get nervous. He's gonna laugh at me when I screw up a word. <laughs> like I, I never did that. I'm totally oh, I'm now. Laugh. Could I do something about it? I, I guess I could take reading classes, or I could uh, I could work on it more. Or just take I, a deep breath and relax and calm down and just do your read. So th- I guess there are things I can do about it, and that's that falls into what this dude was saying. Uh, your insecurity, ninety percent of your insecurities, we're just too lazy to do something about. I could read more. Which would make me probably better, but I'd rather just listen to the book, <laughs> you know. So, so uh, yeah, I mean, uh, like, uh, yeah, and I can go through a list of insecurities. I'm insecure about being uh, divorced so many times. Super insecure about that. I, that makes you I, an I expert, that. huh? That makes you an expert. You can be a resource for other people. I'm, an, I'm an expert. Just, just like, uh, oh, look at that. Carlos look at Ray, with, uh, the bald head, and uh, yeah. and. Uh, Angel posterizing little five year olds, right? Yeah. Like, <laughs> boom. You got to use your strengths, and you and, yeah. and I, I really I love that message. I love that message when you you put the action to the words, and you say, you know what, I'm going to put that behind me. And and so many people can kind of grab the bull by the horn, so to speak, and really uh, take the negative emotion and make it into a positive action. And you know what I found talking to kids is they say, well, did you try doing something about it? Yeah, I tried it one time, didn't work. Yeah. They think trying to get over an insecurity one time should work. Hey, I'm, I'm really insecure about this. I give it a little action, a little try. It didn't work. Oh, I guess this is who I am. And they say these things at 18, 19, 20 years old. And I go, you just don't understand how different of a person. So you got to give it another little shot. Well, what, what, this, what this particular person was talking about was that we, uh, most people will let their insecurities bother them for decades. Of course. For years and not do anything about it. Yeah. <laughs> you know, and, 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 uh, and though I have tried with my weight many, many times, you know, I, I haven't tried hard enough. Uh, too lazy to do exactly what I'm, you know, uh, supposed to do. 
But um, what, what's another insecurity of yours, Ray Trenley? Oh, man, I've got so many of them. My, the way my beard grows in. Is, oh, really? Is that I've always noticed that, that, dude. It is yeah. weird. I, I, I get like. We this, call you weird beard when you're I, around. I get weird. Joe beard. Dirt beard, where it's like neck beard and like uh, nothing up here. How many times you tried it, though? Because I'm, I'm coming into my beard self right now, and yeah. I'm super happy about it, and I gave it several attempts. You and Steve both on this whole, like, you yeah. grow into your beard. I don't believe it. I, ah. I think I look like a creepy uh, yeah. guy that lives That's in like, your a trash can. That's your insecurity. Absolutely. I'm the same way, but but I'm not insecure about it. I just don't, I don't like it, so I don't care about it. it has my no... wife loves facial hair, though, so oh. like, I've got to like, just absorb it and be like, oh, whatever it is, what it is. You got to. Full neck beard. Are you guys? Are you guys all insecure about your small wieners? Does it uh, bother you? Uh, yeah, you know. What do you think, Russ? Because uh, <laughs> me confidante down there. Hey, Angel, are you are you insecure about that? Not never. Oh. <laughs> Wrong crowd. Oh. Wrong yeah, crowd. man. Oh, uh, I guess I'm the only one. <laughs> but you know, like uh, I've got a buddy of mine who's really concerned about the way his feet look in flip flops and won't wear flip flops. Oh my god, I don't hang around that person. And and we live in Florida. How do you not wear flip flops? So I mean, I, I think people have a lot of insecurities. I think we focus on the physical. But, you know, um, there's a lot of emotional insecurity. When you're younger as well, uh, being insecure about, like, uh, like your clothing, right? Like, yeah. Because uh, yeah. uh, when you're, again, uh, in, you know, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, and you're going through junior high, middle school and all that, and you're the peer pressure and you want to uh, uh, try to fit in and you wear something that uh, draws, the, you know, the, the wrong attention from everybody and you get ridiculed for it, you know? Well, after this discussion, I realized that they, this guy was right. Most of our insecurities we could do something about. We just yeah. either don't, uh, too lazy or it's too hard. Uh, and but- that, says more, uh, that <laughs> says more about the person in yeah. the sense of, like, if you can do something about it, and you're willing to let yourself be victimized by something that and you... And let it bother you. Yeah. 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 Then that's small all, calves. Small yeah. calves. Small calves. Yeah. Exactly, yeah. man. Just do some leg presses. <laughs> Weird be beard. Right. Weird beard. Weird, Weird beard. Weird small beard. calves. Yeah. <laughs> Listen, it's not the calf presses or the leg presses that build the calves, man. It's it's the repetition on the miles on the bike and on the yeah. road. It's it, Why do it? Yeah. Sounds yeah. like excuses. <laughs> You know, right, you know, well, let's whip him out. Let's do you, see. Do you know who else has that, inse- that same insecurity? Who's that? Ryan, Ryan Holmes. Holmes. Cavs? That's his yeah. number one. That's his number one. I would one. think it would be it's, abs. No. No, you know, he's it, proud of his abs. Yeah. He says leg day, he, it was, he's allergic to it. Oh. In Chicken the home legs. country of Denmark, abs means pot belly. <laughs> <laughs> That's an you know, interpretation. You know, the other thing that's interesting about insecurity, though, is I think when you find somebody else with the same insecurity, you're like, oh, that person's lame. Yeah, yeah. You're yeah. like, oh, they, he's got an insecurity what, about his calves. What's wrong with him? And, and you're not – you know, most people don't admit uh, – insecurity. They're no. insecurity. I'm talking no. about, yeah. we're, we're talking about no. it on the radio, but – Dude, actually, they do. Oh, I'm not that smart in math. Oh, I ne- oh yeah. I'm so ugly. I that's never – I don't want everyone – No, that's it. the yep. thing. They do. And I, it's shocking to me. I'll sit and I'll have a conversation with somebody for one minute, and they will tell me three different things that they hate about themselves before I've even said anything. Right. Because it's coming out of you. Because the second somebody starts looking at you, you're so consumed with yourself that you think everybody's looking at you. They're not. Just l- enjoy this little thing we call life. Yeah. But do you think we all have? I know oh, we gotta get a break, but do you think we all have insecurities that we don't talk about? Because yes. oh, that's embarrassing. Uh, Absolutely. Yeah. They're we'll, always, so we'll, of course. We'll, let's do those when we come back. <laughs> You're listening to the Monster of the Morning. Real Radio is the Jim Colbert Show, company for your ride home, doing their best to help you forget the hell that is I four. The Jim Colbert Show, weekdays at three on Real Radio 104.1. From the Cool Today Weather Center, cooltoday.com. Good morning, Central Florida. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your Wednesday forecast. And today will be a beautiful day, despite the fact that we're off to a bit of a chilly start. Temperatures will warm up in a big way, with highs approaching the mid-70s, a high of 75 degrees for Orlando this afternoon. Plenty of sunshine today and tomorrow. However, tomorrow we'll expect increasing clouds through the late afternoon. Warmer temperatures with increasing rain chances late tomorrow night and into our Friday. From the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Direct Auto. Direct Auto Insurance is for uncompromisers. With a super low down payment, you can stop compromising and keep driving. Get a free quote at directauto.com. Down payments vary does not mean savings. How you buy can affect price. National General Group, Winston-Salem. 
Sunnyside Plumbing. Yes, I've got a leaking... To leave us a testimonial saying how happy you are with our service, press 1. But you haven't even... For all other inquiries, please hang up. Wait, what? Hang up and call Frank Gay. We're busy watching the game. You know what? I think I will. When you have a leak, you need solutions on your schedule. A helpful expert who can find the problem and fix it fast. That's the Frank Gay way. FrankGayServices.com The Golden State Warriors are making the cross-country trip to face off your Orlando Magic on Wednesday, March 27th. It's the Warriors' only visit to Kia Center this season, so don't miss out. Get your tickets today at OrlandoMagic.com. Get ready, because Scott's is taking over Daylight Saving Time. It's such a big event that we're calling it Day Long Saving Time, and now it's got real savings. In fact, it's the biggest deals of the year. Audacious? Absolutely. So don't wait. Stock up early and you'll be able to save up to $20 on Scott's Triple Action and Easy Seed products today at the Home Depot, Lowe's, or Ace Hardware. Offers available March 7th through 20th at select U.S. stores while supplies last. Selection varies by location. See store for exact offers. I'm Mark Anajar. I'm Glenn Levine. I'm Ellie Anajar. And we're Anajar and Levine. Experience the Anajar and Levine difference by calling us with any of your legal needs. Call 1-800-747-FREE for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Here's another remarkable success story from QC Kinetics. This one from Chad, who hurt his knee at the gym one day, and it just kept on hurting for months. From my high school football and wrestling days, I already had a little bit of damage in there, but this just sent it over the edge. Chad tried traditional treatments with no improvement when he turned to the non-surgical regenerative treatments at QC Kinetics. It was really fascinating how they did their work, and the science behind it was very intriguing, and it works. Extracting the cure out of my own body blew my mind. It's like I'm brand new again. It was fantastic. That's because the QC Kinetics natural biologic treatments use your body's own healing power to restore damaged tissue in your hips, shoulders, back, and knees, providing long-lasting relief. Now, I'm back at the gym. I'm 100% feeling great. If you're tired of suffering with pain from arthritis or injury, call QC Kinetics now for a free consultation. Call QC Kinetics, 689-244-7980. That's 689-244-7980. In Orlando, Winter Park, the Villages, and Lake Mary, 689-244-7980. If it's time for you to get some new windows, reach out to Mike the Home Builder and his team of professionals at the Home Builders Network. Let me tell you what you will get when Mike takes care of you. Great quality windows, great installation, and great service, all for a fair price. What you won't get is a window company that moves into your house for three hours when they come in for the free estimate, pressuring you for the sale. Use someone local, someone you can trust. Go to myhomebuildersnetwork.com. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free, explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit, 800-522-5700, 800-522-5700. You call that a precision stop? When a rookie stunt driver, just give me a shot, meets the trainer who thought he'd seen it all. Come on, focus. They'll soon find out that behind the wheel of the Nissan Rogue, with the power of VC Turbo and the most fuel-efficient gas-powered engine in its class. Watch this. The protege can become a master. But this is no ordinary blockbuster. It's a Nissan sales event ad. Woo! Level up your drive with 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Shop the Nissan sales event. Visit your local Nissan store and NissanUSA.com today. Auto Pacific segmentation excluding hybrids and electric vehicles. 2024 APA fuel economy estimates from 28 city, 34 highway to 30 city, 37 highway for 2024 Nissan Rogue. Actual mileage may vary. For well qualified buyers, 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on new 2023 Rogue and dealer stock. Example 60 months financing at 1748 per month per thousand financed. Actual down payment may vary. Subject to residency restrictions and in that credit approval, not all buyers qualify. Dealer contribution may affect actual price set by dealer. Contact dealer for details. Ends 4124. Car crash? Call Clausman. Clausmanlaw.com. That's K L A U S M A N. Real radio is Real Music Weekends. Real Music Weekends. This weekend on Real Radio 104.1.
Hey, uh, friendly Ray Trendley here with us today with TK Law, OneFirmForLife.com. That's OneFirmForLife.com. I, we sent somebody to you the other day. Uh, and we're like, hey, listen, he does it all. He does everything. And I got to thank you uh, because uh, you, you were very kind and decided to uh, sponsor my uh, Edgewater High School Hall of Fame induction thing. And that means a lot to me. I appreciate that. Absolutely. Uh, that was very nice of you. And I know it means a lot because Edgewater High School, they use that to, to help kids uh, for scholarships and stuff, so it's a, it's it's a, you know it's a it's a positive thing. But uh, but thank you for doing that. No, absolutely, and uh, I love supporting the schools. You know, I think I've talked about it before. My wife's a teacher, and so okay, uh, yeah. So I love I love the schools, and they don't get enough love, unfortunately. Yeah, yeah, you know? and and they certainly appreciate. They got hold of me like, oh, Ray Trendley, you know, oh, uh, did this, and I'm like, ah, that, that's awesome. I appreciate him doing it. So. Yeah. Uh, so thank you for that. Uh, so yeah, if you need to get hold of Ray Trendley, uh, he does family law, he does divorce, he does uh, he does uh, estate, estate planning. planning, all that kind of good stuff. So uh, we'll talk about that a little bit more. We were talking uh, more about insecurities, and we're getting a lot of people who are texting in <laughs> about that. And uh, and during the break, we were talking about more insecurities, and one of them is is this. I do have an insecurity about this, and and. Uh, and, you know, the, the question being, you know, this guy said 90 percent of your insecurities that we're like too lazy to do something about this one. I don't know. OK, so I am insecure about or maybe insecure is not the word. Uh, but if I meet people out like I want and I know they know me from the show, I want to be, you know, super nice. I want to make sure that they walk away with a good experience. Like, oh, I met Russ and he was nice. And then on Facebook the other day, I had I put something on Facebook and I had I mean, probably. 700 positive, you know, really nice comments. But then there's just two, you know, two comments, right? And one of them's like, I met you at Publix and you, uh, I said something to you and you looked right through me and, and you didn't say a word to me. And, and I'm like, well, okay, I, that's not me. Yeah, I remember like, when like, you saw that guy and you brought it up and you're like, yeah, man, that's I remember, not me. Like, remember that story he told us? Like, like, I remember he was like, Russ came in, he was like, yo, 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 I was at Publix. This dude was like, yo, what's up? And I was like, talk to the hand. And like, he just Get kept walking. Face. That is and not he's me. He's brought it up several times. Now, I am you know, almost deaf you know, because I've, I've had headphones on for 30 years and, and I probably I probably didn't hear the guy. So that's I, not what you told So us. I typed back and I said, listen, I, probably, you know, I, I apologize if it seemed that way. I probably didn't hear you. And the guy's like, no, you look like you look like you thought you were too good to talk to me, and and, and th- that is one of my biggest insecurities for people to ever think that because that thought has never gone through my head that I'm too good to talk to somebody ever. But for that person's experience, he felt so upset that he t- put it on Facebook, and I'm sure he's telling his friends, "Oh, Russ," and that that's an insecurity. About I it. remember the story. You again. do not, yeah. you lying <laughs> son of a bitch. Angel, because he's like, he shut the door, shut the door. He's this like, is why you got the insecurity. <laughs> yeah, yeah. You, you got these guys giving you a hard time. Oh, no, he, he was telling us he about it. He's like, I, yeah, cl- he's like, I clearly heard him. He's like, I was like, like, I like, 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 like He's like, I wanted. To say something, but I kept going to pick up some. Dog Is this food. the one where he was getting the chicken tender yes. pub yep. sub? Yes. Oh, like now sub? you. Yes. Oh, now you're gonna get on. This it. is the continual story. So to that gentleman. We apologize on behalf of Real Radio <laughs> yeah. and the Monsters. That is See, my insecurity is really I don't want to be contrary, and I, I want to go with the group. I want to go with the mob. <laughs> That's I, I, always I gotta... the more fun part. Yeah. Yeah. Think yeah. about this, though, uh, Russ, as you're talking about this, right? Yeah, yeah. So you, uh, you put, make that post and everything, and overwhelmingly, the, overwhelmingly. Perc- the percentages are positive, yeah. right? And we, as h- human nature, we lock in on the one or two uh, that – and here's the Crazy, thing. Crazy, right? If, like, the, if the dude – genuinely was looking for and that's and, and a lot of times like in that circumstance that dude's just looking for an interaction with you and i apologize and, and you, if i if and I when you what... apologized you offered the apology and he doubles down yeah, yeah. right then that lets you know that this that that this guy is full of it yeah you know well, what I, I mean well in my mind i'm like okay i either didn't see him and didn't hear it him it doesn't matter i've never done that would it, never do that it matter does... of fact, i'm such a narcissist that i love for somebody to say they listen to the show <laughs> like, does... like i get off on that but so i would does... never not listen to someone, talk to someone because they say they listen to the radio and, program. And, and normally that's true. But for this specific story, <laughs> incident, uh, yeah. it's etched in my it, mind. It. It public, about we the... call it the Publix incident. Yeah. <laughs> it was the look on the guy's face. It was yeah. the look was, on his yeah. face that was like, <laughs> it was priceless. And he was walking with a club foot. <laughs> and yeah. yeah. Uh, he was dragging. Yeah. And, and I'm, I get I'm, it, I'm, I'm trying to imagine what would, what would make me not talk to somebody. Well, because you told like, us that this guy, he looked like he, he stinks. It, it was he looked yeah, like he stinks. Yeah. I have talked to every stinky person. There was something about this monster. The Publix incident. Incident guy yeah. that you, you heard clearly that you dissed. This is a different.
sense. I, I agree probably with most other cases, but this but one. This, this is not an insecurity, though, is it? Like, I think no. I think it absolutely is an insecurity because you know one of the things that I've always been very conscious and aware of is the fact that I grew up in South Florida, and I don't know if you know, the South Florida school system, not the best. Man. Yeah, but you're a lawyer, so we assume you're smart. Right, right. so a lot of people well, that's do. That's a crazy assumption to make. And, 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 and so that's a huge insecurity that I've always had because I was not a very good student up through and until law school, and I kind of figured it out. I was like, oh, I should probably really try. And so, you know, I figure I probably went through fifth grade to 12th grade education all while I was in law school because I was like, I got to read every grammar book there is, every math book there is because I wasn't paying a lot of attention in school. Yeah. Right. And so that it, when I became a lawyer and I started meeting these people with like Harvard degrees and I and I immediately talked down to myself. You know, mm-hmm. I had that, that limiting belief and I'm not as smart as this person. Yeah. I can't be as good of a lawyer as this person. And so my theory behind it was I'll just outwork them. Yep. And eventually I catch up. And I, uh, I think I'm better than them all now. So right. well, it's, it's difficult, uh, Ray, when the people right. that you're running around there are talking to you like this, and they, they think that you're, you know, down beneath them. They give you these yes. hoity-toity accents. They yeah. tell me I use the wrong fork for the salad. And that's like, when you stab yeah. them in the yeah. eye with it. <clears throat> hey, are you self-conscious about the way your hands smell? How do your hands smell right now? Um, like lotion. <laughs> okay, all right. Yeah. Um, so it's twenty five percent of men are self conscious about the way their hands smell. I don't even. They're probably real men, and it. they don't, you know, work in a law office and just type all day. They yeah. probably have like real man jobs where they're digging ditches or building buildings or I don't know. At the movies with Jeff, uh, I, I was talking to Angel, and Russ walked in and snubbed me and turned his back on me. I, if that happened, I don't remember it. That was the other one, right, Angel? <laughs> wasn't it this one? That was this new theater incident. Was that like, the one where he said he wanted to throw the popcorn he at the wanted, guy? He's like, the, I just wanted to throw it at him. He says, hey, <laughs> Russ, and I'm sitting there trying to watch a free movie, and, I, you know, and next thing you know. <laughs> now, I, will, I will say this. I don't assume everybody knows me, though. Like, like I might not have thought this person knew who I was. You know, like, I don't assume everyone knows uh, who I am, so it might be... Uh, well, our, uh, Russ, that's a really weak uh, excuse in this circumstance when they're saying that they're standing there with me. Well, I, mean, they, I thought they were talking to you and they didn't want to talk to me. You're more popular. People love you. That's not accurate, but I appreciate it. <laughs> I, don't even, I don't even remember this. I don't either. Uh, Holy and smart. I hate those stories. They, they drive me crazy because I, I... At the movies with Jeff... Yeah, I don't. You know what you, you, know what you should do? What? You should have a party and invite all the people you've ever snubbed over to your house. <laughs> Dude. Oh. And, and you give them all hugs. So, it's going to be the movie guy. Idea. And take a movie guy and Publix guy going to yep. be the first two. Oh, I'll be like, if, I've, if I've ever snubbed you, come to my house tonight. Yeah. And I will oh, have don't a even private mess around, party. Dude. <laughs> don't even mess around. You should make it like a, a themed party. Like, um... Well, it, I, I don't know, like maybe like a movie theme or uh, like Rocky or something like that. Or a dress, being snub theme. Dressed up like boxers and then just, you know, show up at your house. And- I try to be sweet to everybody. Uh, but if I've ever, if, 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 you, if you whisper to me, if you whisper talk to me at a Publix, I can't hear you. You know, to be fair to you, I've I've whispered to you in the studio when there's live reads and things like that, and you don't respond to me. And I just assume you didn't hear me. Uh, it has to be a careless whisper. I, I don't assume, yeah, yeah, I don't yeah, assume yeah. you're yeah. just are ignoring the me. The only whisper oh. Russ hears is careless one. My wife will tell me, Mary Ellen will say, I was just talking to you, and I'm like, oh, I didn't hear you. So I, I probably need to wear my hair anymore. I, I was whispering about his, the smell of his hands, though. Was, you know, that was true. the conversation. It smells like car budding. <laughs> yeah. All right, Carlos, when we come back, are you going to take us to the top I with would, Ray Trenley? With Whoa. Ray Trenley, I want to talk about something that is it's never been done before the greatest person ever to talk about something now has a podcast about it wow it's groundbreaking okay all right we'll do that when we come back don't go anywhere you're listening to the monsters in the morning do you do words good prove it the talk back feature on the free iheart radio app follow real radio 104.1 tap the microphone and speak we're still pretty slow westbound on I-4 near Lake Mary Boulevard, and eastbound remains very slow from U.S. 27 past State Road 429. In Lake County, there's an accident on Highway 19 at Gopher Road. Have a crash in a turn lane northbound on Alafaya Trail at Challenger Parkway. There's wreck on Turkey Lake Road southbound at Cane Hill Circle. And very slow traffic northbound on Narcusi Road between Rummel Road and Cyril's Drive. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Morgan & Morgan Injury Law Firm. I'm John Morgan of Morgan & Morgan. If you've been injured in an accident and would like to know the value of your case, go to ForThePeople.com to see cases just like yours. You see, all lawyers are not the same. Morgan & Morgan. Visit ForThePeople.com for an office near you. 
Spring is in the air, but so are airborne allergens like tree pollen, grass, mold, and ragweed. If spring allergies keep you trapped inside, then you need Navage Nasal Care to keep you breathing clearly and enjoying all the beauties of spring. Navage helps clear nasal passages that are often clogged because of seasonal allergies. Navage gently flushes a pure, refreshing saline solution through your nasal passages to clear out congestion, sucking out that springtime pollen and other irritants trapped in your nose. Navage springs into action quickly, helping you breathe more clearly in just 30 seconds. And you don't need a never-ending cycle of decongestants that can leave you feeling drowsy. Navage is the fast and easy drug-free allergy solution that helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel healthier. Get Navage today so you can get outdoors and enjoy your favorite springtime activities. Navage is available online at navage.com or in stores at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, Rite Aid, and Target. Navage. N-A-V-A-G-E. Breathe easy. With new doors by Renewal by Anderson, you can cut back on energy usage, boost your home's curb appeal, and increase your comfort. Renewal by Anderson makes that transition easy for you thanks to a selection of beautiful, functional replacement doors that are as beautiful as they are convenient. I love pretty French patio doors, but in so many cases, they seem flimsy and over time can warp, not to mention the security concerns that can come with them. Renewal by Anderson is better because every patio door is built with their exclusive Fibrex material, which is two times stronger than vinyl and features a five-point locking system, which improves energy efficiency and better yet, an increased level of security. Renewal by Anderson has a great offer to help you get started during the month of March. Buy one window and or patio door and get one 40% off. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com. Some restrictions apply. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. License number CGC15276. Six one three. A Fifth Third better means we put in 166.7%. What does that mean? Well, at Fifth Third Bank, our name equals 166.7%. So that's how hard we work. That means free checking, no hidden fees, and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms? It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzz ball. Cricket. Golden duck. Wow. Guess that really is a Fifth Third better. That's what a Fifth Third better means. This is banking a Fifth Third better. Fifth Third Bank National Association. Association member FDIC. International Diamond Center's values are so compelling, it's not unusual to see people here that are not local. Every day, we have people that drive an hour, an hour and a half, even two hours. IDC owner Keith LeClaire. People are willing to drive because they've heard it's not a typical jewelry store. For example, did you know IDC has one of the largest selections of luxury pre-owned Rolexes in America? Thousands of hard-to-find Rolex watches, Submariners, Daytonas, Pepsis, Batmans, all in perfect condition. We scour the world to find only the most pristine, super clean watches. We only carry the creme de la creme. And like everything else at IDC, these watches are at a price that's guaranteed to give you maximum value. We price them to win the customer, not lose a customer. International Diamond Center. For pre-owned Rolexes, exquisite rare diamonds, premium designer jewelry, and exceptional white glove service. You're going to want to come to IDC. It's worth the drive. International Diamond Center. For Orlando locations and online at Shop. IDC.com. It's the Nissan Thrill of the Tribe sales event at Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Score 0% financing on popular models like Rogue with no payments till 2025 and close out pricing on remaining 2023s. Rush to Sutherland Nissan Orlando. Click OrlandoNissan.com. Home of the lifetime warranty. See you for details. Life is too short to let allergy and sinus issues hold you back. At Aspire Allergy and Sinus, we understand the impact these challenges can have on your life. Imagine a life free from constant sneezing, itchy eyes, and sinus headaches. Our expert team provides comprehensive comprehensive allergy testing, and personalized treatment plans, ensuring your specific needs are addressed. Simple relief, better life at Aspire Allergy and Sinus. Visit AspireAllergy.com to schedule an appointment. AspireAllergy.com and tackle your allergies head on. Looking for an exciting career in construction? Kalo Services is hiring. Saturday, March 23rd from 11 a.m. to 2 p.m. Find out more at kalosflorida.com slash jobs or tax 352-243-7099 to find out more. This earful of Real Radio is brought to you by Crimeline.org. Give a tip anonymously. This earful of Real Radio is sponsored by R.C. Hill Mitsubishi, Highway 1792 in DeLand. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Portions of the following program were pre-recorded. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman & Lind Studios. Why Kaufman & Lind? Because clients and character matter. 
Contact them at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach, Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Welcome to the Monsters, Real Radio 104.1 Monsters in the Morning. If you want to check out our YouTube channel, Real Radio Monsters, on YouTube, you can see old handsome, friendly Ray Trendley here with us today, who is, uh, if you need any, I mean, anything done, let's say you're going through divorce, let's say you need any, any, you know, any family law done, friendly Ray Trendley can help you with that for sure. What's up? I'm Russ, along with Angel and Ray Trendley, and now it's time for Carlos. Take it to the top. Let's go. And I'm man. Cookie, cookie, good morning, everybody. Hello, my name is Carlos Alberto Navarro, and this is To The Top. Every single morning, try and take it to the top. Make you think, make you laugh, whatever it may be, honk. And today is a wonderful one. It's Wednesday. I'm feeling better than I have in a while. My boy Ray Trendley is here, dosing out advice on, on family law here with the boys today. But why not, you know, do something? One firm for life. Dot com. What does that mean to you? What does that mean to you, Ray? Well, it means it must mean a lot to you, right? I mean, it means we're here with you no sure. matter what's going on. Oh, beautiful. Even a better assist. I was purely saying <laughs> it's your website. And, uh, and yeah, that's right. That's what uh, TK Law, Ray and his entire firm over there, they're there for you. And, uh, and especially when it comes to things of the family nature. How about give them a call? 407 834 Four eight four seven. That's TK Law. To the top motivational minute today, man. Every now and then, something gets put in front of us that I'm like, this just would have never happened without modern technology. You know, the beauty of, of it, and especially if you're a sports fan, and and there's different levels of this to every industry or theme or subculture that the greatest sometimes can create. Basically, a place where you can learn from. Okay, LeBron James and JJ Redick are doing a podcast together. Okay, now, not just any old podcast. Because the second I came in today, Angel and I were already talking about this. Imagine Michael Jordan sitting down, and that's where like a lot of people try and understand what this is. Michael Jordan, I don't know, Steve Kerr at the time, a random, uh, that's like an equivalent to JJ in a weird way. I don't know. And they sit down and they start talking about all the things at the highest level you need to be a great basketball player. The mentality, the plays. It's like they're diving in on levels that nobody has talked about the game and it's just one-on-one. And now we have millions of kids and coaches and people that are now have the ability to learn from the greatest person, two of the greatest minds to ever look at the game. Um, it is absolutely fascinating. Angel, what did you think about this when you uh, first started Pop? I'm really curious to see how this goes because uh, in regards to this, um, it's uh, – <laughs> It's way inside in this regard. If you're a casual fan of the NBA, if you're a casual fan of basketball, it's going to be really easy for you to get lost. Oh yeah. Now, if, if you're a fan that if you're a fan and you want to learn more and you want to learn more about the intricacies of the game, then this could be really interesting to you because uh, these boys, uh, right off the bat, they're jumping off into the deep end of the pool and they're talking, uh, you know, the nuances and the the finer details of what it is that you're watching when you're watching an NBA game and that kind of thing and instead of people yelling at each other yeah. who's the go who's the best this is, who can shoot the yeah, three if you're doing who hot, can be be? if you're into like hot take uh, kind of culture of sports that and it's that's and that's a prominent that's a you know the prominent type of broadcasting or the type of uh, a podcast that are out there it's all hot takes it's all you know just uh, trying to say incendiary things to grab attention 
these guys are going a more logical and uh, technical view away, and I'm curious to see how it does. Is it similar to like, like the Kelsey brothers? I mean, I, I'm trying to think of no. other no. athletes that are actually playing that are doing a podcast at the same time. And I guess there's a lot of athletes that are doing it. So that's a good there that's are. a good question, Russ. You would think, oh well, yeah, just another like athlete. No, Kelsey's like if they took football out of it. You're gonna they, have a you're, podcast. You're still gonna. You would still be entertained they, by them if they were like a Pat McAfee, where they kind of like shoot it around and then they break down sports. They'd be just as successful because they're entertaining. What we're talking about is going into the weeds of the mindset, the playbook, the X's and O's, things they never talk about the game. Is, like it, a is, it, above, is it above the head of most? Like, like I'm not, you know, I, you would I, ne- yeah, it would ne- for, for me, if I, I listen to it, it's, 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 it's above my it, head. It, it really depends on what type of fan you are, of, uh, in particularly of the NBA game and or a fan of uh, basketball. If you're looking to learn, these guys are coming at it from a position of, te- like, Almost teaching, yes. I would say, is the best way to, to describe it. No doubt about it. Ray, uh, did you hear about this? What are your thoughts on this? Yeah, it's above my head. Yeah. Y- you know, because yeah. I, I, not a surprise to you guys, uh, I'm not a basketball player. Why was it? Uh, for it, what it, it, It's probably my height. Okay. Um, well, I guess and I'm... I grew up in South Florida yeah. where they're like three kids uh, have national championship uh, rings from college. Got and, it. Uh, but uh, what if it was a football one? Oh yeah! I'd be what down. if it was Brady, Brady. Yeah. sitting down with Peyton Manning? Uh, uh, with Peyton Manning, yeah. My and fantasy. My I'll fantasy. tell you right okay. now, guys. Uh, if, I know they if got it, a detail show. If, that has if a... this thing, if this thing uh, shows that it can um, be educational, the next thing that you're going to see is you're going to see an NFL version no of doubt. this. No yeah. doubt. Because uh, what, what one of the main complaints that athletes have is that the guys that are talking about their sports yep. have no idea have no idea or, or don't understand the concepts of this and so they're purely going off of a numbers sheet or, or this and so they don't have quote unquote the credibility or the insight or the experience to you for you to be able to talk trash about me but you're you're, you're going to give me your hot takes you know what i mean right and and that's the the kind of the beauty is that they did it they talked about this and it's it kind of comes back around to the motivational minute with coaching and uh, something a youtube a uh, commenter asked me, I was actually Rachel. I'll get to that in a second. But um, so what I got out of this was LeBron James and JJ Reddick sat there and said, Hey, listen, the only reason I think like this is because of my coaches that I had in eighth grade. And he starts rattling off his coach in eighth grade. And then his JV coach, not just the first one, but the assistant one, and did it because they taught me the game. And the beauty of the game at the right way. Not, are we going to win and win this tournament and then not forget that you don't know how to actually cover anybody? You don't know the, the, the skills of the game. And then JJ does it. And it was like, obviously, as a coach now, I'm like, this is what it's about. Showing these kids the right way, the game that they love, instead of just the highlight reel. And yesterday was a perfect example. It was a tough practice. We had a tough practice over there at Chuck Lennon Park. But the girls were beast. We were breaking down a very high-level way of, of that a lot of teams don't do with the catcher, which it should be. The catcher's in control, telling the, the first baseman or the third baseman exactly where to be during the cutoff, as well as the right or the left or the center fielder. And it is all dependent on communication. Most girls aren't going to do this. It has taken us a while to get to this point. The joy that us coaches had on the side. When they were making the relays and Brooke or Bella was just making those calls ear to ear. And I hope that anybody who watches this show or is out there coaching or influencing the youth can understand the effect it takes yeah. and how deep it goes to do things the right way. And, uh, and I would highly suggest anybody watch this because I just left a little comment on there. I'm like, I'm a softball coach. I'm going to use these things for softball. <laughs> you know, uh, so I thought it was really quite... Uh, interesting to get to the comment of uh, what somebody wrote. Rachel said, "Hey, would you uh, what do you watch Spanish shows with your daughter? Like to, this, I know it's kind of connecting back to this." And I said, "Well, my daughter's 13. I don't watch many shows with her, and she has a young daughter. She doesn't understand that at a certain point, you ain't watching a lot of TV with your kids. Yeah, yeah. right. Especially young girls. But we spend a lot of time together watching videos." And seeing things, you know what it is? It's her, it's the game. That game that I love, that we've grown to love together, is a huge bonding element of, that we get to spend a lot of time together. And I sat there and I go, wow, if that game was gone, if that wasn't in our lives right now, yeah, I'm not, I'm probably not spending that much time with my 13-year-old. Right. 
you know? And I didn't think about that at the beginning when we started this at 10 or 9 because you, you're way, you're hanging out with them yeah. way more then, you know? So it's all a little motivational minute to the top about family, about the game, about doing the right thing. And, uh, and man, I, can't, I couldn't suggest it anymore. So uh, shout out to the game. Shout out to LeBron. I do know one thing today will be a great day. To the top, never stop. How long do you plan on, uh, on coaching? I was thinking about that. I've been thinking about that a lot. Because um, when she gets into high school, yeah, I'm I'm right there. I'm not I'm not I'm not going anywhere. I mean, I'm learning every day. Do you think there'll be a point where she's gonna be like, Dad, uh, you know, you know? Uh, I I we've talked about this a lot. I I literally have two Stetson coaches in my backyard coaching them. I don't infuse myself there. Yeah, I'm not a guy's like she's got to learn my way and no, no, please coach my daughter. So you're cognizant of not being the dad that is. A- you know, I'm uh, not embarrassing, a, embarrassing linen. Yeah. No, I, I put in as much work in order to not be a fake, you know what I'm saying? And learn the game and grow together. And of course she's going to have kid coaches that are going to overtake that. But no, I, I hope to be by her side and help her as much as I possibly can. And then I hope my daughter, my youngest goes up and is like ready to go. What about this? One? Let's say, let's say you go, you start yelling at a kid, right? Mm-hmm. You're yelling at a kid and it's one of her friends. Yeah. And then as she gets a little older, like that's embarrassing me, dad, you're yelling at my, we've already had those conversations. And? said i'm a coach yeah. you have to understand and she's she learned it. she no she looks at those when she goes yeah they're not doing it. she knows i'm not yelling at you if you're doing your job yeah and she understands that i'm her toughest coach right now but there will be a tougher coach uh there but i'm still her dad and i'm still there for her yeah, as long you, as she needs me and i and i and i, and I personally want to be there and it is normal for you to be tougher on her because i remember that when i when i did uh coach wrestling i was tougher on ernie my, the kid uh, that, that was you know he's my uh, brother-in-law uh i was tougher on him than i was the other kids I, I don't think i do that yeah i really don't i've always heard that kind of thing oh you're tougher on your own kid but like i really i'm kind of an equal dude where i'm like i'm gonna be tough with you if you're not doing your job and i'm gonna uplift you if you're really doing your job and i'm kind yeah. of the same with my kid but it, it's constructive criticism yes, right? because you're having the communication behind it that says this is why you're yeah. getting this instruction and that's huge this is what i t- what i'm telling the kids a lot Girls, there's a difference between constructive criticism and destructive criticism. Yeah. Sure, yeah. And you will know the difference when you hear it. And you guys can't be doing it, and I can't be doing it either. Hey, uh, friendly Ray Trenley here with us from TK Law. Can you, uh, can you stick around for one more segment? Yeah. I've got sort of a legal question that uh, it, it includes AI, and I'm curious what your, your thoughts are. Let's on. do it. All right, we'll do that when we come back. By the way, TK Law, onefirmforlife.com. That's onefirmforlife.com. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. Real Radio is the news junkie. They are trying to get rid of hotel bathtubs, and I just can't stand for I, it. Uh, you know what? I, I'm glad I didn't take your side. See, Lane, you've used a hotel bathtub before. I've seen it. Uh, uh, wait. <laughs> <laughs> the news junkie. Weekdays at 11 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Goldsmith Jewelry Shop Traffic Center, lowest prices on the highest quality jewelry. GoldsmithJewelry.com. Westbound I-4, some slow traffic near Lake Mary Boulevard and eastbound slows from U.S. 27 past State Road 429. Have a wreck westbound on Weatherby Road at Landstar Boulevard. An accident eastbound on East New York Avenue. East of I-4 has two right lanes blocked. And there's crash southbound on Turkey Lake Road at Cane Hill Circle. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Wawa. Wawa's new built-to-order wraps are here. It's all the flavor you love, wrapped up, and ready to move with your day. Try an Italian or Bacon Ranch chicken steak wrap today. Gotta have a Wawa. A fifth third better means we put in 166.7%. What does that mean? Well, at Fifth Third Bank, our name equals 166.7%. So that's how hard we work. That means free checking, no hidden fees, and helping to protect your identity. Explain it in baseball terms. It's a home run. Basketball terms. It's a slam dunk. Football. Touchdown. Highlight. Buzzball. Cricket. Golden duck. Wow. Guess that really is a fifth third better. That's what a fifth third better means. This is banking a fifth third better. Fifth Third Bank National Association member FDIC. Seminole Hard Rock Tampa is excited to bring you live craps, roulette, and sports betting. All under one roof hotter than the Florida sun. Feel the luck of the dice. Watch the roulette wheel spin and scream.
scream for your touchdown as the big screen comes alive. Dine like a rock star. Sip cocktails that shimmer. Then dive into the heart of Las Vegas right here in Tampa Bay. Live craps, roulette, sports betting is here. Get in on the action now. Only at Seminole Hard Rock Hotel and Casino Tampa. Located off of I-4 near I-75. Gambling problem? Call 1-888-ADMINUTE. You call that a precision stop? When a rookie stunt driver, just give me a shot, meets the trainer who thought he'd seen it all. Come on, focus. They'll soon find out that behind the wheel of the Nissan Rogue, with the power of VC Turbo and the most fuel-efficient gas-powered engine in its class, watch this, the protege can become a master. But this is no ordinary blockbuster. It's a Nissan sales event ad. Level up your drive with 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on the 2023 Nissan Rogue. Shop the Nissan sales event. Visit your local Nissan store and NissanUSA.com today. Auto Pacific segmentation excluding hybrids and electric vehicles. 2024 APA fuel economy estimates from 28 city, 34 highway to 30 city, 37 highway for 2024 Nissan Rogue. Actual mileage may vary. For well-qualified buyers, 1.9% APR financing for 60 months on new 2023 Rogue and dealer stock. Example, 60 months financing at 1748 per month per thousand finance. Actual down payment may vary. Subject to residency restrictions and in-mat credit approval. Not all buyers qualify. Dealer contribution may affect actual price set by dealer. Contact dealer for details. And score 124. Hey, what's good, guys? This is Angel from the Monsters. You guys know I love to cook on my big green egg. Why? It's impressive and everything turns out great on the big green egg if you don't have one you got to go to washi's meat market and get a big green egg they have the lowest prices in the country they also have all the accessories everything that you need they have the classroom set up so you can teach you the basic techniques on the big green egg and advanced techniques on the big green egg as well when you get the big green egg from washi's meat market there's a lifetime guarantee so check them out it's washi's meat market check them on instagram or go to their website washi's meat market.com in melbourne on wickham road it's washi's meat market My Friends at Mills Air have been in business since 1992 right here in Central Florida. Over 30 years, they're not going anywhere. Carrier, factory authorized dealer, turn to the experts. Equipment changeouts and upgrades right now up to $1,275 in rebates. Go to millsair.com. Slam Dunk Savings going on now at Deland Nissan. Drive away for less with huge savings on over 100 Nissan models in stock. Score big with pre-owned vehicles too with new trade-ins arriving daily. It's not just a Nissan. It's a Deland Nissan Nissan. Do you need your contractor's license? In four short weekends with Camtech School of Construction, you'll be able to ace the state exam. Get legal, get licensed, get Camtech. Join us for a free info seminar tonight at 7 p.m. at the Orlando Wyndham Garden. 1-800-875-PASS. Are your energy costs through the roof? FAS Windows and Doors is now offering buy three, get one free windows on any project. This is a plain and simple deal that homeowners can receive at the time of signing. FAS also offers 24-month financing. No money down, no payments, and no interest for 24 months with this new financing option available from FAS. For a completely free in-home consultation, call FAS Windows and Doors today or visit us online at FASWD.com. That's FASWD.com. The Lombardi may have been lifted, but that doesn't mean there's no football to talk about. It's the offseason, and there's no better way to stay up to date with the latest from our league than with the Around the NFL podcast for news and fresh content all offseason long. From the start of free agency, where we'll break down familiar faces headed to new places to the next generation of superstars walking across that stage at the NFL draft. Listen to the Around the NFL podcast on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Heed the call. Presented by T-Mobile for Business. Now is the time for 5G business. Hey, this is Russ Rollins here for Life Imaging FLA. Uh, they've saved the lives of a bunch of our listeners and, and, and friends of mine. And, and, and I know that sounds a little old, overdramatic, but it is true because Life Imaging FLA, early detection of heart disease and early detection of cancer is a game changer when it comes to treatment and the outcome. So, if you know, it used to be you couldn't find out about anything about your heart disease until you had a symptom, right? And a lot of times the first symptom is, is sudden death. So that's not good. You want to find out before that. And that's why they made this so possible for you to get a, a, a heart scan now it's life imaging fla that's life imaging fla you pick up your cell phone you dial pound 250 you say the words free heart scan and there's a few minimum requirements but it's a 699 dollars value and you can have this taken care of i went and did it it takes six minutes doesn't take that long found out my heart is good i was really concerned that maybe i might have blockage in my heart i've had a lot of bad food in my time but I found out i'm good it's good to have peace of mind i have another friend of mine had blockage 
agent everywhere and had to have it taken care of. So this is a good thing to find out when you talk to him about this. Talk to him about cancer screening as well. That's an important thing to do. If you can find out you have you know a stage one cancer early, catch it early. It's a game changer. Life Imaging FLA. You'll have the option to receive a one-time auto dial text message from iHeart Media. It's Life Imaging FLA. Pick up your cell phone. Dial pound two fifty. Say the words free heart scan. We are professional grade at Orange Buick GMC. Online at orangebuickgmc.com. Hey, coming up in a little bit, I do have an answer to the uh, Jim Colbert question, the Dirty Jim question uh, about Cologne. I texted him. He texted me back. I'll tell you what he said here in a little bit. Does Dirty Jim wear Cologne? <laughs> I will uh, I will tell you what he said to me in a little bit. But we got friendly Ray Trendley here with us today. TK Law, one from ProLife.com. Question, uh, Ray. Uh, now, I know you're not a criminal attorney. You're, you're a, you know, you do you know, divorce and you do all kinds of stuff. But, I mean, th- this may come up. How often does it come up in court where there's not a law against something, there's not a rule against something? There, like, 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 we haven't caught up with uh, you know, current times with technology yet, and there's not a law against something. Uh, does that happen to you often? Oh, so the beautiful thing about criminal law is it's all based off of statutes, right? So mm-hmm. every crime has a statute that says if you don't, if you do this or if you don't do this, you're committing a crime, and these are the elements of that crime, and this is what the punishment of that crime is. So uh, the reason why a lot of lawyers, when they come out of law school and they go to public defender or the state attorney's office, is it's kind of the easiest law to practice because it's all kind of right there for you. And then it's just, you know, like, what's a touching? Like, is that a touching? Well, the law would say it was. Um, and so, you know, that's the complexity of criminal law. But uh, in in terms of your other question as far as technology not catching up to law, yeah. all the time. I yeah. mean, it, it, it has been something where part of the reason why I've forced myself to learn about technology is because uh, the judges and the other lawyers don't know it. Yeah. So I have to. So that way I can properly protect my clients. So there's a story that I'm looking at here, and it's talking about uh, pornography and uh, deep fake and, and AI-generated images uh, and files and video and sexual content. And it's, it's not, as, as, as right now, there's no federal law regulating it. And there's a story, and this is grimy and kind of gross, but I'm just curious to see what you guys think about uh, A story out now about a teacher that was passing on child porn, but... They were all AI images, not real images, not real. Mm. I know it's disgusting, right? Yeah. You think, well, it's, there should be a law against that. But there's not a law against it. So if the images are oh, that's a, a red flag, though. AI, well, it definitely red, red flag. Uh, but, their, but their defense is, hey, I, th- th- those weren't real kids. Yeah, you want to die on that hill? Is yeah. that, no, that, that, that's what I'd be curious about. If that's if this guy is trying to be cute with the law, and 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 because there's people that are out there that like to antagonize uh, the law and try to and and look for these little gray areas or these little creases in it. Whether, and, whether that's what, the case or yeah. not, uh, I mean, obviously that should be against the law. I mean, do we do we all agree? And whether it's a real image, uh, real humans or AI uh, images, that still should be. So so even before AI, right, we still had Photoshop. And so there is actually some case law on Photoshop oh. where you, like, you Photoshop like um, a child performing a sexual act or something like that. And be, again, in these cases, it was an actual child's picture that was used, that was depicted. And they said that that's child pornography. Even though the child wasn't actually performing the sexual act, you're putting a face on this other body. Um, and they said that that was a child depicting a child in this sexually... Uh, suggestive way and i don't remember exactly what the facts were if they were having sex or if it was nude but i mean that doesn't matter so much as that that counted as child pornography good it should interesting is for artificial intelligence purposes who are you suing what who are you hurting right so then that's and that's kind of you're able to like use that's the defense right how about this though is is would you rather have them looking at real children or an artificially intelligence created image 
but it, all all artificial intelligence is it, based off a large language model. So if it's cre- if it's creating AI kitty porn, it is because it has assessed a massive amount of yeah. pictures of regular kids. It's yeah. scouring so the internet. It's like a class action lawsuit. Yeah. What about this? Uh, of course, you're you're a. Uh, I think it should be illegal. Though, of course, for yeah, clarification I, purposes. Yeah. I, I think we I all agree think on that. that yeah. There's yeah. a defense to it. Like, so well, like yeah. you're a divorce attorney. Yeah. So let's say you know, a man and woman they're going to divorce. Of course, in the state of Florida, it doesn't matter if you cheated or not. But let's say some it's some somebody, man or woman or whatever, uh, photoshops or uses AI to make it look like this person's having sex to embarrass them. You know what's that called? There's a there's a term cyber stalking. S- uh, well, cyber stalking or or, or a, revenge porn. A, a, a revenge, revenge porn. Revenge oh, yeah. porn or whatever. Uh, but then their defense is, well, no, that's not real. I just created that out of AI. Is that against the law? Yeah. So that's where. So I, I kind of jumped the gun. I guess I'm sorry. Um, uh, but uh, I think that falls under our cyber stalking statute, where you use the internet to harass somebody. Um, and uh, and I think for that reason, you know, it, it could be uh, illegal. But um, you know, artificial intelligence is the wild, wild west, right? And again, you know, understanding it's not an actual child or it's not an actual person that you're doing that to now in your example i'm imagining it's made to look like the spouse right right uh, so like um uh, the taylor swift or i didn't we are we gonna go see the taylor swift thing so the taylor swift thing like like it looked like her i don't know but it, the, the, i guess it looked like her she was nude and everything but is that against the law yeah, that, at that point, sure. you're dealing with copyright infringement. You're taking her, well, her image, likeness. her likeness, and you're putting it on an, uh, on, on a, a body of So if some... they caught that person, they could arrest them, or they yeah. could just sue them? I, 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 I didn't see it, but my question is, copyright does it actually look sue. like her? I mean, because like- hey, No, it straight time, up looked like it was- That, that it, was the whole thing. It, they yeah. weren't trying to be coy about it. it you, were, you were trying to be uh, led that this was actual gotcha. uh, nude content of Taylor Swift. I, I think a very easy way to kind of look at it is if you create this AI video, then put it in real terms. Let's say you hired a shoot and you got the video and you got a woman to play Taylor Swift and then you could produce this whole thing and then you you went online and you said, this is Taylor Swift. Yeah. And the only difference is it one was created in seconds. The other way it would have been done was this whole physical form of doing it. And there's a whole legal way of stopping that, right? 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 Yeah, absolutely. So I think you just take, hey, if you create the AI version, we're going to treat you just as if you went and you hired a full crew, graphic designer, production house, because what? Just because you can do it like this? No, no, you're just as done. But there needs to be so there needs to be federal laws on this. There, uh, there, there certainly there, needs yeah. to be, you know, because again, what's the definition of a child? And you know, all these things yeah. are changing with uh, technology. People need to get hold of you for for divorce, for any kind of uh, any kind of family law or whatever. Uh, just uh, go to uh, TK Law. OneFirmForLife dot com. OneFirmForLife dot com. Yes. Uh, hey, real quick, just going back to the AI thing and, and looking up uh, with Taylor Swift, right? So there are only ten states, including California, Florida, New York, New York, and Illinois, that have current or proposed state laws prohibiting deep fake or AI generated images. Uh, Tennessee's uh, getting ready to do one as well. Um, and what in this story particularly, they were saying that in Tennessee, where she is a resident of, that state. Doesn't doesn't currently have oh, an, a, an AI law for that. So there. So in your the way that you brought this up, Russ, the the law is trying to catch up. Yes, yeah, as, as well it should yeah, for sure. Yeah. Good seeing you, Ray. Good seeing you guys. See Thank you next week. Thank you, buddy. All right. Then when we come back, well, I'll answer the question: of, Does Dirty Jim, does Jim Colbert wear cologne or not? And then Angel will bring you Monster Sports. You're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. Ooh, two for one. Real Radio is on Instagram at Real Radio 1041. Sponsored by the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the Law Offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. This is three-time Pro Bowler LeVar Arrington. Here's what's trending from the iHeart Sports Network. Presented by Staples Stores. UCF's basketball season comes to an end. They were eliminated by South Florida in the first round of the NIT. In the NBA, the Magic stayed hot. They led 67-32 to at the half and went on to crush the Hornets. Magic now 9-2 in their last 11 games. Spring training baseball, the Marlins played split squad games yesterday. They lost to St. Louis and tied Houston, while the Rays lost to Boston. I'm Matt McCoy. Staples Print Big Sale means the more you print, the more you save. Get $20 off your print purchase of 100 or more, 50 off your print purchase of 200 or more, and 100 off your print purchase of 300 or more. Offer ends 4-6. See staples.com slash print for details. Print more, save more at Staples.
Hey, those of you that support the show, love the show, we appreciate it so much. And one of the best ways you can do that is when you're thinking about, let's say you're thinking about buying a car, go buy and at least give Carl Black, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC a chance. Look at the cars they have on the lot. They've got all, I mean, every every type of car you'd ever want because they do have, you know, pre-owned vehicles. But if you're looking for a Chevy, a, you know, Buick, uh, you know, GMC, man, they got a load of them at Carl Black, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. Hundreds of models, 2023 and 2024 models available on the lot right now at Carl Black, Chevrolet, Buick, and GMC. I usually talk about the Chevys because I drive a Chevy and that's what I love, but they've got Got, you know the GMC vehicles. They've got you know uh, they, they've got the Buicks. My mom bought a Buick from Carl Black. Absolutely loves it. It's Carl Black Chevrolet Buick and GMC. If you're looking for an affordable Malibu sedan, they got them. They got the legendary Camaro, every color you'd ever want. And if you're looking for a truck, they got all shapes and sizes of the Silverado 1500 and the 2500 heavy duty models. Carl Black Chevrolet Buick and GMC. I drive a Chevy Blazer. Absolutely love the Chevy Blazer. And uh, also, uh, if you need something bigger they got the tahoe chevrolet together let's drive to carl black chevrolet buick and gmc here at massey we've seen the damage termites can cause that's why we've protected homes from termite damage for almost 100 years our termite protection program doesn't just protect your home from termites it gives you peace of mind that's why our termite protection guarantee covers your home and all the things in it when we protect against termites we protect families Schedule your free inspection today at MasseyServices.com. Massey Services. Expect more and get it. If you ask anyone who's experienced LASIK, they will tell you it's the best thing they've ever done. And more often than not, they'll add, I should have done it sooner. So what are you waiting for? The Filatowski Eye Institute is offering free LASIK consultations. Just text 1041 to 868686 and start your journey to better vision with the Filatowski Eye Institute. They've performed over 65,000 LASIK procedures using the latest state-of-the-art technology. If finances are a concern, they offer 24-month interest-free financing. Text 1041 to 868686 to schedule your free LASIK consultation at the Filatowski Eye Institute. Hey, Orlando, are you looking for new ways to save? Well, on Verizon, you don't need to be on a family plan to get our best deals. Switch to Verizon, and for a limited time, plans start at just $50 per month for a single line with auto pay plus taxes and fees when you bring your own phone with unlimited welcome. That's a savings of $15 per month. And when you switch now, you can save on the things you love to stream, like Netflix and Max. There's never been a better time to switch to the network America relies on. A better plan to save is Verizon. This offer won't last long. Visit your local Verizon store to switch and save big today. $180 BYOD promo credit per phone applied over 36 months for new customers with one new line with your own 4G or 5G smartphone on unlimited welcome plan required. $360 local promo credit applied over 36 months for new customers with one new line. Additional terms apply in select markets only. Auto pay and paper-free billing required. For unlimited welcome plan in times of congestion, unlimited 5G and 4G LTE may be temporarily slower than other traffic. Domestic data roaming at 2G speeds. A real crew capsule. A next-generation space plane. A rocket booster that landed itself. Where will they inspire you to go? Mars? The rings of Saturn? New worlds, light years beyond. Choose your breathtaking journey into the future of space travel at Gateway, the Deep Space Launch Complex, featuring Spaceport KSC, where real space meets real thrills. Only at Kennedy Space Center Visitor Complex. Visit KennedySpaceCenter.com for tickets. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free, explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit. 800-522-5700. 800-522-5700. Get ready for a major iHeartRadio Music Awards announcement. Be here tomorrow morning at 9 a.m. Eastern, 6 Pacific. 
Regulated activities performed by a licensed affiliate. I had no idea I could sell my life insurance policy. Norman and Nancy Duggan for Coventry Direct. We were about to let Norman's policy lapse because premiums have become expensive. Our kids are doing well on their own, so we just don't need it anymore. Then Nancy called Coventry. They were so helpful, answering all of our questions. If you're over 65 and have $100,000 or more of life insurance, you may qualify. After this past year, we're celebrating life. We've booked some long overdue travel and we're able to pay for our grandkids' college. Coventry Direct has helped thousands live the life they want to live, pay for unplanned medical expenses, or supplement retirement income. When it comes to selling your life insurance, Coventry has you covered. Call 1-800-607-9400 or visit CoventryDirect.com to learn more about how you can get cash by selling your life insurance. Call 800-607-9400. Divorce? Call Trinley and Kramer. TK Law. OneFirmForLife.com. All right, earlier we, uh, we were talking about cologne, and all of us are cologne. You know, we wear cologne. Uh, men, like, the, you know, they're, they're concerned about the way they smell. And, and, it's and, even more insane than that. Uh, Russ had the nerve to ask the two Latinos on his show <laughs> if they wore cologne or if they used cologne or if they were fans of cologne. Well, that was for discussion, uh, Case. I knew the answer. Uh, but uh, but and, and I do, too. Like, I'm a cologne guy. And, and then we were all talking. I said, well, I know someone who doesn't wear cologne at all. And, and, uh, and then uh, we, the discussion came up, and I'm like, you know, I, I call him Dirty Jim, just out of habit. It's Jim Colbert, you know, on the Jim Colbert show. Uh, I, I've known him as Dirty Jim for 30 years. Uh, but anyway, uh, so I was like, Jimmy, uh, he doesn't wear cologne at all. And then Angel said, I'll bet you you're wrong. And I'm like, I'll bet you I'm right. And then Carlos is like, well, you ain't talked to him in years. You don't know him anymore. I'm like, oh, okay, you might be right about that. I don't know. So I said, well, you know what I'm going to do? I'm going to text Dirty Jim. So uh, I, I text him and I said, hey, man. Do you wear cologne these days? And he says, probably three times a year max. I have one bottle I've had for 10 years. So, no, I don't wear it. <laughs> so, there I was right. Boom. He just said th- about three times a year he does. No, no, no. That's a no. He doesn't. He's got the one bottle. The for first di- sentence you said was that three times a year I wear cologne. Well, does, it, 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 he doesn't wear cologne. Well, I mean, that was the same that was, again, for 10 years. The question was, if it wasn't if he wears cologne daily. We said, does True. he wear cologne? That's he a wears, technicality. No, it isn't a technicality. He doesn't wear cologne. And he's gotten all the cologne that he has, he's gotten it as gifts. So there, he has cologne. He wears it three times a year. <laughs> he does not. He does not wear he cologne. Does, no, no, no. This, if we're talking semantics, and I'm always up for some antics, you, uh, he, what he says is, I only wear it three times a, uh, a year, as opposed to us three gentlemen who wear it daily. I haven't purchased a bottle for myself in decades. That's a no. You started the sentence off, Russ. I could play it for you. He wears it three times a year. You said that. Now it's time for Monster Sports. <laughs> Monster Sports brought to you by Suncoast Credit Union. If you're getting yourself a good uh, tax return, or you got a couple dollars saved up, man, Suncoast has come to Orange County. We've got three locations here, and they can help you start earning your money uh, to earn, uh, grow your money by earning up to 5% APY on a regular 12-month certificate or 5.25 APY on a jumbo certificate from our friends at Suncoast Credit Union. I've been a uh, customer of theirs for quite some time now. They help me finance my uh, current vehicle, and it's been a great experience with them, and they have all these other financial instruments to help you you save your money uh earn earn better interest uh, save on fees and we got three central florida locations now south samron boulevard south orange blossom and the loop in Kissimmee. or just go to the website suncoastcreditunion.com to learn more uh, all the lobbies they have uh you know spanish speaking uh, uh tellers there as well to help you with that and Hola, uh, angel <clears throat> And they want, and they're also very uh, internet savvy. They got a YouTube page channel uh, with all the tips and, and uh, uh, you know tools to lear- help you learn how to save your money, use your money, helping you with that language, that financial language that we were talking about er- earlier, where you might not be confident in it. Well, you can g- now use them as a resource and get, get some tips, some knowledge, and do that and visit the, the website SuncoastCreditUnion.com. Remember, Suncoast, you always get more love and less fees. If you kiss a man three times a year, are you gay? <laughs> I would say no. You're just interested. <laughs> hmm. 
four what, times what, super gay. What, what, what kind of kiss are we talking about? I guess if it is a progressively more passionate kiss, yeah. then you're probably leaning into yeah, it. But yeah, if yeah. it's just like every time you're like, hey, what's up? And a little well, pop? That's different than oh, cologne. Hey, what's up, hey, bro? If, you wear, like, if you only wear cologne three times a year, you don't wear cologne. That. Your sentence is starting with if you, if you only man. wear th- cologne three times, well, then you are wearing cologne. You're not a daily user. You have worn cologne, but you don't wear cologne. He actively says he wears cologne three times he's, a year. He said maybe three times a year, but no, I've had the same bottle for 10 years. I don't buy he it. He still wears cologne. That's a no. Yeah. I'm always up for But if you kiss antics. a man three times a year, you're. No, you're not. You're. No, yeah, 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 yeah. Kiss a guy on the cheek. Yeah. Okay. Anyway. Major League Baseball started today. <laughs> I, I, most of the this morning, uh, Russ, while you guys were uh, talking about your insecurities, I was watching Major League Baseball on television. Uh, we've had two. We got a, The season started today, technically, um, with two games in South, uh, in South Korea. And it was the Los Angeles Dodgers versus the Padres. Mm-hmm. Dodgers won uh, today at uh, this um, – this morning's game, it's weird to say that. This morning's game, at, uh, five to two over the Padres. Shotani got his first RBI nice. as a Dodger. Carlos, I also want you to do yourself a favor. Yes. Check this out. Do uh, because uh, uh, show show is sponsored by New Balance. Oh yeah. Look up the new logo for the show a uh, product line that they're going to do, and I think they I think they knocked it out of the park. Oh, I will buy me some Otani gloves. And hats. New and Balance gear. right now is having a resurgence. I've always thought of them as, uh, you know, uh, pop pop uh, gear, but uh, they've uh, they've really uh, stepped up. Kawhi, uh, Kawhi, you got, yeah. got Shoei. You uh, said pop pop gear. Pop pop, yeah. I like it, and Shoei's like, com- like like mall shoes. Uh, you always see him at the mall, the, the white on whites. Uh-huh. His commercials, are, you know, he's like it's very understated. You know, like a lot of athletes. Wait till you so, see this logo, Los. And, and he's like, New Balance. It's all about the balance. You know, very, very understated. I love me some show heat. So they, uh, yeah, so New Balance uh, unveiled the, the new logo for his um, his his brand, uh, his line that is going to be through New Balance. And I thought, I, 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 I'm, I'm a fan of it, of the of the logo, so I'm curious how, how the, you know, what products they introduced there. But uh, again, check, go ahead. Oh, that is dope. Isn't it's, it? It's, yeah, it's like a little uh, Ken, Gr- Ken Griffey-esque. There's a little bit of that. There's the, sil- the Michael Jordan silhouette kind of. Right. I kind of yeah. like that yeah. it's not him. Oh, that is that's so Japanese, right? Like there's like a <laughs> there's like a cool Cold vibe. culture, yeah. Yeah, like that. Uh, Russ, Show you. we had the first four last night, uh, men's NCAA tournament. We um, so uh, Virginia. Uh, what was it? Virginia lost, and I think Wagner won. So the, those were the first couple teams. Yeah, Wagner held off Howard seventy-one to sixty-eight to set up a date with number one UNC, and Colorado State blew out Virginia sixty-seven to forty-two. And for for their victories, uh, yeah, Wagner plays UNC. Wagner Russ is a small cause. They only got seven players on the team. They only got seven players what? on the yeah. It, it was Man, the end oh, of that game was sad. yeah it was tough but congratulations to them uh, hey, for hey, able to get there talking about college basketball yes, I'm curious sir. what you both think about this Shaquille O'Neal uh, they did an interview with him and he's talked and he says that that he's this year only going to watch women's college basketball he just thinks it's a better game that uh, they're more competitive <laughs> and it, he he enjoys watching women's college basketball more than the men's what, what's your thoughts if, on if that if you've been following the the women's college basketball season uh, there is there is a very compelling argument. To to be made with the storylines with Caitlin Clark. Uh, there's more uh, female basketball stars this year that we're familiar with as far as their names. If you if you've been following, um, and there is definitely a um, I, I would say a heightened awareness. So I, I think it could be. I think this could be one of those years where yeah, watershed this could, moment. Yeah, a yeah. benchmark moment where yeah. It was an article he did with People Magazine. He said that he enjoys the, uh, the, the the women's basketball better. I think this year they've captured the spotlight, <laughs> the highlights, yeah, with yeah, not yeah, only yeah. just Caitlin, but everything at LSU. Shaq's daughter's going to LSU as well. Oh, okay. Um, I think he's carrying the to- torch for Kobe, who wanted women's basketball to be yeah. on the same platform. There's a young lady right. out of USC, and- Juju. She's she's a baller. There's a there's a lot of uh young ladies that are just straight up hoopers. Yeah. And if you're a fan of basketball, 
you're going to be a fan of their games. Yeah, and he's even said, he's like, I don't know anybody in college right now. I don't know any, I haven't followed anybody, but I could tell you about five <laughs> different girls right now I'm following in the women's game. And Charles Barkley agreed, and it's great. It didn't happen because it was forced. Yeah. It didn't happen because every single marketing thing had to say you had to go. No, because the, the action and the play is so good. Interesting developments coming out of uh, the ACC, ACC rush. Now, the ACC is the conference that Florida State plays in. Right. And so they're, the rumor is, or the talk has been, that they, uh, the Florida State is interested in leaving that conference for a more lucrative situation. And Where would they go? Uh, there's a bunch of suitors for that team, for that program. Okay, sure. Uh, um, a bunch of different conferences. But what's interesting now is that Clemson, again, another ACC perennial powerhouse, has uh, gone ahead and joined Florida State in filing a lawsuit against the the ACC uh, over the exiting fees to, to leave the conference. Now, if you, those two schools leave that conference, that's going to leave that conf- conference in a very weakened position. Now, that, to is, the that, point. is this all because the, uh, last year they, they they feel like they should have been in the national championship game and they didn't get, you know... Uh, no, no, no. This is Has pure. No, no, not directly. I'm, I'm sure there's emotions or whatever. But the bigger part of this is the fact that um, they feel that uh, there's they're leaving money on the table. You know, there, there's there's an opportunity for them to uh, be in a more secure situation where that they can obviously, you know, make the the national championship games or be, or be in that conversation. But also with NIL and, and everything going on there, there's an opportunity to, uh, you know, op- make more money. Gotcha. And uh, that's, uh, you know, that's what the college game has turned into is, uh, is about making more money. Uh, just the tip of the cap, 51 years ago today, Roberto Clemente was elected to the Hall of Fame in a special vote held just three m- months after his tragic and sudden death at the age of 38 years old. Uh, Roberto Clemente was uh, died in a plane crash while delivering aid to earthquake victims in Nicaragua. Nicaragua sorry, And uh, again, it's one of the coolest moments for me is uh, going to uh, college in Pittsburgh and uh, going there and seeing the Roberto Clemente uh, statue and how much he still is revered there in Pittsburgh. Uh, you know, it's pretty awesome. Um, where are we at? Orlando Magic last night, man. And Russ, you, you want these kind of wins throughout the season. And the Orlando Magic are currently on, again, well, Carlos and I have been talking about it, uh, like taking care of business, not leaving, you know, uh, p- putting your foot on the neck of the teams that sh- have no business uh, being, uh, you know, thinking that they can hang around with you. And so taking care of uh, this game. So there was a point last night uh, versus the Charlotte Hornets where they were up like 30 by uh, 20 something points, 22 points at one point. But there was a signature play and I was sharing it with uh, Los where, uh, where Paolo, they get a steal. Paolo's bringing the—he's our point forward on a, a lot of times, and he g- goes to make a move towards the basket. The guy bites, and then he throws a, a behind-the-back pass to the guy in the corner. Jalen sucks. Yeah, Jalen in the corner hits the shot. The st- Look away. Yeah, he, yeah. It was, so it was really, really cool, and it's neat when like a um, play like that. Los, like ESPN picked up on it last night. All the basketball outlets picked up on that highlight. They were using it to talk about the Magic. So the current the Magic are currently you know uh, four four. Game winning streak, and uh, our next game is going to be versus the Pelicans tomorrow, uh, 7 p.m. And then again next week we got you know a couple of really challenging ones versus the Kings and the Warriors. So they're, they're not only looking good, they're uh, they're they're stepping up when they need to, huh? Yeah. With this, without a doubt, this is one of the best teams the Magic have ever had. They are playing. Paulo is acting like he's an eight-year veteran. He's been in the Eastern Conference Finals two times. He's, uh, he's real, got on with MVP. It's his second year, guys. And he's leading this team with such confidence. He looks like Carmelo Anthony out there at times, the way he moves yeah. his butt. The dude is just truly the franchise player that we needed, not to mention Franz and all these other great Jalen. We got a team that nobody wants to see in the playoffs, who would we line up with right now, or after it all shuffles uh, out? Because well, we're at four right now. Yeah. Think about that. Yeah. The Orlando Magic are fourth in the Eastern Conference right now, with the highest ratio where the Vegas betters thought they would be. Right. They thought they wouldn't even make the playoffs. Ha ha. What do you know? We knew. I said championship from the beginning. 
Hey, another uh, monster sports story I want to know. If, so if, as of March, okay, so Lois, real quick, I'm sorry, Russ, just to get this right, because mm-hmm. if not, the Texans are going to blow us up. All right, in the Eastern Conference, they uh, the statings are as follows, uh, Carlos. Celtics, Bucks, Cavaliers, Knicks at four, Orlando Magic at five. Yeah, it's like one or the other. Uh, so, but Yeah, so then, then game, we would be playing, well, I guess it depends also on the... Uh, Wild card, yeah, and all that stuff, but and the that, playing games and everything. And, and we could bump up to four, I bet, if the Knicks lose, and and so it's really there's not an easy out. Um, I don't want to play boss, even though we played well against Boston. Though. We've done well against Boston, Boston this and season, we, and we wouldn't shuffle it right now the way it's at. No. We, we wouldn't be hitting them. So yes, Russ, I'm, uh, so, I'm sorry about that. That's okay. No, did you see the story? Uh, Travis Kelsey is going to reboot a show uh, on Amazon Prime, and I'm curious huh. what you guys think about this. Uh, so you uh, you think you're smarter than a fifth grader? Travis Kelsey is going to be the host of that. I mean, now he's taking it to an, and, you know he, he was hosting the podcast thing, but now taking it to another level of getting into to entertainment. Oh gosh, Taylor, and he loves kids too. When are you getting <laughs> married? We need the wedding already. I want Taylor Kelsey. I want Taylor Swift, Kelsey Swift, Smith, whatever it's going to be. If they split up, does all this go away? No, nah, no, dude had a lot of this stuff. No, before. he had a lot of momentum going yeah. already. He had okay. a lot of the endorsements and everything. Yeah. So uh, he's not there because of her. He's only it well, really. Well, no, he's not there because of her. But he's getting he he's helped catapult extra Absolutely. attention, catapult him. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And I, th- I think something like this, like hosting, uh, you're smarter than a fifth grader. That was started by uh, with Jeff, Jeff Foxworthy, Fo- right? Yep, yep. Oh, was it Foxworthy? Yeah, or was it was Foxworthy. It? Yeah, yeah, yeah. I would say this also is like if you've watched the show and you've watched their podcast, like both those guys, they're going to uh, uh, there's other doors in broadcasting that are going to open for them because they're just so personable. You know, like I, I imagine I can't imagine Jason Kelsey not being added to somebody's broadcast this upcoming Come season. On. And maybe and maybe he starts off local and just on a Philadelphia affiliate just to start off with to, to get the, his chops going. Maybe. <laughs> get but, out of yeah, here. But He's going to be the biggest checks are going to be waiting for him. <laughs> Who wants CBS, Fox, your own show? You, you know, like a guy like that. Man. Yeah. So I, 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 I'm looking forward to seeing him um, uh, take that next step. It'll be very, very interesting. Uh, some other little tidbits for as far as men's uh, double A uh, tournament. Um, Kansas leading scorer Kevin McCule. Kill, uh, McCuller Jr. He's going to be out for the tournament. Right. So if that affected your your picking of Kansas in that first round, uh, Kansas looks susceptible to be uh, upset in that Hold first on. round game. Hold on, first round. Uh, let's see, Kansas. Where where to have them? Let's see, do I have them down? Yeah. I think I did. Did I pick them? Who'd you take over? Yeah, I was, that's why I was giving you the heads up. Who'd you take over uh, Kansas? Uh, who, who who are they playing? I, I don't, man, I don't have the bracket in front of me, man. The, the bracket is b- so big. Oh yeah. Is it a really big bracket? Kansas. <laughs> I don't see that I took them. No. I don't think I picked Kansas. All right. Well, then there you go. Then I'm good. There you are. I'm, and that's uh, Monster Sports, right? Yeah. I got uh, Stetson and uh, Gonzaga uh, in the finals. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> championship. Yeah, chances are mine and my bracket. Can you imagine if my bracket's right? No. No. Yeah. So the Stetson game is Friday night. It's Stetson, UConn. That's a big one, right? Yeah. It, yeah. It, 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 it'll be on television, won't it? So number 17, Kansas, is, is up against Samford, S-A-M-F-O-R-D, in the first round of the tournament. That would be, even with them being uh, number 17, ranked 17th in the nation, that would be a huge upset. We'll see how, we'll see how uh, they do. And yeah, then you I, t- right. I, t- I took Samford. Did you really? <laughs> yeah, just because it sounds like Sanford. Oh, you're a nut. <laughs> I know. Insane. So, um, yeah, so this Friday, uh, Stetson goes up against UConn. Yeah. And uh, I think, you know, it's. Gonna, I hope our guys, uh, you know, have a good uh, shot at this. I was watching it. Uh, they were, had a news story about it yesterday, and they're showing, showing them working out. And, and it, you know, a lot of times I'm just uh, amazed at how young they look. They're like, they, they're kids. I mean, oh, yeah. They, I mean, they're, they're, I mean, they're <laughs> kids. You know? kids. Yeah. They're, they are kids. You see them on TV, and you're like, oh, they look a little bit dark. Now get up and close, see them. You're like, oh, they're kids. They're kids. Yeah, yeah. yeah. So, uh, and that's a lot of pressure. Uh, they interviewed one of the guys, and they're like, you know, wait, this is the biggest state. It really is the, the biggest stage, you know, to go against the number one. That they won last year. UConn won yeah. the entire thing last year. So, this is a, it's a big test for him. So, uh, you know, I'm pulling for him. I think it'll be uh, it'll Hey, be man, awesome. the fact that they won their conference. And, yeah, I think Los, uh, hint, um, uh, you pointed this out yesterday. The fact that they won their conference and uh, they get to go continue to play, they're already winners. You yeah. know what I mean? All right. Yeah. All right. Uh, don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Monster of the Morning. It's like a 
text message with your voice. The talkback feature on the free iHeartRadio app. Follow Real Radio 104.1, tap the microphone, and speak. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. Eastbound I-4 is pretty slow from U.S. 27 past State Road 429 and a little heavy between Osceola Parkway and State Road 535. Still have a crash with hazmat activity with two right lanes blocked eastbound on East New York Avenue, State Road 44, just past to I-4. And there was a wreck on westbound Weatherby Road at Landstar Boulevard. See traffic problems? Call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm Daisy Ash. This report is sponsored by Smoky Bones. At Smoky Bones, we say, let's dig in. Come sink your teeth into house smoked irresistible perfection. Like our Bones Bar Bites menu, with wings, burgers, and more starting at just $5. Smoky Bones, meat is what we do. Dine in only at the bar. Looking to make the most money on the sale of your vehicle? Give me the VIN.com buys all makes, all models. Trucks, Rolls Royce, Cadillacs, BMWs, lifted Jeeps, Escalates, vets, they buy them all at gimmethevin.com. They offer a 60 second bid process, pressure free service, and free pickup. Just click on gimmethevin.com, get your check on the spot. Sell us your car. Gimmethevin.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. Hard Rock Bet presents Legal in Florida. You can bet the game on Hard Rock Bet. No more betting inside your head. A no regret first bet up to $100 when you sign up now. Offered by the Seminole Tribe of Florida. Must be 21 and over and physically present in Florida to wager. Terms and conditions apply. Concerned about gambling? Please call 1 888 admit it. If you're the victim of a car crash, never rush to settle with the insurance companies and never settle for just any attorney. Demand Anna Jarn Levine. Call 1 800 747 free for a free consultation and take back control of your life. In Office Orlando. Tax time means a much-needed cash bonus for many people. But for business owners, it can mean the opposite. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill, Mitsubishi in Deland. My accountant said I need to reduce my tax burden now. So I'm going to overpay for your old car because I'd rather give you the money than the government. Get up to $4,297 more for your old car than it's actually worth. No matter where you bought the car, no matter how many miles are on it. It's simple. Trade in your old car you hate driving and get a new car today like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. That that means most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. RC Hill Mitsubishi specializes in approving customers with below average credit scores. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. This month, my prices will not be beat. This sale ends when my accountant says enough is enough. I'm RC Hill at RC Hill Mitsubishi, Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and now in Ocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. That's rchill.com. Credit requires bank approval. See rchill.com for details. You know you should clean your carpet and tile, but did you know there's a right way to clean? Russ Rollins here for Zero Res, and they have figured it out with their patented process that leaves zero sticky, soapy chemical residue behind. They bring their own special ZR water because it cleans better, and it dries faster, and it's safer for kids and pets. So, no hooking up to your water. Mention my name, and you get 20% off your tile and grout cleaning. And carpet cleaning is only $49 per room. Go online to OrlandoZeroRes.com. That's Zero Res, spelled forwards or backwards. It's the right way to clean. Did you know your life insurance is an asset you can sell? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. For almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. And at abacuspays.com, we've created a free policy value calculator so you can find out the worth of your policy in just seconds. There are no fees and no obligations. Get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Learn more at abacuspays.com. Want to win a free motorcycle? I'm Orlando attorney Mo DeWitt, and I'm giving away a free motorcycle valued up to $20,000. All you have to do is go to bikerswinorlando.com. That's bikerswinorlando.com. Enter today at bikerswinorlando.com. Sneezing, coughing, a stuffy nose, runny nose, post-nasal drip, interrupted sleeping. I just I was groggy at the end of the day. Allergies and sinus congestion were making Jana miserable. 
Then, a friend recommended Navaj. Navaj provides immediate drug-free congestion relief, flushing your nasal passages with refreshing saline and sucking out mucus germs and other airborne irritants. Navaj helps you breathe easier, sleep better, and feel your best right away. Navaj gave me instant relief. I didn't have to wait 30 minutes. I didn't have to wait an hour, 90 minutes. I didn't have to wait. I didn't have to wait a minute. I just, I ran the rinse and I felt immediately I felt better. Stop suffering from congestion and start breathing and feeling your best again with Navaj. N-A-V-A-G-E. I've had people ask me how I find relief, and I tell them Navaj immediately. This thing is amazing. Navaj is available at Navaj.com or at Walmart, Walgreens, CVS, and Rite Aid. Embark on a journey through the most absurd moments of the human story with Ridiculous History, the podcast that explores the bizarre corners of human existence, like the evolution of the toilet, the story of Comic Sans, or the exploits of the notorious Aaron Burr. Aaron Burr is like, one day, my life is going to be part of a musical. However, though, he probably didn't necessarily at this point think that he was going to be the villain. Listen to Ridiculous History on the iHeartRadio app or wherever you get your podcasts. Do you have AC needs? Turn to the experts at Carrier. Go to millsair.com. Broadcasting live from the injury law firm of Kaufman and Lind Studios. Why Kaufman and Lind? Find out at whenyouneedus.com or dial pound 546 on your cell phone. This is WTKS FM HD1 Cocoa Beach Orlando. Listen on your free iHeartRadio app for all your music, radio, and podcasts. Radio. 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 Okay, so a, a lot of times it's easy to go, I would never do that. That's something I would never do. But <laughs> be honest with yourself, Carlos. <laughs> and, and Angel, uh, I think I know you. Uh, I think you, uh, there might have been a point you'd have done this. Hold on, i got to find it again. Where did that slap thing go? Uh, the uh, um, slap shots. I sent that to you. Did you see it earlier, uh, Angel? Yes, I did watch this. Uh, okay, all right. So Spring Breakers are paying $30.00. Uh, and to get a slap shot. Now, uh, have you seen this, Carlos? No, I haven't. Okay, so let me show you this. So, and when I heard it, I'm like, that was dumb. I would never do that. And then as I watched it, I'm like, oh, yeah, maybe I would have at a particular point. All right, so this is what this is what they're doing. I'll see if I can pull it up here. So basically, you get a, a really hot girl, okay, and she puts the shot in her mouth. And then she puts it in the dude's mouth. She throws water in his face and slaps him. <laughs> that girl has made... Now, and I look, I, I, I automatically said, oh, I would never do that, right? But there might have been a time I might have been drunk enough to, to do it. How much money do you think this bartender has made uh, during spring break uh, in Florida uh, doing a hurricane slap shot? So basically, Oof. just so you know, she's good looking. She's got a bikini on. She puts the shot in her mouth like it's a, a t- like a, t- a test tube thing. And then, and then a shooter. He, he, a shooter. He puts his hands behind his back. She bends over and lets him take the shot. And then she takes a, a pitcher of water, throws it in his face, and then slaps the hell out of him. All his friends go crazy, right? <laughs> How much money do you think she has made so far uh, selling these slap shots? My God, thousands. I mean, that's perfect for spring break. So probably five thousand dollars. Five thousand dollars. Have you seen the story, Angel? I, I have not. How much money that she's made? Uh, uh, ten thousand. Six thousand dollars she's made doing this. She yeah. came up with this idea. That's and, about right. And uh, uh, but that's when you're. That's when you're young. You're just kind of dumb. <laughs> you don't care. And I was really, really dumb. I was. And I you don't did think plenty you of dumb it? stuff, and I've uh, never been that. I've, I've, yeah, me neither. I I, that's know. never been my thing. I never did the shot girl with the thing, yeah. getting the thing, or anything like that. No, I did a lot all, of stupid, way other stupid things, but that one I would have never. It let. just seemed like to get in the way. It seemed like it got in the way of just what it, what I wanted to do was just have drinks and ha- hang out with my friends. Well, I, here's the, I probably wouldn't have liked getting water thrown in my face, but it's an entire pitcher of cold water. Isn't this like a take of what they do at Carlos and Charlie's anyway? Yeah, yeah, that's another kind of the yeah. was one of those, but that's like, and then you add in the bro morning routine, you know, with the with the, yeah. the cold water in the face, like, are you, can you take a slap shot? I was like, 
Hell yeah, I can. <laughs> I know, kids these days, they're, they're it's a different it, kind of fun. It's the thing this you year. You would have done it, Russ. I don't know. You would, you, you've you known would, me for a long time. There's no doubt. The second I saw that hot girl at Mako's yeah. doing this, you right. would have stood in like, what kind of water is it? Well, it's a Mako water. <laughs> Come on. Me and Bo. Yeah. Yeah, out of the fishbowl, and there you are. But instead of, yeah. Yeah, you're probably would it back in the day i look at it now and go that looks stupid but i'm not saying <laughs> i haven't done stupid things in my life again and just scrolling through all the pictures just look it's super super young people doing this yeah if you go to uh yeah. maybe i did go to the instagram to see it <laughs> uh i mean like it's just a lot guys lined up to have her throw water in their face and slap them <laughs> She is the queen. She is. She's making. Uh, I mean, hand over fist uh, um, from uh, from spring break dudes. A lot of spring break dudes do dumb stuff to get close to girls. Yeah. Oh, she's showing her hand. How her hand is bruised because she did so, so many slap shots. There it is, right here. Hold on. Damn. Oh, hold on. I gotta get to come up. Log in. I'm trying to see uh, I log in. what it costs to. Uh, yeah, how much to, is it? To get it, it's thirty bucks. No, the shot is, but you have to book her. Oh no! Wait, see, I don't know if you see it right there, Carlos, but she's she's bruised her hand oh, from yeah. slapping so many. T- That's dumb- a hell yeah. So basically, women would never do this. This is dumb guy stuff, right? Uh, yeah, I mean, there's the slap league. You know, the fact that Dana White gets up in the morning, puts on his pants, and actually has a league that he called the slap oh, league. Oh, right. And it's a, and he really takes it serious. Yeah. And it's these, you know, mechanics, landscaper, plumber trucker zero training yeah zero nothing and just smashing faces just got and, pork chop hands and, and just <laughs> and taking it like all right we'll see if he will be able to sustain it their faces are falling off i am a degenerate fight lover <laughs> yeah, right? yeah yeah this is the quick hit the the trank the meth of fighting this is the the worst of the worst and the one of the biggest promoters in the world of fighting is in charge of it it's really weird it is it is weird oh, i mean Russ, I, clarification she's making so i guess apparently everyone's seen the story yeah she's making 6k a day a day yeah oh. so if, so so if she's uh, she's six thousand dollars a day yeah, oh, you're so right. she's on pace to make two hundred and forty thousand dollars so the second one of the bros sues her and she loses all that money because she dro- he hit the ground at the, some festival how many things do dumb guys do though all of them. Uh, we do all because because i when we brought up mako it's like if you remember the gimmick at mako's and i'm the guilty as charged I, mean, I, I married one of them <laughs> uh you'd go you'd go to mako's and basically they had a swing there right and and you'd sit on the swing and the girl the fact that you thought i wonder if i do this or not and then the next Los, statement a, is i married the makos swing Los, Los makes a strong strong argument here strong uh, argument I, I never said i wouldn't do it i, mean, I just asked you the question do you on. think i would have no. uh, the my... guy getting slapped just woke up and said you married her <laughs> <laughs> exactly. He's embarrassed. He's embarrassed. I just got I smacked. He's like, man, wait, you, 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 you paid 50 bucks to swing and then you married her? You are a moron. That guy's telling me I'm a moron. <laughs> and on he's sh- right. <laughs> he got that shine in long enough. Go, hey, please didn't marry her. What else was Mako's? didn't marry her. Yeah, well, what else was the Mako's gimmick? They had that ridiculous truck. Yeah, okay, they you, had the swing girl. Was you, that the place you, they would also do that with the, the air thing with the, the napkins? You would sit on the swing. Yes. And then right? they. And uh, then, they, they would, they would uh, 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 over you, like you know. They put one foot on side, one foot, on, and they'd basically swing you. Oh no, I get it. And, and then, yeah. and you tip them. I know. I, I was trying to remember. And, and, the, they, and they give you a shot while you're while you're swinging. Swing, yeah, I was trying to remember what else was the reason to go there because it wasn't that, an incredibly good club. It was an entertaining. You know, the, the guys wore skirts and they would like. They were wear the, the kilts, right? Yeah. They wear the kilts, and then I think they did do the thing with the napkins. I thought there was a time they came out and. All the napkins went out. Yeah, that was had... Zuma Beach. Oh, remember Zuma? Oh, maybe it was a bunch yeah. of nightclubs. <laughs> yeah, they did. The whole napkin tick definitely wasn't copywritten. Yeah, uh, but it's usually guys that do dumb things. You don't hear about women doing dumb stuff like this. No, they it, do. They do it too. They're just better at keeping it under wraps. Oh, they're not as dumb. because yeah. I was doing it in the front window. <laughs> it was the front. That window. was the other gimmick. Yeah, <laughs> there was that huge giant window. So uh-huh. everybody oh. saw you doing the swing dance. Yeah. Uh, at, at Mako's.
Another cool. one got on the show. I mean, uh, that's where we got Tiffany. I mean, you wanted uh, to get a job in entertainment and marriage. <laughs> Come work at Mako's. Go work at Mako's. Oh, that was uh, that place was popular for a while. Yeah, I went by there the other day, man. Couldn't even recognize any of the places. Mm-mm. I mean, I mean, it's been a while obviously since Mako's, but like it was an uh, Irish place, I think. Yeah, now? it's an Irish pub. Uh, there's is Latitudes Crest. even there still. Latitudes is still there. Um, that that building with because uh, once it's got the frozen drinks, that one's not there anymore. And there's an arcade, and then uh, it's called something else. But, yeah, because I don't even think they have. I was, I was just like I went to Crest, and I was walking by like, oh man, I don't recognize uh, any of these places. Anyway, if you're if, if, let's say you're a female and you're sitting judging the stupid get things guys do, I mean the Mako's thing is one. Uh, this slap shot thing. Another probably you would say going to uh, uh, going to the club that used to uh, the Roxy and getting in the ring and getting knocked out in front of everybody. That's another dumb thing guys do. Yeah, but women did that like crazy. Yeah, yeah, they would have. You done had it girls all. in that. Yeah, yeah. You, did, you had women contestants and, in that, and they were generally the craziest ones of the night. Yeah. So that one because it had con- they had uh, rules, but it's it sort was- of a bro thing. It yeah, was sort oh, of yeah. a bro uh, thing. Uh, but but yeah, you, but it had some rules and it was a ring and kind of so I understand why at least it was a little different. How about the mechanical bull? Is that another kind of a bro thing? You're at a bar. Well, that's before me. The mechanical bull. Yeah. Well, you don't go to a lot of country uh, places. No, but no, they- no. I'm saying like there was once a time where that was crazy popular, right? Yeah. Where dudes like that was their weekend. They're going up there and they're going to get a mechanical bull and everything. And they're going to go to Gillies and get after it and all that. Yeah, I, I didn't live live in that era. Another good example though of a dumb thing guys do, you know. Yeah. Yeah, the punch machine. A lot of women don't do the punch machine. There's another one. That, that's that's probably, these are all bro, punch, dumbass. That's g- probably one yeah. A. <laughs> the punch machines have been punched 99.9% oh. by men. And I thought I broke my hand uh, yeah. when I did it. Dude, and those, uh, Los, the guys that think they broke their head are the guys that missed time to swing and they eat it. <laughs> and they miss it entirely. I've, 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 those are some of my favorite videos. I've done all these dumb things. <laughs> yeah, I, I hit that thing one time, and I thought I broke my hand. Yeah, Arm wrestling you're, 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 at the bar. Uh, uh, is another guy thing that, that I've personally seen bro- broken arms for. You don't see a lot of women arm wrestling uh, by chance. Usually, if there are, there's one that you know may enjoy some other sports more too. You know, but yep. uh, no. Oh, I, so this is what they're saying at uh, Mako's. Uh, uh, Los, instead of flipping it with the napkins, what they were doing is that they had the toilet paper gun. Yeah, yeah, yeah. they did have that. Okay, and, and that's what they were shooting out. Oh, yeah, it? what yeah, a mess. That's hot. Yeah, and I loved it. In the moment, I couldn't get enough of these napkins raining over me. I don't know why. I, maybe because I was hella drunk. But, hella, uh, hella drunk. Look at you. Uh, <laughs> and they had big ass drinks, and uh, and then you had to pay. Oh, God, I think it was like fifty bucks to get in the swing. I think that's what it was. Really. Or was act. that just because it was you? He's acting like you don't know. I don't, put a girl I, through no, college with that mango swing. I don't remember, and she had already been through college. Man, we went through a. I mean, we went through a rash of themed bars in downtown Orlando. Yeah, some would say that's happening right now, but. Oh yeah, they had. Yeah. A, there was a, a downtown Orlando that was one of those bars that was like, uh, uh, I don't know. You had to knock on the door and have. have oh, but that's not a thing. That's that's cool. There's I like the, that. The, the, they still got that. Yeah. What what you that go in, term? You went in speak one easy. room. A speak easy. Speak yeah. easy. You went in one room and they had like cameras yeah. in there to make it watch you in the other room or something. No, that's so they that room. Oh, is I'm thinking even, of another freaky place. No, no, <laughs> no, no, you are. But that that room that's also evolved. That's on the corner of that's across the street from Elixir. Oh, is it? Yeah, that that, that night it was one of the back rooms and where they had the, all the different cameras and you could see all these different things. Yeah. Well, the point of this segment was guys do dumb things. Yep. I'm, wa- I'm still pants and shoe repair. That's it. Thank you. I'm still watching though. All these, <laughs> like she just is slapping every dude throws water in their face, slaps them, yeah. and she's making six grand a day. Good on her. <clears throat> Didn't say what bar. A hurricane. A hurricane. No, that's what I'm saying. That you hi- you hire her out. Oh, and she goes to any and bar. She goes. And, and yeah, you, you look at some of the pictures and you see that. So it's her, uh, you know it's her and her crew, and they sh- they'll show up to whatever event that you have. And uh, that's say her last name is Hurricane Alina. Uh, Alia. Alina. Hurricane Aina or something like that. I can't. Uh, Ayana. 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 A I Y. Ayana. A N. Yeah. Hurricane Ayana. And that's her gimmick. She'll go. She'll go to your bar. Is she water uh, in your is she face. based out of Florida? It's, yeah. It says here, Florida girl. Man, she is killing it. Yeah. She's got abs too. I bet she can punch the hell out. I mean, she slaps the hell out of you, probably. Well, she's tiny. Yeah. All right. I take a little break. Don't go anywhere. You're listening to the Monsters of the Morning. 
Real Radio is on threads at Real Radio 1041, sponsored by the law offices of Anajar and Levine Accident Attorneys. Have you been in an accident? Call the law offices of Anajar and Levine at 1 800 747 free. That's 1 800 747 3733. Traveling on I-4 this morning, you can expect delays eastbound before US-27 and approaching State Road 429. Authorities are working on an accident on Weatherby Road westbound at Landstar Boulevard. Expect delays there. There's slowdowns due to an accident on Goldenrod Road at Curry Ford Road. Expect delays there as well. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Audible. Come to Audible and discover the best selection of audiobooks without exception. Best sellers, new releases, plus podcasts and exclusive Audible originals. You'll find everything you love all in one place. Sign up for a free 30-day trial at audible.com. Doesn't matter what uh, the weather is outside, my pool is always comfortable thanks to Solar Source. I have solar energy keeping it warm, keeping it uh, at the right temperature, and you can have the same thing. You know, a lot of people have a pool and they can only use it half the year because it's too cold to get in the water. You know, and like even though it might warm up this weekend, you wouldn't be able to get into the, your pool this weekend if you don't have solar energy. I do, and I can jump in this weekend once it warms up, and it's going to be awesome. SolarSource.com slash monsters. If you want the same pool package that I have, they can hook it up for you. Tell them that you heard your Russ talking about it, and they'll do it for you at solarsource.com slash monsters. You'll save money when you go to that website, and you tell them that you know me. You save money that way. And if you want to you know, pay as you go, do a little bit of a time and build it up, you can do that. Solarsource.com slash monsters. You can have nighttime pool parties whenever you want, workouts in the pool, birthday parties in the pool, hangout spot in the pool. You can pool all you want. There's no uh, limit to the time you can get in the pool because the, temp- the, water, uh, the temperature of the water Water is going to be just right. It's solarsource.com slash monsters. That's solarsource.com slash monsters. They've been around for a long time. They're a great company. You'll love working with them. Solarsource.com slash monsters. Are allergies holding you back? Take control with Aspire Allergy and Sinus, your one-stop solution for a breath of fresh air. Our expert team offers comprehensive allergy testing and cutting-edge treatments so you can enjoy life without the hassles of sneezing and sniffles. Say goodbye to allergy and sinus struggles and hello to a healthier, happier you. Go to AspireAllergy.com today to ditch those temporary fixes and schedule your appointment. That's AspireAllergy.com. Tax time means a cash bonus for many people. Hey, this is R.C. Hill from R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. I need to reduce my tax burden, so I'm going to overpay for your old car. Get up to $4,297 more than it's actually worth. Trade in and get a new car today, like a Mitsubishi Mirage 43 miles per gallon lifetime warranty. Most people can trade and lower their payment. Or let me double your tax refund up to $2,500. My goal this month is 100% credit approval. I'm R.C. Hill at R.C. Hill Mitsubishi. Central Florida's first choice for new Mitsubishis. Two locations, Deland and Ocala. Or visit me at rchill.com. Credit request. I recently stopped by the Renewal by Anderson showroom right off Lee Road in Winter Park and apart from the really impressive group of people that work there is the quality of the products. I couldn't believe how much noise was reduced by Renewal by Anderson windows and doors, especially being on busy Lee Road. That's because their windows and doors are built solid and yet so easy to open and close and clean. Renewal by Anderson is really a customer experience company. They just happen to sell windows and doors. In fact, Renewal by Anderson has the most five-star reviews, and their products are backed by some of the strongest warranties you will find. Renewal by Anderson has a great offer to help you get started during the month of March, buy one window and or patio door and get one 40% off. Plus, no money down, no payments, and 0% interest for 12 months. Visit rbafla.com. Some restrictions apply. Official partner of the Tampa Bay Buccaneers. License number CGC 1527613. Mills Air and Business since 1992. That's over 30 years here in Central Florida. They're not going anywhere. Carrier factory authorized dealer. You can always turn to the experts at Carrier. Equipment change yachts and upgrades right now with up to $1,275 in rebates. Visit millsair.com. Regulated activities performed formed by a licensed affiliate. I had no idea I could sell my life insurance policy. Norman and Nancy Duggan for Coventry Direct. We were about to let Norman's policy lapse because premiums have become expensive. Our kids are doing well on their own, so we just don't need it anymore. Then Nancy called Coventry. 
They were so helpful answering all of our questions. If you're over 65 and have $100,000 or more of life insurance, you may qualify. After this past year, we're celebrating life. We've booked some long overdue travel and we're able to pay for our grandkids college. Coventry Direct has helped thousands live the life they want to live, pay for unplanned medical expenses or supplement retirement income. When it comes to selling your life insurance, Coventry has you covered. Call 1-800-607-9400 or visit CoventryDirect.com to learn more about how you can get cash by selling your life insurance. Call 800-607-9400. Spring has sprung and it's full tilt boogie time at GiveMeTheVin.com. America's best car buyer. Sell us your car. GiveMeTheVin.com. So easy you can do it in your underwear. Hey, let's get out of here. With Audible, we could root for a lone astronaut as he tries to save Earth from disaster. Maybe go for a run with the founder of the world's biggest sneaker brand. We could get the tea on the real-life media mogul succession drama. Or find out what life is really like for an Oscar-winning actress. I mean, with Audible, we could go anywhere. There's more to imagine when we listen. Hear the latest audiobooks, podcasts, and originals at audible.com. The free iHeartRadio app has over 100 original stations waiting for you to explore right now, like 24-7 comedy. Men don't settle down. We surrender. Women, we never express the emotions we're actually feeling, right? I'm fine means I'm about to stab you in the neck. Clips from today's top comedians and the greatest of all time. Donut hole. If you want a donut, have a donut. Why are you eating the hole? When you need a laugh, just open the free iHeartRadio app and search comedy. You can actually change the station. iHeartRadio. Free never sounded so good. Buy a new Nissan today and make no payments till 2025. It's a slam dunk at OrlandoNissan.com. Real! Hey, Monster Brew Bus tickets go on sale soon. As soon as they go on sale, uh, try to be lucky and get you one of those tickets. It's kind of like the uh, the golden ticket from Willy Wonka, because people always want to they always want to get on the the bus after it's all sold out. So try to get you a ticket. It's the Monster Brew Bus. It's going to be Saturday, April the thirteenth. We're going to three great breweries. Angel will tell you the breweries here in a second. I can't remember exactly which ones, but we got three breweries we're going to, and uh, two of them he he has checked out. He loves. I love uh, Claremont Brewing, the the final stop, and uh, it's uh, I will be on the brew bus. Angel will be on the brew bus. Ryan Holmes will be on the brew bus. If you're an old school fan of the show, you remember Bo the Big Man Rose. What's up? Bo's coming on the brew bus with us, uh, which is always fun. And uh, and we got three different breweries. You get a T-shirt. You get uh, food it's going to be a great time and the three breweries are it's going to be brew lando uh toll road brewing and then claremont brewing and russ uh the thing about uh, these breweries we've had their beers here uh in january right before with a science on tap event at the orlando science center brew lando was the beer that we did for beer of the week we, okay. had, we had one of their beers yeah and they, they scored uh, very well with us that and you day said their location that was amazing yeah, the yeah. location's awesome so that's uh, so it's brew lando it's toll road brewing toll road brewing they've come in for beer of the week a couple of times and we've had great experiences with them I'm i remember ex- them yeah, yeah yeah excited about uh visiting their location and then like you mentioned uh, we'll wrap up the the events and the party at uh claremont brewing yes and that's and that's always been uh they've been always great hospitable place for, uh, for us there we got mu- music there we got food there there's a full bar there so yeah it'll be a good time yeah yeah and when we see like uh, i think uh, daisy will be in tomorrow so we can invite her if she wants to come and then uh amber nova is out of town she said she could come in next week so when we get her back in, we can invite her. And where's, I mean, Angelique, is she traveling the world? I, uh, we haven't heard from her this week. She's in, uh, I was trying to make up a country to name. Okay. She is in New Guinea. New Guinea? There we go. She that would is have been ice skating Nailed in it. one of their beautiful uh, facilities. Well, if she's in town, she's usually down to go on the on the brew bus. So we'll we'll see what happens with that. But, uh, but uh, yeah, it should be a great time. So when the tickets do go on sale, grab them we'll while you it. can. Because people will always ask me afterwards, can you get me on the bus? And, and once they're gone, they're gone. I only get. I get a plus one, you know. I, yeah. I get that. That's why I'm taking Bo with me. Uh, so uh, anyway, uh, um, okay. Do you guys? Uh, do, uh, we've talked about this before about you know, certain movies you shouldn't try to remake. 
Uh, what are your thoughts on, here's a couple of the, this kind of movie talk here for a second. Uh, there's a new live action Popeye movie in the works. Now, if you remember <laughs> correctly, the first movie, it was the great Robin Williams. That is right, Russ. Uh, and uh, directed by a, uh, Van Zant, I think. Gus. Gus Van Zant. And it was uh, highly, um, uh, it was a big budget. It was a total mess. I think there's even a whole documentary on how bad that Popeye production shoot, like, like craziness, high levels of sex and drugs and really. Just Most would debauchery. you say that became a cult classic, though? I don't know. I know as a kid, I I wanted to love it, but like think about it. They tried to make you I had remember, Robin Williams. I, yeah, I remember so coming out of it being like, and yeah. it was a it was an avant garde yeah. take on Popeye. You well, know? And Popeye, all we, he didn't speak clearly. He mumbled. Yeah, kind of yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah. And and that's how and that's how Robin Williams did it. Yeah. Uh, so I remember wanting to like it too, and going. Ah. And he always talked about it because like, that was the beginning. He thought he'd be a failure in movies after that. Well, they're going to redo it. Uh, that came out, in, the one you're talking about came out in 1980. Was it uh, 80? Led, wow, the year was born. Led by Robert, uh, Robin Williams, directed by uh, Robert Altman. Oh, Robert uh, Altman. Okay, yeah, yeah, I knew it was a, a different uh, a director like so that. So they're going to redo that. Uh, do you think that's one that needs to be redone? I mean, Popeye, that's an old character that most people don't remember. Look, bro, one word. Ready? Barbie, okay. bar anything that can remotely emulate, and they're like somebody's studio is like, like Popeye could be the new Barbie. And every guy wants to be Popeye. Every woman wants a Popeye. <laughs> I, I agree with that thought process. I just don't know, like the point of reference would be because, like Barbie, for example, it's still a popular toy. It's still, you know, I, I, I don't I, know. Angel, I, yeah, but I, then somebody drops some great thing, and you're yeah. like, oh my god, Popeye's the new voice of the generation. So here's another one that people are mad, and they're saying you shouldn't be remaking this movie. They're bashing it. They're like, you know, it's it's disrespectful to the guy that made the first one who died making it. And that is the new Crow, the new Crow movie. There's been photos that are out of it and everything, and people are, it's, it's mostly negative, and they're like, you know, why are you remaking this movie? Brandon Lee died making this movie. It's disrespectful to his legacy oh my God. to remake it. What do you think about that? <laughs> Who said that? Some random <laughs> YouTube no, it's... commenter? It's like, it's a property, it's a title, it's even more badass. The that director just, of the first Crow. Oh, wah, because he's not directing or she's not directing this one. No, man. Uh, Skarsgård's the uh, one doing How about this? this th and he's How many Skarsgårds are there? He's Pennywise. This is Pennywise who's now playing Crow. Oh, okay. So he's an amazing, uh, you know, He's, he's going to be in another ridiculous action movie yeah. that, that's going to be voiced by the guy that did the burger guy, but he's also the voice of Archer. I'm interested in that action movie film, and he's the, and he's yeah, the guy. Yeah, he's the voice of it, right? Yeah, that yeah, guy. yeah. yeah. I, I'm interested in that. Um, the only, Russ, and if you haven't seen the images, the only other thing that, I, <laughs> that for me – that I picked up on, and I was just, it was a weird choice that they made. There's no way to be, uh, there's no way to make this conclude, or I, as far as I'm concerned, when you see this new Scars Guard, because he's, he's a handsome double, and yeah. he's, he's incredibly ripped and everything, but when you see the first images of the crow, yeah. you can make a direct line totally. to Jared Leto's Joker. That's what I thought, too. Yeah, right? I, 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 okay. actually, when I saw it, I thought, oh, there's Jared Leto as the joke. Oh, no, that's the new crow. Yeah. Yeah. And, and so that so the, so stylistically, I was, I was that's a curious choice to make. Uh, but, yeah, Lose, to your point, the guy that – the person that came out uh, the most loud about that, they should just not remake this movie in honor of Brandon Lee, was the former director of the first crow and movie. He's like, you shouldn't make it. He's like, but if you did, but if you did remake it. I feel I am the only one that could possibly do it. Now, I would be willing to direct that again in honor of Brandon. So I, it's been so long. That was 1994 when that came out. The gimmick with the crow was he couldn't he could uh, because of the horrificness of uh, his death. His uh, his soul wouldn't uh, go all the way uh, okay. to the other side, and so he had to re uh, like basically. Fix this incredibly horrible wrong yeah, yeah. before he can move on. Sadly, the only thing I remember about the crow is uh, that's what Sting ended up becoming. <laughs> like he ended up becoming like Sting from professional wrestling. He oh was, my god! He, right, was, he right. was in bright, bright yellow or whatever. And then and when that movie came out, he decided to switch to the crow. I agree. And, and he and and well, that's the, that's what it he did. Overtook it. And, yeah. And he would be he would be up in the stands, you know, with the baseball bat and the crow makeup and stuff. And to me, that's the crow, which I know is ridiculous. 
ridiculous, but he did that gimmick forever. Oh, my gosh. I was going to say, I thought you were going to go a different direction. The reason that that stands out to me is one of the uh, better uh, movie soundtracks of all time. Oh, was yeah, it good? Was yeah, good. the Crow soundtrack is absolutely yeah. incredible. Yeah. I haven't listened to that. Oh, I forgot. Yeah, you had, uh, yeah, uh, really and, industrial. Um, you had Nine Inch Nails. Nine inch nails yeah, yeah. yeah, it was really industrial kind of uh, sound to it. It was really good. Yeah, was, okay. Uh, okay, another uh, more, uh, more uh, movie news. So it says here, officially, someone's been formally offered to play... James yeah. Bond, a guy, and I don't know who this dude is. You, you do are, know who this guy is. Aaron Taylor Johnson. Who the hell is that? He's one of the twins from the Marvel Universe. He's a super fast kid in the Marvel Universe. Remember, you had the witch. Uh, okay. Uh, he's, and he was it, the new it, Silver he, Surfer? Not he, the, was, he was the Silver Surfer in that one, right? The one that was in the Fox version? No, 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 no. He's in. He's no. He's in the regular MCU. He was. Uh, I, I forget the girl's name that played the way that she. Uh, it was her brother. Oh right, yeah, 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 yeah. The one that. Uh, I, gotta look, yeah. I gotta look this up. Yeah, he's. Uh, it's, 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 it's gonna be him. It's, and and, he, and saying, he was yeah. in Bullet Train. He was in Bullet Train with Brad Pitt. Uh, oh yes. Yeah, he, so he's. Oh, the, I like that guy. Yeah. Yeah. You yeah, guys do don't like that? We'll see. What I do? Uh, only three times a year, and it doesn't make me gay. <laughs> exactly. If that third time, it's just there, and you're like, I'm not even gay. Um, listen. Oh, I do... he's a young dude. Oh, he's also the dude who uh, was in uh, the MCU as Craven, I think. He was in. He was in Kick Ass. Right? He was in he was Craven crazy. the Hunter. Yeah, you were go. right. Yeah. yeah, yeah. Bullet Train. Pretty good looking dude. Well, um, honestly, man, he's I mean he's not that cute. <laughs> he's 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 British, so that counts. You gotta be British to be uh, uh double oh seven. Yeah. He was Quicksilver Los. Yeah, yeah, okay, that's what I thought. Yeah, yeah. Um I didn't realize that was him uh, in that, in well, that's that a, he looks much smaller in that. It's a huge deal though, right? To be offered uh, yeah. the, the James Bond. I mean that's it is a huge deal. That's iconic. Yeah. Yeah. Good luck trying to make any plans in the next couple of years, though. Yeah, if, you, if uh, you're <laughs> successful on it, then yeah. you're, you're uh, have fun with that making yeah. schedules. Uh, <laughs> yeah, Carlos, you'd hate it, right? I'd be like, listen, I got to call my wife and see if I have this next opening for the next six years. Uh, Oops, and, got it. Peace. And Jorge Bonds. And, and, and listen, I, I have to admit, and, and once again, I, I, I want Jorge Bonds. Jorge Bongo. <laughs> I, I have a bad habit of rooting for the one that's the underdog that's not as popular. I get that. I know it. It's it's whatever. It's, 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 it's your me. thing. It's my thing. I don't even like to do it. It's just it ends up being like, I'm a Star Trek guy. It's obviously not big anymore. It's, the, you know, the, there's the, I don't think there's another Star Trek movie in the, but there's another Star Wars uh, series that's coming out. The and Acolyte. The, it's the acolytes, yes. and, and the trailer has dropped, and, and it's uh, supposed to be a thousand years before um, the Star Wars we know. So it has a little bit of a different look because they're in huts and stuff like this. It's a uh, hundred years. Is it a hundred years? Yeah. Okay. I'm, I'm all about this. Yeah, yeah. It's your, it's, I was going to say, who who wants another Star this, Wars? Again, this is a- How many Star Wars it, can you have? This is the High Republic. It's a, a hundred years before the stuff that we know. So it's, you know, they're taking out Jedis. Uh, they're trying to figure out who's taking out the Jedis. It's all, shake your heads all you want. <laughs> it's not I for like, you. I like how you're just yeah. mad at our head yeah, yeah. You're, you're over here. No one's going to watch this he's, again. He's, Defending the High Republic. Yeah, you guys were again. Uh, did you, Lose, see the you, you were you were like, oh, this and that, whatever. But you love the Mandalorian. I did for first season. Uh, yeah, but then so, I'm of it. Okay, but, but so, did you see it? Did you yeah, see the trailer? Uh, the trailer just dropped. Yeah, I saw, I saw it. What yeah, did you think? I thought it was fantastic. I want again. You didn't I think want it was more just, Jedi. It I just want looked more. like I, every. That's the universe. No. Guess what Fast and the Furious is about. But, uh, Even if with Fast and Furious said, it's about fast cars. I love Angel's guess, passion for Star Wars. He's guess what James Bond's about? He's a super agent. And guess what he does? He takes out guys every like single it. movie. And I agree with it. Guess make... what the Marvel Universe was about? Superheroes. It was. It was. <laughs> um, but I just, the Star Wars, no. I think after Dune 2 and after Blue-Eyed uh, Samurai, I think, man, and, and we're getting the last of these projects that were put together by a million people in order to make something. Yeah. And I think this is the last throws of it, and they're trying to make something cool. But that's I was excited about it. That's what's awesome about the Alkalites. It's, it wasn't done by committee. And so everyone that's involved in this is – this is one of these stories that's been bouncing around for a second. And – and then the the, the num nums that did other Star Wars stuff, <laughs> the they were like, "No, we're not going to do this one." And finally, right, it right, got right. done. Now you're I will right. tell you this: in this trailer, we'll they show a Wookie, and it's a cool looking Wookie, like a better looking. Oh uh, no, 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 no! You, you're not allowed to like it. No, now because of oh, your I, guys' I, I, I said no, I like the Wookie. No, that's it. You are not He's allowed to like, like the it. Wookie. You are not allowed to like it. I like the hairy Wookie. <laughs> Russ is always like the hairy Angel. Wookie. Is there ever? Look, like, this will never happen. But do, do you think there would ever be a time when when 
when you know you got your Star Wars, and then they come in contact with Starfleet, right? You, you, you got you got your Kling, you know, the Klingons or some uh, somehow show up and start taking on. What are you doing uh, over there? I'm, try, I'm trying to mix in. <laughs> I'm trying to get Mr. Spock in uh, Star Wars somehow, so it could be famous and be popular. That, I don't know if that'd be ultimate done with both franchises or yeah, the yeah. greatest thing ever. I know. You, know, you, it's imagine, like, you don't Captain know. Kirk shows up and and, and fights against the. Uh, uh, I mean, people have been trying to do that with the uh, Marvel Universe and DC Universe. I, I mean, know. if done the right way, like, right, and they go and it has to be through <laughs> Star Wars because they sure, have the Star port, Wars they, first. And it, then also it's like, and you get, like, the greats, like the Lukes, and you somehow got Han and then Solo, the, and, and then it opens up into another parallel world. And, like, I guess there's nothing here. Oh, my God, listen and, to and the you two guys the, talking inter- about the multi-universe. And the oh, the two shows guys up. that didn't like multi-universes, and now yeah. you just created yeah. one for Star you know, Wars or Star here, Trek. Here's another one. Wonka. <laughs> And Dune too. <laughs> Multiverse. <laughs> Multiverse. I think that's the same dude. I think that's the same dude. And we're just having caught up with it. And Wonka two is gonna be like. <laughs> Making a chocolate, and all of a sudden, like, it's gonna be like, it's my chocolate. I don't know, man. I just see Cap- Captain Kirk beams down to the planet, and there's uh, there's uh, Darth Vader. Uh, I don't know. Uh, I'll take both of those. I'll, I'll take the Kirk. Wonka Dune universe with Wonka Dune. Star- Wonka Wonka Dune. Dune. I'll take the Wonka Dune. The Star Wars track universe. Mm. See how that goes. Uh, more news. <laughs> Did you see where, and I'm not, you know, like, I, I've never watched one episode of this i don't know i i know just from you guys talking about mr beast but mr beast oh, now dude. gets his prime uh, with a prime video is going to have i guess uh, this is going to be uh, as far as a uh, series it's going to be you can win the biggest amount of money in tv history uh it's yeah. going to be a game show uh, YouTube personality Mr. Beast says a game show, Amazon um, MGM Studios, a $5 million uh, grand prize, and I guess there's like a 1,000 contestants that start off with uh, 240. Co- it's like the biggest game show in the history of time. The yeah. biggest prize, too. Biggest yeah. prize. Yeah, that dude is – that. That kid is absolutely, it's incredible. What? I don't know what the end goal or result is for Mr. Beast. I'm a little worried for him right now because every time I see him interviewed, he's like, all I do is think about thumbnails and I'm there and I just love working for thumbnails because I make $100,000. Like, I feel like he's getting at a critical mass point and there's zero blueprint. He's the guy. Every time he does yeah, something new, he's, the first, yeah. he's creating it and it's new. And, and if he makes, like, think of the pressure, Russ, ready? If he makes a video that only gets 150 million views, Bad failure. <laughs> failure. I, and I know it's we're laughing. No, 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 no. I, I, I didn't mean it like dismissive. Yeah, yeah, you know, yeah. like he got. He's a man who talks about the dimness of a thumbnail of a YouTube video because he's the goat of YouTube, right? When they go, hey, Spielberg made the best movies. He's the goat director. They're gonna go. Mr. Beast Los. is the goat YouTube guy. It's fair to say, like uh, how we sometimes have uh, these different universities across the country, and they'll do, you know, we're, we're going to do a class on Taylor Swift, or we're going to do a class on this. Easy. This the, what he has done is going to be studied. No, what doubt he's about done it. is going to be uh, studied. Is going to be broken down, and that's you know the template. Well, yeah. Obviously, no I mean, uh, people are going to watch this. There's a thousand contestants competing for a five million dollar cash prize. Uh, Mr. Beast will be the host of it. He's the executive producer of it, and uh, they've they've worked out a deal with Prime Video. So I mean, that's, that. that's, that's the that. largest platform to distribute yeah. your game so show. You're moving from YouTube yeah. to Prime yeah. Video. He's, yeah, I mean, and I but mean, he doesn't, he's like, bigger than YouTube. Yeah. His YouTube is bigger than Prime Video. Yeah. Wow. His he is doing Prime Video a massive favor, connecting them. Prime Video is a little puppy compared to Man, Mr. Beast. I wonder Beast. how much they paid for that. Because they bought it. That's what, the, you know. Yeah, yeah. It, does, it doesn't say in this article, but uh, you, you know they did for sure. Uh, oh, and then uh, yesterday we talked about something, and we were talking about the four-day work week, work week, and we were talking about whether people would like that or not or whatever. And surprisingly, yes, nearly uh, 70% of, uh, of people were, like are, are, for, no. are for having a four-day Shocker. work week. Uh, is anyone shocked? No. no. Sounds pretty good. Yeah. Let's see if it works. Let's let's go tell them. To, let's go tell them that our meeting tomorrow. We're gonna we're gonna we're a four day work. <laughs> yeah, yeah. yeah. We, 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 we call Bernie Sanders. He'll tell you. That's gonna go over well. <laughs> That'll go swimmingly. <laughs> yeah. All right. Listen. If you want to leave us a message right now, you can. You can do it through the entire show, and that's by listening to the iHeartRadio app. When you listen to the app, you'll see a microphone. You click on that microphone. You can leave us a message. Try to make sure there's not a lot of bad you know noise behind you because we're not gonna play that. Uh, say your name. And uh, and we'd love to hear from you, and we'll do those when we return. You're listening to the Monsters of the Morning.
Coming up tonight on Real Radio, at 7, it's a corporate time with Tom and Dan. Brought to you by Gringos Locos and Modern Plumbing Industries. At 9 p.m., it's Real Laughs with comedians James, Miguel, Ken, and Mike. And Real Music starts tonight at 10 on Real Radio 104.1. From the Clausman Law Traffic Center, car crash, call Clausman Law. ClausmanLaw.com. There's police activity blocking two right lanes on New York Avenue, eastbound east of I-4 on Maitland Boulevard. Authorities are clearing up an accident eastbound between I-4 and U.S. 1792. The right lane is blocked there. And traveling on I-4, you could expect your regular delays before U.S. 27 and approaching State Road 429. If you see any traffic troubles, please call the Valvoline Instant Oil Change Traffic Tip Line at 866-676-8477. From the Traffic Center, I'm James Birmingham. This report is sponsored by Mothers Against Drunk Driving. For victims of drunk and drug driving, our grief is unique. But you are not alone. You always have a place at MAD. Call our 24-hour victim helpline at 877-MAD-HELP or visit mad.org. Hi, welcome to Ikea and our spring storage event. Oh, hi. Save big on storage with lots of new lower prices and limited time offers. Perfect. I'm making the winter to spring swap and I have no idea where to put my sweaters and gloves. <laughs> we can help you get organized and store winter away. And we've got in-store events for more inspiration. Sign me up. Visit us in-store from 320 to 49 or at ikea-usa.com slash ikea spring storage for more details. Offer valid dates may vary. U.S. only while supplies last. Selection may vary by store and online. See store on ikea-usa.com slash ikea spring storage for complete terms. Restrictions apply. I will be at the land boxing later today. It will be the triumphant return of the hometown fighter, Carlos Navarro, has been out of the gym because of an illness. The bookies are looking to see if he still got it. I'm looking to see if I still got it. Now, here's the good thing. I'm going back to the land boxing. I could go back to Port Orange Boxing if I happen to live closer there because Port Orange Boxing is a beautiful location that welcomes all the Deland people as well. But I'm looking to see. I'm not, like, worried. Oh, no, here we go. I'm going to go in there, and then, you know, Bradley or the big motivator is going to be yelling in my face. No, they're going to say, hey, welcome back, Carlos. Like usual, take it at your own pace. Take it at your own pace, the heavy bags. Or if you want to do a little speed bag. If you, you know, you don't want to do the fitness part at the end where you're doing the abs or the leg work or whatever, that's fine because the goal at DeLand and Port Orange Boxing, it isn't to, to turn you in to a killing machine just like Tyson in 89. No, it is to help you train and feel your body as if you were one of those elite athletes and train like one. But, but, you know, just actually not have to be one because it really hurts to get hit in the face. You wondering about it? Huh? 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 Check them out. DeLand Boxing and Fitness.com. And of course, do not forget about that amazing Port Orange location. Uh, you can check that out as well. Check them out. DeLand and Port Orange Boxing. Did you know your life insurance is an asset you can sell? I'm Jay Jackson, CEO of Abacus Life. For almost 20 years, Abacus has been purchasing life insurance policies from seniors just like you. And at AbacusPays.com, we've created a free policy value calculator so you can find out the worth of your policy in just seconds. There are no fees and no obligations. Get real value from your life insurance when you need it with Abacus. Learn more at AbacusPays.com. The number one cause of accidents is distracted driving, like cell phones, eating, and playing with the radio. So leave it right here on Real Radio. Injured on the go? Just call Mo.com. Mo DeWitt, Orlando's injury attorney. Hey, everybody. Joe Colbert here with my friend Judy from Life Imaging FLA. Judy, we know we've been talking about saving lives now for about nine months. The testimonials have been like just bananas. But the one thing we don't cover is how easy this is. It's remarkably easy. I think my scan took eight minutes, and I got a full body scan. Is that the norm? Absolutely. It's normally under 10 minutes, and it's the most simplest thing ever. If you're claustrophobic, it's open. It's an open scan. You don't take your clothes off. There's no injections or dyes, none of that. You don't have to worry about being scared about it. That's another thing. People are like, I don't want to be in that tube. But you never go in. It's the most simplest thing you'll ever go through. That's right. Be proactive today. Take control of your health. Call Life Imaging FLA right now. Get that free heart scan. Just a few minimum requirements. That is a $699 value, and it couldn't be easier. From your cell phone, call pound 250. Say the keyword free heart scan. That's all you have to do. Pound 250. Say the keyword free heart scan. You'll be connected in seconds. And remember, when you get there, ask about the cancer screening as well. It is better to know now than worry about this tomorrow. You have the option to receive a one-time auto dial text message from iHeart Media. It's spring. Time to gather your friends and family and fire up the grill with some Kingsford charcoal. Because everything tastes better cooked on the grill. 
Whether it's a casual get-together or a special occasion, Kingsford Original will give your food that authentic, wood-fired barbecue flavor everyone craves. Ooh, wow, so good. Because it's not spring until you've thrown some burgers on the grill with Kingsford Original Charcoal, America's grilling expert. Kingsford.com. Are you a victim of the timeshare trap and think there's no way out? I'm Chuck McDowell, founder of Wesley Financial Group, the original timeshare cancellation expert. And I'm here to tell you that there is a way out. All you need to do is give my office a call. I will send you a timeshare exit information kit absolutely free, explaining how the timeshare industry works and your options for cancellation. Call Wesley now for your free info kit, 800-522-5700, 800-522-5700. Pizza's here. Oh, great. I'd love some, but I'm worried about my stomach issues. If you're worried about having diarrhea, gas, bloating, stomach pain, or loose oily stools, it may not just be stomach issues. It could be a condition called exocrine pancreatic insufficiency, or EPI. With EPI, the pancreas doesn't release enough enzymes to break down food, but EPI is manageable. Use the symptom checker on identifyepi.com and talk to your doctor. That's identifyepi.com. Sponsored by AbbVie. Texting enrolls you in a recurring automated marketing text messages. Consent are required to purchase. Message and data rates may apply. The team's looking good this season. I think so. Man, I miss playing football. Being young with unlimited energy to burn ever since I turned 40. I just can't find that fire I used to have. Think you could be lower testosterone? What do you mean? All guys lose their edge when they turn 40. The body has less testosterone. That's why I take Nugenics Total T. I've heard about Nugenics. That really works? Since I started taking Nugenics, I'm lifting like when we played for Coach Carter. I feel more energized at work. It's even spiced up things between me and the missus. Are they still giving out complimentary bottles for people to try? Yep, send a text. It's that easy. Text KING to 424. 424- 424 right now for your complimentary bottle of Nugenics Total Tea. It's the number one selling testosterone boosting brand at GNC at Walmart. Do it now and they'll also send you a bottle of Nugenics Thermo X, their newest, most powerful fat burner ever, absolutely free. Text KING to 42424. That's KING to 42424. These statements have not been evaluated by the FDA. This product is not intended to diagnose, treat, cure, or prevent any disease. When it comes to power, trust the source. SolarSource.com. From the Cool Today Weather Center, CoolToday.com. I'm Fox 35 Storm Team Meteorologist Jessica Dobson with a check of your forecast for your Wednesday. And today, despite the chilly temperatures this morning, we will continue to warm up in a big way. Afternoon highs will climb well into the mid-70s with a high of 75 degrees in Orlando. For Thursday, we expect a mostly dry day, but shower chances do increase late in the evening and into Friday especially. We have a weather impact day for Friday for heavy rain possible with an 80% chance. For the Fox 35 Storm Team, I'm meteorologist Jessica Dobson. This report is sponsored by Rasmussen University. I had so many dreams, but life quickly got in the way. Then Rasmussen University saw my true potential and gave me the support and confidence I needed to become who I am today. Rasmussen University. Learn more at rasmussen.edu slash Florida. Someone just sent me a, a, a text and asked me, if you go to Ireland, if it's worth it to go to the Cliffs of Moher, you have to go to the Cliffs of Moher. It, it's 100% worth it. it. Like, if you go and don't go there, you've wasted your trip. Is that a discotheque? <laughs> uh, yeah. No, the Cliffs of Moher is oh. one of the most beautiful sights you've ever seen. It, 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 the, you've seen. Every time they show Ireland, they have to work in the Cliffs of Moher, these huge cliffs uh, off the, uh, off the oh. ocean. Absolutely beautiful. It's it, rocks. It, it's rocks, but it's it's more than that. It's it's breathtaking. So, Looks like Game of Thrones, yes. Lord of the Rings yes. things. Huh. It's worth it for sure. So it's not sure. a nightclub. It's not a nightclub, oh. but you can drink on the bus if you have to, if you want to. Oh, you know, okay, the, then. Good. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, who would hate to see that nature sober? It's it, for Christ's <laughs> sakes, it's Ireland. You drink everywhere. Uh, yeah, yeah. You can, you can do anything. Don't worry, so. guys, we can drink on the way to see one of the seven wonders of the world. It will not be a bar, the cliffs of more. But as soon as you get back on this bus, yeah, yeah. We drunk again. Well, literally, that's what this person is Hell saying. Drunk. They're like, we have to spend all day <laughs> on the bus, drunk. and the people I'm with would rather be in the pub uh, uh, hopping. And I'm like, no, you got You can drink on the bus, and then uh, and you got to see Cliffs of Moore. It's very, very important. Whatever. All right, uh, Angel, do we have any hot takes today? It's time for a hot take. Wow, the first time you hit it, it works. 
I've been consistent all week long. I, I, I usually hit I, it on the I, first time. I wasn't hitting at you. I was hitting uh, somebody else who's probably uh, listening right a now. A little defensive, a little, a little puncher. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I was about, Dude, every two time. <laughs> What's that guy's name? He's a guy who used to sit over there. What the hell is his name? Billy Smith. Oh, don't, guy, do oh, don't play that the game. The guy Billy used to run <laughs> what was his a name? chess trivia the frisbee yes. golf thing. And he was a magician at and night. A magician at night, and oh. he made these cotton candy statues. <laughs> and the, this guy playing. was good. <laughs> what what the hell was it? Billy Hall? Holmes? Something like that. Tony Holmes. Yeah, yeah. Ryan, Ryan Holmes. <laughs> so, uh, Ryan. Ryan, the guy Holmes. And he had a bit with a hat with a king or something like that. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah he was yeah, the Burger yeah. King. That was what it was. He was. Ryan the Burger King Holmes. And he made the cotton Bur candy. Burger things. King of Belgium. The Burger, that's it. See, I forget everything. <laughs> yeah. So it's also about the hot takes. If you have the iHeartRadio app on your handheld device, uh, you can hit the microphone and uh, leave us a message. And we'll play and share those messages uh, during the show. Like this one. Sounds like I heard that before. Yeah. No. Happy hump day, guys. It's Mary Peacock. I just want to call and say hi. Wish you guys a spectacular Wednesday. I wanted to tell Ryan I hope he's feeling better and is back tomorrow. We appreciate him taking care of the YouTube channel for us. And I uh, wanted to wish my dad his first heavenly birthday today. Aww. You guys have an amazing day, and I'll see you tomorrow. Thank you. That's very <laughs> now, nice of you. Happy birthday, Papa Peacock. Very nice woman, Mary Peacock. Uh, we had a really um, hot topic earlier, and this gentleman felt Great. compelled to call. Great story. Hello. This is barbecue. Oh. Oh, jeez. Okay. You don't talk to me. Okay. You call me. Okay. It's 1-800-SAY-HATY. Okay. <laughs> you don't talk to me about online or in the air of my name. Basue. Oh. Boo. Boo. You don't know what's going on here. Barbecue. Out. Wow. wow. So he what? was a very defiant. You know, wow. This yeah. is. Can we get Cooper Anderson on the phone wow. to connect this? Because what we have here is barbecue. Yeah. Now setting up. From Haiti. A, a, from Haiti. He's handling a, his own press conference. Handling his own <laughs> subsidiary line of 1 800 Save Haiti as if. As if we're going to give him his, our credit card information? Do you think the money's going to go to the Save Haiti Fund? Probably. Do you think there is a Save Haiti Fund? S seems like a stand-up guy. Right. Trace the line. I'm on it. I'm on it. I'm not sure what this guy's getting at here with this message. All right. Golden Dorito and roast beef are pretty much the same thing. Huh? You guys can correct me on that if you'd like. But it sure sounded like code huh. when the angel of boom... Was talking to roast beef talk. Okay. You're he almost slipped up and said golden Dorito, I think. Huh? <laughs> oh, what a tangled web we weave. Uncle Afanasios out. I'm not sure what you meant by that. Uh, you're almost slid one right past him there, Angel. Oh, <laughs> Unbelievable. I didn't know the, the inference. I didn't get it. I yeah. don't know either. Next one. Yo, yo, yo. This is Pepperoni Tony, fun in the Sun Bounce House Pairs. Just wanted to add in on that topic. You know what I'm saying? Y'all was talking about um, insecurities. Uh, I think a lot of men are also insecure about talking about possible if they have uh, impotence, uh, small wieners. Well, except for you, Russ. But um, a big one I think out here that I've seen is uh, teeth and smiles. Yeah. You know, um, sure. a lot of insecurities there for males. But anyways, uh, Purple Only Tony out. Yeah, most people, though, if they are insecure about their teeth, they can do something about it. Right. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. that, that, that was the point of most of your insecurities you get upset about for years and years and years. You actually can do something about it. You're either too lazy or you don't, or you don't, uh, you don't take time to do it. The more you know. This is Rachel. Okay. Yeah. Where are you? Yes. And we're so sorry oh that you feel bad that you're always just so sick. Okay. We need our KOD back. Aww. Your sick, strange darkness, the creeping on the YouTube all the time. And as I type, I'm counting all the comments from the chatters. Missing you. Oh! Whoa! Hold on a second. That was How a whole did, different level. That was enough. That one goes on the Hall of Fame. Ryan's uh. not even Billy. What is it? Fred <laughs> Holmes? What the hell was the guy's name that used to work here? Uh, Ryan good. Holmes. That's it. He's not even here to hear that beautiful song. Uh, hold on. I got to make that's sure I stay that, that again. The, the, the Prince of Belgium. That was his uh, name. I think that was a take. That was pretty good. Blink 182's I Miss You yeah. to Ryan's song. Was that his wife? 
Because who else is going to dedicate a, that much time to sing to that guy? That's, that's a good question. Was that Christina? She has a great voice. I don't, I don't, I don't she think. She wants him out of the house. I, I don't know. <laughs> Check, sure bring him about. back on the radio. So he'll... This is Rachel. Rachel. Wow, Rachel, yeah. Where are you? Uh, uh. And we're so sorry that you feel bad that you're always just so sick. He is so we sick. We need our KOD back. Your sick, strange darkness, the creeping on the YouTube all the time. And as I type, I'm counting all the comments from the chatters. Missing you. Uh, oh, Rage. Oh, I do another one tomorrow, please. That okay. was beautiful, Rage. Yeah, do another I one want, tomorrow. Good job. You have become my new favorite hot taker. I want one every day. Everybody was, loves it. Everybody's loving that one. Good hey, job, way, Rachel. Uh, if you if you want to go with us on the Monster Brew Bus, tickets will be on sale soon. It's going to be April the 13th. It's a Saturday. It's going to be a great time. We're going to three great breweries, and it's going to be awesome. Uh, and then Earth Day birthday, April the 20th. Wait a Earth Day birthday, yeah, yeah, yeah itty bitty. Uh, there's a monster chill tent. That's a, t- a tent that's going to be air conditioned. Angel Boom will be DJ, and I'm going to be there uh, giving out samples of the official whiskey of Earth Day birthday, which is Triple R blended whiskey. And then that night, I'm going to be at the Edgewater High School Hall of Fame. It's the induction ceremony. I want to thank Friendly Ray Trendley. He sponsored the event. That's very nice of him. If you want to go to the event, you can. If you went to Edgewater High School, uh, that uh, you know, I appreciate that. Uh, Carlos, what you got? Oh, sign up. For the To The Top newsletter. What does that mean? Go to to the top, neverstop.com. Sign up for the newsletter. Talking about Stetson, talking about passion, and it's totally free. Very nice. How about you, Angel? You can hit me up on any social media platform. It's Official Angel. All right. Stay tuned for the News Junkie right after the Monsters. Then at 3 o'clock is the Jim Colbert Show. We're back tomorrow to do our thing from Carlos and Angel. And the leader of this mess of merry man, Rust, the Carl Budding Killer, Rob. <laughs> hey, guys. Thank you so much for listening. We ain't got to go home. We got to get that hell out of here. Super swirls. Super swirls. What?